Welcome, welcome aboard. Hope you guys are doing well. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you. We're currently just starting up the chopper. Uh, this is going to be the platform in which we do our plane spotting today. What's up? Welcome back. It's your boy, Blue. Today is the day. It is finally here. It is cross the pond eastbound. There are thousands of departures departing from Atlanta and Orlando and various other cities heading across the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, if you're unaware of what Cross the Pond is, that is exactly what it is. It's a VAT sim event. A AT, it has full coverage ATC from here to wherever people are going uh, over in Europe. Some people going to Africa, some people going to the UK. So it's a pretty crazy event. It's a massive event, the biggest VAT sim multiplayer event of the year. It only happens twice a year, once eastbound and once westbound. But as I said, we're sitting here in the uh, the new HBG High Performance Group H160. And we're going to get jump into a bit of a hover above the air, uh, airport and uh, just do some plane spotting. Let me get the aircraft started so we can go ahead and do that and enjoy some departures because they are flying out of here very quickly. Let me see, make sure we are on the right frequency. We should be hearing them on comms as well. 119er1 should be the tower frequency here. What's up, Sassy Gamer? Welcome to the stream. Emily, hello. Carter, welcome to the stream. Good evening to you as well. Hope you're doing well. They're departing runway 8. <clears throat> Sorry. They're departing runway 8 uh, right and 9 left, it looks like. And uh, I keep getting disconnected from uh, the tower. Let's switch to the other one. Let's see if we hear anything. 19.3. Let's go ahead and Pilot Death, what's up, man? Halifax is Stockholm. What's up, bro? What's this up? You depart in two hours. Nice, man. Hopefully, hopefully you're ready. Oh, you better not crash. Oh, are you serious? What a way to start the stream. Oh, ouch. Thank you, Microsoft. That's great. All right, it's okay. We're going to run with it. We are going to run with it. Man, I'm not even flying today, and we're already getting crashes. That's crazy. I had a feeling. I had a feeling I shouldn't have pressed that button. I had a feeling. I was like, you know what? I don't know if this is going to crash. It doesn't usually. I think because there's just so much traffic, um, the TCAS is going crazy, man. So I don't know, guys. But yes, if you're just joining us, what we're doing today is something a little different. We're doing some plane spotting. We're actually going to load up into Atlanta, Hartsfield airport and uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to be um, on the ground or actually hovering in the air doing some plane spotting some departures a lot it's about 164 departures as we speak right now I can pull up the Valanza screen here let's see if I can do that here on the main uh, screen let's see yep here's a Valanza map and I can make that much bigger let me see since it's just, just Microsoft loading in the background let me see if we got here. Yes, start up. I'm so glad we're actually not flying because I've been pissed. <laughs> Honestly, I was hoping to do. I was. I was hoping to to actually fly and and cross the pond today, but I found out about it too late. I don't know why it is. Every year it seems like I find out at the last minute that is happening or that you have to book a slot and stuff like that so was not able to get a slot this year but maybe we'll try again next year we'll see nice you ready just preparing that sounds good pilot uh what are you flying for your flight today man what uh, what aircraft of choice are you doing for your cross the pond adventure today but yeah so here's Volanta. uh you can see this is the atlanta airport and to be honest with you it's very organized it doesn't sound that busy on the radio uh because um everybody has their own departure slot right uh the way it works is that on the website on the vatsim website you uh you have a bunch of different bookings you can you can book at different times and you have to be there at the airport at that time to depart to make your slot and so it's much more organized than just showing up just popping in and flying but if i zoom out of atlanta you can see there's already a ton of traffic snaking their way out of atlanta out of orlando I'm actually surprised that this uh, center is not on right here. That's actually weird. 
that that wouldn't be on for Cross the Pond. But they're going to have full coverage ATC all the way across the North Atlantic Ocean. And it's going to be pretty cool heading out here. And uh, as Pilot Depth said, he's uh, flying out of Halifax somewhere. I think a lot of people are going to be flying a 787 Horizon because it just came out. And it's, you know, it's off, uh, also obviously a good long haul aircraft. So we're going to see a lot of 787s tonight or today. Inglewood Online, welcome to the stream, man. We are not flying today. We are plane spotting. And Microsoft crashed on us already, so we'll see. If it crashes again, we'll just completely skip the whole aircraft like hovering part. I wanted to like hop in a helicopter and kind of fly around the airport, do a little bit of a you know aerial view of the airport, all the traffic. But if that's not possible, then we'll just uh, we'll just use a drone. The drone is always good as a backup. Emily, you might get uh, Vatsim next year. Yeah, that'd be good, man. That'd be real good. Uh, Pilot Rocky, you're heading over to Dubai with the 789. Are you a part of the event or are you just doing that flight just because you want to? I didn't see any Dubai flights in uh, across the pond. The one I had my eye on that I personally would have liked to do would have been Atlanta to Amsterdam. There's Atlanta to Amsterdam booking that um, both Delta and klm fly that was on the schedule for um for the event but that that one was probably picked up like first again there's like a thousand something slots to take but they were like gone in i mean minutes uh, to the time that they were posted so but um i don't have the seven eight well i haven't tried the seven eight seven nine yet from horizon but i have downloaded it and so whenever i do get a chance i'll I'll just try to fly to see what it's like. Um, it, it seems like it looks pretty nice, but I still want to see what the hype's all about. But yeah, you can see here, we've got a lot of departures out of Orlando. We zoom in, lots of traffic in Orlando. We'll definitely stop by Orlando at some point today to check them out. We'll probably do, uh, we'll probably stick around Atlanta for a while. And then we'll switch to Orlando. Matter of fact, honestly, like, Orlando looks more busy than Atlanta, all right? That's kind of crazy. So it's like they switched to runway nine. So we'll go see if we can hop over runway nine. We'll, we'll do a real quick startup and try to get over there as soon as possible so we don't miss too many departures. We have some friends taking off as well, so I want to catch some of our friends that are flying out for the event. Get a, Catch them on the radio. What up, Mick, uh, Mickety Mike? Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Uh, you got to try Microsoft Flight Sim properly. Yeah, man, you do. You do. Um, you know, there's many, many different ways to try out Microsoft Flight Sim. So um, you're doing Halifax to ESSA. Your departure is at 1521 Zulu. What time is it right now? Oh, so that's four hours from now. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure how long we'll be live. Um, at least a couple hours we'll be up here. The sun is actually just rising. I was really hoping to catch the sunrise. It'll be actually, it should be rising in the next few minutes uh, in Atlanta. So I was hoping to catch a sunrise, some sunrise departures. <laughs> How long will the stream be? Because you need to be entertained for your six and a half hour flight. We'll see, man. I, I'm going to try to commit for a couple hours, but I don't know. We'll see how long uh, we'll stay. I understand you got a long flight and you need some entertainment. Uh, we'll, I don't know. We'll see. I, I can't make any promises. Uh, do you want to open the log? No, I don't know what that is. No, do not restart it. Is that what crashed it? Was GSX? Because that would be stupid. All right, let's hurry. Sorry for the delay, chat. Sorry for the delay. All right, so basically all I did was spawn into a helicopter over here on... Actually, I think it was on the other side of the airport. Yeah, it was over here like in the, by the business jets. Live weather, live time. Yep, sun is already rising. Man, I'm gonna be upset if we miss the sunrise. XP72, what's up, man? Gonna see if you can request touch and goes from ATC at one of these airports. Oh, I dare you, bro. I dare you. X-Plane, dude. Ooh, that's surprising you said that. X-Plane actually has better, in my opinion, a long-haul aircraft than Microsoft Flight Sim. They have the MD-11 um, from Rotate. They have the... What's that one there? Um, the 747 from... Uh, who is that again? Who makes the 747? I flew it a bunch of times. 
It actually is work. It works really well. It's very dependable. I've done a few long hauls myself in it. Um, the seven eight seven, I, I can't really vouch for. All right, let's uh, turn off Alanta here, and uh, back in the Microsoft is up, but just waiting to load into the game. There we go. Goodbye, Valanta. And bring me back for a bit. You got your window open in Dallas for sunrise. Yeah, yep, sun is rising right now. I actually looked it up. I Googled what time is sunrise today in uh in uh in Atlanta and it said like 649, which is three minutes from now. So in three minutes, the sun will be up. Alright, let's get back into Vatsim. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get the aircraft started. Battery, battery, gin, gin, R A, R A, F M S one, F M S two. Audio test. And we'll kill the music here. Now that we no longer have our awkward silence. We go and hit the flight. And do a quick start. There we go. I don't know if the cockpit lighting works in this plane or in a, in a 160. It's not really working like I'm expecting it to. All right, uh, 191 is what we want at 1193. Tox, system Jesus test, Christ. okay. That is so freaking loud. All right, Vat Sim, help me out, homie. So by the way, guys, I don't recommend you just spawn in right now if you don't have a time slot. So what I'm doing, I'm spawning in the Vat Sim as observer so I can see them, but they cannot see me. All right, spawning in now. Traffic, traffic. Lima, whole short of Lima 1, Delta 179. Delta 1, correction, KLM 160 heavy, follow the Delta in front of you. Follow the Delta, KLM 160. All right, we're Ground on. Cargo 8057 heavy, our naftalitis, correction, uh, disregard, hold position. Make sure I got everything on my checklist. Trim, light, parking brake. United 777 at Sierra, cross runway 9 or right. Yeah, that's all we need. Mike, contact ground 121.75. Uh, rotor RPM. That's your crash oh. line left. Mike, ground point seven initial sign. United 777. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I think my controls are not mapped for this thing. Yep, I have it set to the wrong thing. Let's see. Yep, H160. I have a profile for it. And if I don't have it set to that profile, we're screwed. Because <laughs> for the helicopters, I have my throttles inverted. Hold short of Lima 1 on Lima. Roger. Rotor brake. Why does it say the rotor brake is on? Where's the rotor brake at? Uh, of course, track IR just failed on me. That's great. What I get for trying to be all fancy. Walker 3274. Plan on continue taxiing via Mike and hold short of Lima. Continue taxi via right, Mike go. and hold short of Lima. I walk at 30 to More delays. About a 486 heavy. You will be released. So continue via Mike, Mike 2. Continue via Mike, Mike 3, that's 486. Power, Cargo, 8137 Harry, passing South Cargo, base it, radio for pushback and stop. The South Cargo, 8137 Heavy, uh, contact, uh, let's see, ramp on 129.27. Uh, contact ground 129.27, hmm. the bank Cargo, 8137. Why is my rotor RPM working, doing that? Well. This is not about flying today, it's about plane spotting, so let's get into the spot. Oh, 
There's a Delta A330 taking off right underneath us. Wow, look at all this traffic. This is amazing. KLM, United, Lufthansa, Delta. Obstacle ahead, pull up. Obstacle ahead, pull up. Okay, you need to shut up. <laughs> Obstacle ahead, pull up. Obstacle ahead. Uh, calling for a radio check, loud and clear. All right, we're gonna hover right here. This is a good spot. Lufthansa Cargo 8057 Heavy, RNAV to Pickett, runway 9 left, full length, cliff takeoff. Let's get to this complete stop RNAV here. RNAV to Pickett, clear takeoff, runway 9 on the left. Cargo. I agree, man. It should always be this crowded in a Microsoft flight sim. 100% agree. There's Atlanta over there. I'm just going to turn around and get us nice and slow and put ourselves into a hover. It says our rotor brake is on. I'm not sure where the rotor brake is. So, and again, that's not important today because we're just. Super 1925, heavy caution, wait, turbulence from a departing heavy MD 11, runway 9 left, mic 2, line up and wait. Bang of bang of week, then we just keep on hanging up there, flying in from the Sweet. All right. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Atlanta. Frost upon 2023 eastbound. So a bit of a look at the ramp here, who we got. So we got Virgin Atlantic, a lot of 787s. You can tell they're all probably flying the uh, Horizon 787. Lufthansa A330, KLM. 787, Virgin Super Atlantic, 787, Virgin Atlantic, 787, United 787, Delta A330, Super I think, 25 heavy, RNF, two light us, runway 9 or left, Mike 2, cleared for takeoff. I think all we're going to see is 787s and A330s, because <laughs> Latin VFR Super A330 came out, tower. and the uh, Horizon 787 came out. And there's one beautiful 747. A couple of them, actually. But hopefully we'll see some specialties. So let's see, where are they departing off of? Eight or left? Delta 486, heavy, hold short, runway 9 left at Mike 2. Hold short, 9 left at Mike 2, Delta 486. Alright, let's head over to 9 left. Should be over here. Yeah, we'll follow these guys. Oh, that sunrise as well. That's gonna be sick. There's a Norse. You know what? Let me make sure my VATSUN traffic is turned up all the way. Heavy caution, we turn from a heavy Boeing 747 departing. Hopefully, this doesn't crash us. Line up and wait. Line up and wait, run by my left to the 46. Walker 3274, the instruction was to hold short of Lima on might. Oh, there we go. I turned it up and we got a bunch more pop-up. So I'm actually going to move my helicopter closer to departure. Yeah, this, is, this is for a, a delay. And now, and now we've, we can't use uh, that taxiway that you got onto, so just make sure you listen to the instructions next time, please. Oh, come on, buddy, hover, hover, hover. Traffic, traffic. Hover for me. Oh, we're missing a British Airways 747 taking off right now. It did not like that slew. There we go. All right. Uh, to turn up VATSIM traffic, you go into your uh, V pilot. If you're on VATSIM, same thing on X pilot. Go to settings, and then under performance, you'll see maximum aircraft to display, and then turn that up. I had mine set to 50 before. I'm not sure what the default is. 
But I had mine turned to 50, and I just bumped it to 100. Ah, this gives a good spot, uh, for the plane spot here. 46 Chevy, RNAV to Lydus, runway 9 left at Mike 2, quick takeoff. Runway 9 left at Mike 2, quick takeoff, RNAV Lydus, at the 46. All right, who is this on the runway? Delta A330, it looks like. Bro, that's so much traffic. You can still see the 747 out here. You can also change the distance at which Fat Sim draws traffic. I have mine turned to 25 nautical miles, so we should see Delta anything. 19, oh, look closer. at all right, guys, this, this is the show. <laughs> We're here. Turn the camera off. Uh, come in, chat. Let me know if you are flying in Cross the Pond this year so we can catch your departure. Uh, we'll be here for at least a couple of hours. We'll see. I am up early. <laughs> I've been up for an hour. United 2382, RNAV to Lydus, runway 9 left, Mike 2, clear for takeoff. Right, I'm going to change the Clear for takeoff, Mike 2, United 2382, heavy. You guys okay with this view or should we move? American 4269, continue taxi via Mike, hold short of Lima. Uh, we'll go continue taxi via Mike, hold short of Lima. American uh, we will be going to Halifax at 1345 Zulu. Let's see, right now it is... 11.57, we'll see if we're still around. We'll see. What was your departure at the 46 p.m.? Alright, United's jumping in front. Trying to find out who that is. Alright, you guys clear for takeoff. You all that traffic in the background. Oh yeah, she's heavy, using the whole runway. So last year we did this, we had a few, uh, oh, tail strike, a few incidents, a few people who did not make <laughs> the runway. And wheels up. Let's, uh, let's move over here. I want to, uh, be able to see the sunrise while that's happening. So we'll get a shot from kind of like behind the, the runway. We'll also get a shot of the traffic that's happening right now. Yeah, Data, that sucks, man. I don't understand why your Microsoft is giving you so much problems. Yeah, look at that. Bro, all 787s. Oh, actually, there's a couple of A330s back there. All right, guys, I'm working at Atlanta Tower and Atlanta Ground now, so anyone that's on my frequency that can hear me, don't talk. I'm going to reach out to you guys. I need some time to solve this. I just took over ground control. We've got holds for guys. It's going to be a ground stop for a few minutes. Just, oh, just wait. Ground stop in Atlanta, guys. So something happened, probably some kind of technical difficulty uh, with the ground controller. And uh, the tower controller is having to take control or take over the duties of ground as well. In an event like this, that is pretty difficult to do. Um, Okay, on 624 Heavy, you're going to continue taxi on Mike Short of Lima. Continuing taxi, Mike Short of Lima, okay, on 624. Alright, and attention all aircraft on, on, on uh, 
tower and ground frequency. If you're on a taxiway, switch to tower on uh, 119 or point, uh, point 0.3. If you're on ground frequency on a taxiway, go to tower 19.3 and just be on that frequency. About 68 heavy, RNF to light is 9 left, mic 2, quick take off. It will take off 9 left, RNF to light is 68 heavy. Romeo off of Mike 238 November heavy runway 9 left of Mike 2 one So what's going on with this Walker transport aircraft? He's just kind of sitting there. He must be early or something. 2382, want me to contact the departure? We have an American. Roger. Alright, next up we have Delta coming up. Romeo off of November 238 November Atlanta Tower. I'm trying to see if I can get a. 238 November, go ahead. Find out who's November heavy, runway 9 left at Mike 2, line up and wait. The KLM is going to continue taxiing. Don't follow them. Just uh, 9 left at Mike 2, line up and wait. Secret November. Looks like this next aircraft is Delta 105. Dollar 46, two right turns westbound on Mike, join the line. It shows a mine screen, he's flying uh, an A310. Uh, join line, Headed to Brussels. I think that's him. I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to see on the VATSIM map. I'll confirm that here in a bit. Sounds good, DFW, DFW spotter. You're going to need it, man. You got a long flight today. Long flight Radio today. check. Radio check, flight and clear. Delta 195, Atlanta Tower. You on frequency? Uh, good question. Is it common for un or uncommon for VAT sim controllers to speak in the local language? It is very common, actually. Um, it's required to speak English, but if you know local people come in speaking the local language, um, a lot of times a lot of times a controller will speak the local language with them if, they, if needed. Ram uh, 238 November RNF to Lightus from one left mic two quick check off. Royal Amaral, 238 November, 9 left at Mike 2, fifth departure. Uh, one correction, American 121, heavy, runway 9 left, Mike 2, lap weight. Royal Lab Air, Air Maroc. American 121, heavy. Now lining up runway 9 or left here in Atlanta. Or across the pond, across the pond eastbound 2023. Trying to get an idea where these guys, who these guys are, where they're going. We also can have an American Airlines 787 lining up behind them. Oh, look at that shot with the sunrise. What's up, Joel Nuer? What near? Welcome to the street, man. That was gorgeous. Cutting it close on that uh, lineup and wait, ain't he? You might have to delay your Norfolk charter flight. Yeah, honestly, I don't recommend trying to fly out of Atlanta right now. You can fly over it, but I don't even know if they're going to accept any arrivals or departures if you don't have a booking for the event today. Can someone help me out and tell me what's the best sounding plane? In my personal opinion, that would be the Fly-By-Wire A320. Yeah, so these guys up front are holding, and he's rotating. What's going on, aviation lover? We are in Atlanta. Oh, look at that climb out. Jeez. Is he going to stall? There you go, there's a nose coming down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ooh, I like this shot right behind the fence, like the real life. <laughs> American 121, RNF to Lightus, runway 9 left, Mike 2, cliff takeoff. Clear for takeoff, RNF Lightus, American 121, heavy. Ram 238, November, contact departure. Over to departure, Air Maroc 238, November, thank you. All right, America's on this rollout. Total 150, Papa Heavy, Atlanta Tower, 9 left, Mike 2, live weight. Looks like America is headed to Delta Tango Tango Alpha. I don't know where that is. Uh, Tunis Karthaj. 
something like that. The flat bar has sounds that are too rough sounding. Ah, I disagree, but you know, it's my opinion. Um, I've been I spent a lot of my time. I spent a lot of time in real life around A320 uh, Neos, and I just feel like it's extremely accurate. It's definitely oh look at that cross, look at that crab, bro! What a shot! And uh, but I feel like the sounds do sound extremely accurate. They are definitely bumped up and exaggerated just a tiny Number bit. One fifty Papa Heavy R9 Lotus nine left Mike two clear takeoff. Out of lighters, nine left clear takeoff. Uh, one five zero Papa. Sierra Alpha Bravo five forty six heavy on a tower caution. We turn one departing heavy Airbus three thirty runway nine left Mike two line wait. All right, next up we have a Delta A three thirty nine hundred headed to Tunis. That's uh, Delta t uh, Tango Tango Alpha. Number one twenty one heavy. I think that's in Africa somewhere. Departure, American 121, heavy tanks line. I like this view as well. We'll stick, we'll, we can change it up a few times. The, the beauty of plane spotting in the virtual world is that you can switch it up. So, there's so many great views. We got the sunrise view, we got the threshold camera here. And I'm zoomed in as far as in as I can get. And there it is, rotate, he's up. A330 coming in behind him. I'm not sure what he's doing. <laughs> he, do you have a different scenery, bro? Yeah, definitely picked the perfect time to do this, man. Bravo 546, heavy RNF, wide, that's not left, Mike 2, quick takeoff. Big on my left. Dollar 46, heavy on a tower, caution. Yep, return, next up we have uh, Delta A310. Heading for Brussels. This is this guy right ahead of us. Bit of a weird uh, lineup, but hey, he's gonna make it work. It's supposed to be a Roland should be rotating here any second. Now remember, these planes are very heavy. And next we have a Delta A350, the first A350 of today's stream. Just posing for the camera. I bet you this person is probably in X plane. Oh, look at that shot. Dollar forty six heavy on that water is not left. Mike two quick takeoff. Quick pick up, nine left, iron of uh lighted, double pretty security. Total one fifty pop, can I departure? Heavy departure, one fifty pop, good morning. Tell Bravo five forty six heavy can I departure here. Alright, he's rolling. Sierra Alpha Bravo five forty six heavy can I departure, good day. You know, 538 heavy line of terror, runway 9 left. Mike 2, line up wave, caution, wave, turbulence, departing heavy, Airbus 340. Nice and wait, uh, nine left, Mike 2, you know, 538 heavy. Zatso flies. What's up, man? Welcome Tower to the stream, man. Five. It has been a long time. Where you Call been, man? Second. So this is a dollar seven five. Just wondering about our sequence. We do uh, have a slot in one of our skies to go. Uh, before us when we had a later, uh, earlier slot than them. Dollar seven five. I think you might be number three right now. Let me check. Number. Sounds 
Some of these people are not showing up on the radar. You've been flying a 7879 a lot? I bet you have, man. I bet you have. Alright, you're gonna switch the views up. Get all that traffic. Yeah, I didn't get the early access version of the 78. So I'm just picking it up last night and uh, still haven't tried it yet. We'll see if it's any good or if I like it. All right, United 787 rolling on runway 09 or left here in Atlanta. Tower, this is American 4269. Just want to check our sequence. Uh, that was American 4269. Uh, yes. Yeah, so the problem is right now they want all the track departures to go off the north side, which obviously is not going to happen because you guys are right there at the south side. But we're trying to stop the north departures to make space for you guys to go. So get if you don't hear from me in five minutes, call me back. Yep, no permanent, no problem. Thank you. A bit of chaos going on in Atlanta right now. We yeah, had some issues with ground. One, one, nine, five, holding Not sure if they're just, one, still nine, five, off. Atlanta, tower, RNF to uh, uh, grips for one nine left, Mike two, quick takeoff. Oh my God, what is going on here? <laughs> what is going on here? One ninety five, RNF grips nine left, clear for takeoff. What the heck? Clear for takeoff, uh, left, uh, right, left. Alright, where's my guy at? Where's our plane? 46, can I departure? Over to the departure with speed, 46 heavy. And, uh, United 538, contact departure. Over to the departure, United 538, thank you. Virgin 4, Delta Charlie, heavy Atlanta Tower, runway 9 left, Mike 2, line up and wait. 9 left, Mike 2, line wait, but in photo. Ah, oh, that sucks, man. You missed your departure due to a power outage, man. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. I'm, still, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with these uh, three aircraft here in the back of our screen now. They've been sitting there since we got here. So I'm not sure they came too early or, or what happened, but they're all just sitting there in line waiting. All right, next we've got a 320 unmarked. There it is, wheels up. Yeah, hopefully they shut the Person engines four, down. Double Charlie, R nav lettuce, for my nine left, my two, quick takeoff. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, beautiful, oh, oh, beautiful to park in Atlanta today. On the Delta sunrise. Delta 80 Atlanta Tower, for my nine left, my two, actually, uh, Delta 80 heavy hold position. Let me uh, fix my camera here, guys. We're on speed zero. That way it won't Little move. 179 heavy Atlanta tower. Make, uh, make a right turn on Lima 1 and runway 9 left, Mike 2, line up and wait. Next up, we got Virgin Atlantic headed to London Heathrow. 9 or left, Atlanta. You know what? Honestly, I wouldn't mind flying across the pond in an A320 or a 737. It's just different than just flying like a heavy heavy jet, even though obviously you want to fly heavy. Look at that Virgin Atlantic livery. That's sweet right there, man. Heavy, hold short of Lima 1. Short of Lima 1, KLM 160. Delta 195, turn left. Left turn heading 180, maintain 10,000. Now, chat, remember these guys are not real pilots. <laughs> well, most of them are not. Is it Qantas over there? Turn up to heading That's terminal, Air France. Way to depart later on, Delta, KLM. Uh, Delta 195. Another KLM statue. Yeah, only you guys gotta do this. Count the tail strikes and overruns in chat. Get it for me. Contact departure one two five point six five. Good day. 
contact the bathroom 125 point the small 65 that's a 767 yeah that was definitely a 767 version 4 double charlie contact departure All right, he's rolling. Look at that line of queue in the background. Version four, Delta Charlie, contact departure. Ooh, he's rolling. Walker thirty two seventy four, heavy Atlanta Tower, Arnav to Lightus, runway nine or left at Mike Correction, nine or left full line. Sorry. Takeoff. Oh my God! Okay, that KLM is starting to ruin my shots. Uh, that KLM is starting to ruin my shots. Attention, all aircraft monitoring the tower frequency. If you guys are flying the Jack departure, Juliet Alpha Charlie Charlie Charlie, if you're on the Jack departure, your new departure frequency is one three three point four seven. Everyone else remains the same. If you're on the Jack departure, your departure frequency is thirty three forty seven. All right, we're gonna move. I don't. At first it was funny, but now I don't like seeing that KLM over there. He's ruining my immersion. <laughs> Alright, 4269, uh, continue taxi, make a left turn on Lima, hold short of 9 The months. good news is we got a drone, and we have American full access to Atlanta for this today's event. All American, uh, have of me, count 644. Let's do like okay, a, a terminal cam here. Heavy turn right on Lima 1, hold short of 9, left at Mike 2, dollar 75 heavy, straight ahead is a KLM 787, follow them. It will follow the KLM 787 dollars Alright, next up we finally got a Walker Air Transport Triple Seven. Rolling out nine or left here on this chilly cold morning in Atlanta. It's like 59 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Winter is coming. All aboard! If you've never heard of Walker Transport, it is a uh, very popular virtual airline. A lot of very active pilots actually know the owner. He's a great guy, great website, and some amazing liveries. And he's probably on X plane, or he might be P3D actually. Wouldn't be surprised. There it is. Oh yeah, that's P3D. Look how smooth that is. Oh, beautiful triple seven on the. R there she goes. And coming soon, Lufthansa triple seven four seven. Where is he headed to? I'm having a hard time. Like the uh, the Simaware app I'm using to track all the aircraft is uh, uh, updating yes, fairly time, slow. But, uh, they're still working on a release time for you. So what I'm going to have you do, KLM 160, turn left on runway nine left, right on Tango, right on November, short of Papa. And the uh, 3D models we're using for model yeah, matching today down, is by Fly-By-Wire FS right LTL. Short of Papa, KLM the yes, same add-on that I use for AI traffic. So if you've never tried it, give it a try and get it from the Fly-By-Wire app. Right, Tango, right, November, short of Papa. Just follow the, keep following the KLM. Next up, KLM. Okay, we'll follow the KLM. Thanks. Most That's likely fun, flying to Amsterdam, but maybe not. Walker 3274, contact departure, get What's going on, Elias? Welcome to the stream, man. We are in Atlanta, man. We are in Atlanta, Hartsfield, Georgia. All right, so that last flight, uh, Walker Air was heading to Amsterdam. It was a 777. Next up, we have Caleb 624, also headed to Amsterdam. Shipple. There's a new scenery by, I think, is it, is it Flight Beam who made it? Uh-oh, we have an issue. Delta 179, contact departure. He's exiting the runway. That's our first rejected takeoff. Must be having a problem with the plane. Good morning, Dingo KSU. Welcome to the stream, bro. Welcome aboard. Yeah, our first uh, rejected takeoff there. But following him is going to be another Delta A350.
Got an 80 heavy, uh, continue taxi via mic, and uh, just pull up tight behind that KLM uh, straight ahead. Oh, straight ahead, we'll get in tight behind that KLM. Uh, oh, they're both. So I and guess. Got an 80, uh, similar one second, let me check something. All right, interesting. Yeah, they're both heads to Amsterdam. What's up, Midnight Maverick? What are you doing awake? It's like five o'clock in the morning. Where you at? Are you you're not I doing it across the pond? Actually, uh, we're actually in good shape for you. Delta eighty heavy RNF to light us from my nine left of Mike two. Quick takeoff. RNF light us. Uh, clear takeoff at Mike two Delta eighty. Thanks. So they're doing some sequencing here, getting some aircraft out of the way of the queue. We also have departures happening on the other side of the runway, on the north side. Let's see if we can see anything over there. Honestly, if we do like a higher tower view, we could actually spot on both ends. Might do that later. Alright, there's Luthanza in the shot. I need to do that. The Luthanza 747 has become like an iconic plane for me because it's one of the the, the, the final few 747s that still fly today uh, in commercial service. All right, Delta, what is that, an A330 lining up on 9 and right, 9 and left? What up, Captain Edward? Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Yeah, also, great stream last night, Maverick, on the farming sim. I'm definitely going to be getting back in the farming sim pretty soon. Oh, I thought you had a 330 Neo lined up with 9 left there. We got a few more aircraft in queue. KLM, Delta, United, Delta. You're going to see a lot of Deltas today because we are in the Delta hub of Atlanta. Here it is. Here it goes. Delta 330 is rolling out. Right behind that 747. Actually, sorry, not a Neo. That's a regular 33900. Delta 174 Heavy Tower, hold short 9 left at Mike 2. Oh, look at that. Wheels look at up. Mike 2, United 886 Heavy, continue to actually follow the Delta. Continue taxi following the Delta United 886. Yeah, so it seems like a good spot to spot at, at least right now this morning. Is uh, where, where is he going? That is definitely not the right direction to taxi. <laughs> Everybody's going the other way, unless he's going to the other side of the airport. Um, is Atlanta and Orlando? Uh, we may. Fly over to Orlando, the spot over there. If uh, things start to slow down here. Alright, who up next? I know there's a lot of people streaming this event as well. Let me see if anybody on YouTube is streaming. We can catch. I know the homie Leo Sticks is uh, headed out. He's flying his Horizon 7A7 in the American 7A7. We'll hopefully, we'll pick him up. I think he's actually just to the left of our screen right now. It is, man. The A330 engines are so tiny. That's why I like the Neo so much. Cause they, like, it looks really cool. All right, another KLM A330. Most likely heading to Amsterdam. Nice, no tail strike. Beautiful. Howard, do we have an estimate on the delay for Dollar 75? We can uh, shut down the engine to Fable. Dollar seventy-five. Let me check with the PM. You guys, if uh, you guys should shut down, or if you, should you were forty-five minutes down. behind on the stream until now. Well, welcome to uh, the present. <laughs> All right, so this guy right here is a good friend of mine, Leo Sticks eighty-six. He's actually live right now 
Uh, if you want to catch, check him out, let me see, I'll type in the uh, Discord link for him. I think it's Leo. Is it just Leo? Let me see. Does that work? I'm not sure that works. Yeah, Leo 686. He is taxing to the runway now for his flight to Tunis from Atlanta. So we'll be definitely stick around and watch him take the part. And again, if you are also flying out of Atlanta, let me know. Now the 330 taking off with those tiny engines. Actually, sorry, that's 767, also with tiny engines. <laughs> Uh, XO, how good is the uh, refresh rate on VAT Spy? I'm on Simaware and I'm like, it's like really behind. It's really like impossible for me to keep track of uh, who's going where and whatnot. Let me try VAT Spy and see if that might be better. I'm pretty um, disappointed. <laughs> Yeah, 786 heavy, you're on Avalidus, runway 9 left, Mike 2, quick takeoff. Alright, confirm, United 886. United 886 heavy, you're on Avalidus, 9 left, Mike 2, quick takeoff. On Avalidus, Mike 2, will be the last clip, take off United 886. Alright, 66 echo heavy, runway 9 left, on a boy, caution, waiter, wind's departing, heavy, Boeing 787. Roger, lighting up, 09 left, data, 66 echo. Another 174 heavy, counter departure. Light departure, one delta 174, thank you very much. All right, so for American 4269, KLM 624, KLM 160, and dollar 75 for you guys. So we've got kind of an argument going on between traffic management and the controller in charge. <laughs> traffic management is saying that you guys aren't going to be released for at least another 30 minutes. Oh, wow. Controller in charge is saying that all you guys have first come, first serve. So they're kind of trying to hash it out right now and, and get you guys a release time as soon as possible. Okay, uh, 160, your release time is the only one that's in the future of 1315. One, Everyone else had a release time of earlier. Those earlier guys are getting uh, getting pre-sequenced right now. So I'd hate to tell you guys to shut down and then have the CSE come in here and release all you guys. Um, so just give me another few minutes. Let me figure out who wins this argument, and I'll get back with you guys. Wow, okay, drama. To the north side of Snebee. Who was that? Ellison 5, I got no problem taxing north side sequencing over there if needed. Well, see, the thing about that is I'm looking at the north side and I, let me see here, 3, 4, 5. There's, there's 12 jack departures on the north uh -oh. side that you guys would then become 13, 14, 15, 16. I'd Bruh. like to keep you guys number 1 through 4. If you guys want to become number 14, I can accommodate your taxi request. But the set, you know, sitting here, you know, will probably be faster than moving in a line of 14 airplanes. All right, we'll stick with that plan then. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Delta 66 Echo Heavy, you're on Avalon. It's 9 left, Mike 2, cliff takeoff. 9 left, cliff takeoff. Wow, drama, 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 drama. There's an uh, argument going on to get these guys off the ground. Two, <laughs> you know, the 886 Heavy, counter departure. If you're just joining us, welcome, welcome aboard. We are plane spotting on runway nine or left in Atlanta, Hartsfield. This is all virtual. These are not real people. Oh, these are real people, but not real planes. Every single aircraft you see out there is piloted by a real person in their own simulator at their house or studio. This is the biggest multiplayer event of the year across the pond eastbound heading across the North Atlantic Ocean. A lot of heavy jets, people flying various flight simulators. Some are in Microsoft Flight Sim, some are in X-Plane, some are in P3D, and there might be some in either in some other um, software as well. And we're using uh, FSLTL by Fly-By-Wire for the model matching, which is why the uh, 3D models of the multiplayer aircraft are looking so nice and crisp. But also thanks to VATSIM and their very low latency now, 
just how smooth the aircraft look when they go by. Oh, look at that, next up. 736 Heavy, RNAV Lighters, runway 9, left bike 2, quick take off. Okay, for takeoff, runway 9, left, uh, Lufthansa 75. Lufthansa 75. Heavy, caution from departing, but Headed to Brussels. Brussels. I got you, Leo. I got you, Leo. We had you on the, on the screen for a bit. We're waiting for you, bro. That's Leo Sticks in chat right there, guys. Go check out his stream. He's departing here soon. He's in line. And the American 787. An update for you guys. The uh, CIC has said that regardless of where you guys go, they can guarantee it'll be at least a 10 minute wait from the present time. For KLM 160, your edict of 1315 is accurate. So you have 45 minutes. Um, for the other guys, if you want to shut down, you can, but you could, you could be released as early for, as 10 minutes from now. Yeah, I, I tried this Ramp last year. Zero heavy RNAV lightest, nine left, mic two, quick takeoff. Stay for takeoff, fire mark, four seven two heavy. Next up, flight going to Casablanca. With on the 736 heavy, gunner departure. The 1416 heavy, Atlanta Terror, runway nine left, mic two, lap weight, caution weight, turbulence, departing, heavy Boeing 787. Nine left, After this departure, uh, we'll, uh, we'll probably see if we can get a higher up view so we can also see the north side of Atlanta as well. Just a little bit higher. But just look how smooth it is on that. It's in Royal Air Maroc, headed to Casablanca. Beautiful liftoff. Not even close to a tail strike. Positive rate gear up, my friend. Have a safe trip. Long flights today, guys. Six to eight to ten hour flights we got departing out of Atlanta right now. There's a Lufthansa A330 leaving the gate. A lot of these aircrafts are flipping around and headed towards the north side. Delta 416 heavy, on a light is from one left, mic two, quick takeoff. Yeah, I recommend bringing a bunch of extra fuel. Nine for these events, because you're going to be in the queue for a bit. Delta 5427, Atlanta Tower, caution, return, departing heavier, West 350, runway 9, left, mic 2, quick takeoff. Or, I'm sorry, Atlanta, wait. 5427, runway 9, left, line of wait. I got you. 5427, line of wait. Alright, next up, we have a Delta A350, that's Delta 416. Headed to Rome, I think. Lima, India, Romeo, Foxtrot. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. L-I-R-F. I think that's Rome. There's 70 departures right now for Atlanta. Actually, earlier when I first logged in, it was 164 departures. Um, logged in and ready to leave Atlanta. That's gone down a little bit. The beautiful thing about this is that if you guys want to check this out for yourself, you can. All you got to do is jump on Microsoft Flight Sim or X-Plane or whatever your flight sim is, log in the VAT Sim, and start watching. If you want to do it like I'm doing it here, you're going to want to make sure you have some uh, model matching. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. My favorite, MD-11's pushing back, UPS and Lufthansa Cargo. That's Leo! Alright, we're gonna... Right, we're not gonna be like the plane spotting channels where we, we skip the 320's. We're gonna still watch the 320's. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, they never watched the 320's and the 737's. And I get it, everybody was just supposed to see the big jets. Big jet TV, you know what I mean? But, gotta show some love, man. He's not too heavy. He got nose up early. 
Now, most of these departures, so we gotta find out where he's going. Is he actually heading out across the pond as well? Let's get eyes on Leo here. Nathan's in the chat. What's up, man? Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Next up, we have our homie Leo Sticks. Again, check him out right now. He is live. Leo Sticks 86. Arnav Light is uh, clear for takeoff, 9 or left, American 1986 heavy. Delta 416, heavy counter departure. Actually, that 320 that just took right off is headed to Orlando. Delta 5427, contact departure. On departure, good day. Leo Sticks 86 on YouTube, live heavy right heavy now for his long haul. Left, line up and 9 left with Mike 2, line up and wait, caution, which everyone's departing, heavy Boeing 787. Line up and wait, runway 9 left at Mike 2, caution, the departing 787, Delta 22 heavy. Delta 5427, are you still on frequency? Still on the frequency, I'm just transferring out right now. I Delta know, man. Delta 5427, just turn left, heading 180, heading 180, climb to 10,000. They're so good, like, the plane spotting streams are so good, but, like, they totally neglect any A320 that comes in, any 737, any anything that's not heavy. Now, I give credit to some of the British uh, plane spotting channels, they do show love. Um, to some of the smaller aircraft, the Ryanairs and whatnot. But anyways, Leo Stix 86 live on YouTube right now. He is flying, he is departing, he's rolling in that American 787 headed to uh, Tunis. Oh, beautiful takeoff, my friend. Nose is up into the sunrise, the more early morning Atlanta sunrise. Gear is up, and he is on his way. That's an eight-hour flight. Oh, my God, what's going on here? There is a... Is that a Austrian 787 twerking on the ramp? 22, heavy on a flight us, runway 9 left. Mike 2, quick takeoff. Cooper takeoff from way 9 left at Mike 2. Honestly, man, this is nothing new, bro. Cross the pond has always been this busy. Like, in my opinion, this looks. This seems less busy than I thought it was going to be. I thought it'd be more busy, but I feel like they've gotten the. Um, oh, look at the departure. Oh, we got. Oh, the departure. Uh, I'm switching to north side. 25 decimal 65 American 1986. There's Leo. See you, man. I wish I could talk to him on the radio. All right. Uh, I don't know this guy, so we're switching to the other side. <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna go to the north side for a little bit. We got some 747s departing. And, uh, All we'll right. watch it from here. Alright, for uh, American 4269K on 624, KL 160 dollars. Alright, swap it over to 11901. You guys have been elevated to the command center. So, uh, it's out of our hands now. It's up to uh, sequencing that the command center thinks that uh, where you can fit in uh, Washington Center and New York Center. Of course, New York Center is the problem child. <laughs> so, I have released times for three out of four of you guys. Dollar seven five, they're still working on your time. Okay, I'm 160. Your release is still 1315 Zulu. That's going to be in about uh, 45 minutes. American 4269. I've got a release time for you of 1400. That's going to be almost an hour and a half. And then KLM 624 Heavy, if you thought that was that. KLM 624 Heavy is released at 1530. Oof. That one is in three hours. Oh. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think that's after the event time. So I'm going to keep fighting for you guys, but I just wanted to let you know that your cases are still being worked. And that's the latest update. But I will keep working for you guys. Wow. So Thank you. We appreciate it. We, we have a swap and everything. We, so we're we met our uh, uh, stand time. Uh, exactly. Uh, so was this an issue with ATC or what? Give me one second. Delta 22 heavy contact departure. I mean, I got to get back over to the north frequency, but there's drama happening. Delta 22 heavy contact departure. I do want to give a big shout out to um, ATC here in Atlanta for fighting right. for these so guys. I heard a thank you, and I heard two replies that were stepped on each other. Um, KLM 624, did you have a question? But this is good. This is good content. <laughs> I'm going to keep listening. <laughs> KLM 
the T is on Atlanta South. So we'll, we'll <laughs> look at all these airplanes just sitting and waiting. Yeah, was, we we were uh, pushed back and, and started our taxi on time. Was this an uh, ATC issue? Uh, let's see your release time one 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 six. So and you're you're on a jack, yeah. So what probably happened was you your release time was just happened to be around the time that they wanted to, for some reason, start sending the jack departures off the north side. So I think, if I recall correctly, you had a pretty slow taxi out to the runway, thanks to the ground controller, didn't you? Uh, very slow, so yes. Yeah, so they, they, were, they were trying to figure out back then if they were going to send you off the north side or let you keep going to the south side, and by the time they finally made up your uh, their mind, your release time had come and gone. So I think it was... Um, uh, Atlanta traffic management unit trying to decide if uh, if you were going to go off the north side or the south side that took too long. We're all we're doing is is being given information to controllers that you're actually talking to. All we're doing is being given information from traffic management and doing what they say. You know, we our only job is clear for takeoff, clear to land, right? Um, so I'm pretty sure it was just very poor timing, and it just it just so happened to be you. Who was who was caught in the middle of it? It, uh, it doesn't have anything to do with your your performance of connecting on time and being ready. It has to do with traffic management and being slow, falling behind, and now unfortunately penalizing you for their errors. Yeah, well, uh, we're good. I'm I'm going to go ahead and disconnect though. I'm not going to wait the hour, but I I appreciate your ATC. You were great. So have a good one. All right. Well, sorry to hear that. And uh, if you want to do some domestic flying, you know, we're, we're still more than happy to do that. Um, you know, we can, we can get you guys out doing all that stuff. It's just the, the compression that's happening over New York and Boston. And then, of course, feeding the Oceanics who needs, you know, 30 minutes between every airplane, which is absurd. But, um, <laughs> yeah, we're more than happy to, uh, to help you out domestically. Oh, whoa, whoa, but, uh, whoa. We'll Take care. Oh, no. Yeah, thanks so much. Thanks oh. for you. Have a good one. Oh. <laughs> If we were disconnect, that's not going to count against us on the next slot, uh, slaughtery, is it? Uh, who was that? Uh, dollars for the five? Guys, we lost check. one. Yeah, I'd like to know that as well. Uh, I just can't. I'm not going to wait another hour. So. And which one was that? American 4269? 4269, yeah. Yeah, let me check on that. Stand by. Jeez, that was our first crash of the day. Oh, dude didn't and make it. On, it was probably it's above it's max takeoff weight. That's my guess. Jeez, Kalium Triple Seven line up next. Let's see where he's going. What was I using? I use this one. We're on the north side now. And the last calling Atlanta Tower. Amsterdam. Right was so I'm telling you guys, on Vatsim, you never know what you're gonna get out here, man. Is that American Twenty Three Forty Four calling the tower. Never know. These guys are not professionals. Rest in peace. Bro, look at all the traffic just waiting to taxi out. Uh, dollar seventy-five. Is there another departure they can put us on that uh, maybe uh, a reroute? Uh, we'll accept that if it gets us out quicker. Let me check on that one. I might, I might actually have some good news for you guys. They're, they're, they're talking about it here. The, the CIC is kind of saying, you know, off with, off with the command center. I'm gonna do my own thing. So let me see what he oh. says. And I'll get back with Man, you guys. Man, this is as good. Far as the question about if you choose to disconnect and not fly, will it affect your ability next time? It will not. You guys, you guys were on the network at the right time, and it just so happened that TMU delayed you to the point where you had to be resequenced. This has nothing to do with you guys. If you choose to disconnect, it will not affect your next uh, your next event. Uh, as far as reroutes and possible early releases, if you want to stick around just a minute, let me see what he's talking about. Stand by. Yeah, we'll stick uh, around. American 4269 is going to disconnect. They already shut down engines and all. So. Yeah, I got an MD-11 waiting over there from right, 787. A lot of drama on the south side of Atlanta here. Uh, some kind of sequencing issues happening. A uh, few guys getting their push, their um, departure times pushed back by as, as much as three hours. And we have a PMDG, looks like a BBJ, private business jet taking off. I wonder if he's using the new EFB. But yeah, honestly, man, I, I would be pretty upset myself. If I plan to do this event, yeah, I'd be really upset, honestly. I would be so pissed.
because this event is going to take you a full day to do. Think like you got to get here early, get your aircraft ready to make your departure time. You got to go and do all your flight planning. Booth Sansa 787. Uh, and then you got to wait in line here for however long. And then to find out that you're going to get put to the back of the line or delayed three hours. All right, so. Um American 2344, contact departure. American 2344, departure. Next up, Lufthansa 787. Okay, I'm uh, 624 heavy. Are you uh, ready now? Dreamland. 624 heavy, yeah, I'm ready. All right, Caleb, 624 heavy, RNAV to uh, Lightus, runway 9 left, full length, clear for takeoff. Caleb, 624, RNAV uh, to Lightus, runway clear for takeoff. Thanks a lot for the help. Uh oh, is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? Oh my god, he has not rotated. He's at the end of the runway. This might be number two. No! Oh, he, okay, he just ramped off the, the hill. That works. Nailed it. Uh, is he gonna still... I'll have to watch this guy. That was sketchy. But we'll call that number two. We'll call that the second incident. Uh-oh, he is falling. Okay, I'm 160 heavy, uh, yes, peak pilot skills. That guy is headed to Frankfurt, right. by the way. Mike, right, I think he's, I think he saved it. Nice save. We're going to sort of. Right on Papa, cross nine left, and uh, by the right way, on. we have Mike, MD11, 747 from Atlas Air, pushing back from the cargo area. Uh, continue to actually hold short of Papa. And we have American 737 okay, heading out. Papa, Dallas, he is going to Amsterdam. Possibly a ferry flight. Would anybody here in the chat, would you fly a 737 or A320 across the pond? Or for a long haul? Not bad, you can tell he's a little heavy too, man. You can tell he's a little heavy, but no tail strike. Wheels up. He's out of here for his flight to. Where was he going again? Amsterdam. Look at all this traffic, guys. Look at all this traffic. Oh, look at that over there. Oh, your flight was meant to be an F320. That's sweet, man. That's pretty cool. So it sounds like they are accepting some uh, domestic traffic. So if you do yeah, want to kind of to get in uh, on this event, um, you could technically still fly in and out of uh, or in or see out of Atlanta. I have not seen a single yeah, arrival. with you on Mike. Hold it short, Mike two. So I don't know if they're accepting. Right, on the ground. Just give me one second here. Kalem six twenty four. Arrivals. All we've seen so far is departures. Maintain eight thousand. Kalem six twenty four. All right, Caleb, 624, appreciate that. 8,000 in contact departure, 133.47. To be honest with you guys, Caleb looks good on any plane. Delta 2387, heavy, you ready for departure? Copy, we are ready for departure, Delta 2387. All right, Delta 2387. Let me, let me check something, stand by. Sweet, you flew the 737-700 yeah, right across the Pacific. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty yeah, cool. We got your key, uh, you flew a uh, JetBlue AT-21 right, from you, Heathrow to JFK. Very good flight. $15.75. If you want to wait and keep your current route, your release time is 1300 That's 10 minutes. Real-world flight. You got Austrian, okay, looks like a 767 holding short sure there. Fly right, north. Still working on your time. These guys sure, are still just sitting here. Again, if you guys are just joining us, we are in Atlanta on VATSIM for the Cross the Pond event. 
good. We're still within Just doing some plane spotting here this, this morning. Every plane you Four see on my screen uh, is piloted three, by three, a real four, person. There's right, a real go. person. And all the voices you hear are real people as Hello, well. Cargo 8171 heavy. You want frequency? 8171. All right, what's your release time? One minute ago. Okay, we're going to have to get you moving. UPS 70 heavy. Are you on frequency? Got some delays as well in Atlanta. Was that so UPS far? 70? Yeah, it was. Uh, what's your release time? We have release time about 15 minutes ago. Oof. One five or five zero? One five. All right. Um, let's do this. UPS uh, 70 heavy. Turn right on runway 9 right. And then turn left on November 2. Hold short of November. Right on 2 right and left on November. Hold short of November. Sounds like we got some delays. Not quite. UPS 70. Right turn on the runway. Turn on to 9 right. And then turn left on November 2. Right on the runway. Then left on November 2. Hold short of November. Thank you. UPS 70. Where's he at? Yeah, we got two MD-11s. That's my favorite aircraft right there. I love that plane. Let me see if I can tune into a uh, north side departure here. I'm going to hop back into our aircraft. We're over here hovering. <laughs> Wisconsin Cargo 8171 Heavy. Continue taxi cross 9 right and uh, hold short of November. See if any action's on 1191 here. If not, we'll swap back. I bet departure yeah, sounds crazy busy. Yeah. Delta, the KLM six twenty six should be about to tower. Confirm yeah, delays in Atlanta. That's pretty realistic. I agree. Oh, one two two five four seven five. I agree. Right, nice, thank you. KLM two twenty one thirty three heavy cards. Uh, confirm your departure. Uh, it says one two five six five, but I believe it's coming one three three four seven because I'm a. Uh, Falling track in front of me. Exactly, because you get context clues. Appreciate you. <laughs> this guy, a whole personality and a half. Oh, tail strike. Delta seventy two, you can hold short on hotel, please. We'll hold short hotel Delta seventy two. This is fun. You guys enjoying this? Delta What's your honest Delta feedback? 20. What do you think about this? This is pretty. Like, just watching this is really entertaining, to be honest. Looking forward. I wonder what this Norwegian's uh, air uh, departure time is. Or first time seeing Norwegian tonight or today. Over the cinema for eleven three five. DB Vetter, you had a, a delay in Atlanta for six hours. You didn't take off until one a.m. Out. All right. Next up, another Delta seven sixty seven headed to Amsterdam. Delta six forty one needs your direct Ronnie now. Thanks. The pilot is based out of Minneapolis, Mr. Jason. Delta 641 Heavy, contact departure. And big shout out to all the VATSIM controllers out there doing our thing in the event. There are a lot of people coming together to make this event happen. Uh, after this departure, we'll jump and look at, the, at the, uh, the radar so you can see just how busy it is with pilots and ATC. It's, it's crazy right Delta now. Delta 72 Heavy, I'm waiting on some releases, so uh, stand by. No problem, Delta 72. Yeah, me too. It's good to see the Norse Delta and Norwegian have, have some kind of diversity of aircraft here. We got an Austrian as well. For all of our international people. He's up. He's good. Look at them just holding there. Most people have pushed back. That's good. They're getting people out of here pretty nicely. It's a little bit of delay happening, but... Ooh, is that MD-11 heading out? Yes, he is. Let's swap frequencies here. Andy, heavy hold short of Papa. What's going on, Josh? Welcome back, bro. Good to see you, man. UPS 70 heavy. Continue taxi. Hold short. Yes, Mark. Papa. Seven days until world it's flight. Uh, looking forward to seeing you there, man. 
bro. I love the fact that I can look at, I can, this airport is set up perfectly for plane spotting. At least from inside the airport. I'm not sure about in real life. Luth has a cargo. Luth. American 25, Foxtrot Charlie, runway 9 left at mic 2, line up and wait. Uh, Look at that beauty. I love that plane. Dollar seventy five, you're number two for departure. Number two, dollar seventy five, thanks. Wait for it. There he is. Uh this event is in all platforms, so not just Microsoft Flight Sim, it's uh, X Plane, P three D. Um, anything that can connect to Vatsim, which are those three. Ooh, Austrian's uh, crossing the runway there, his 767. Let's see what we got happening on the north side. Nothing really. All right, let's take a really quick uh, break from the action. And I'm going to show you guys what the map looks like right now because it's going to be it's pretty crazy. Heavy contact departure on Let me take a look here. All right, this is the Volanta map. And if we zoom out, we can see just how much traffic there is. And this it's going to be crazy later on because all these planes are going to fly over the North Atlantic here and into Europe. So we got a lot of departures happening out of Atlanta, which is where we are right now. It's actually kind of slowed down a little bit in Atlanta. Um, we have departures leaving Orlando, which is the other kind of busy hub. We might actually go jump over to Orlando. There's a lot of planes in Orlando. We might jump over to Orlando, to be honest with you. Uh, what do you guys think, chat? Should we jump to Orlando and see how it's doing there? Before uh, it slows down? So I don't think there's departures for world f uh, for uh, across the pond out of New York, but you are flying through New York and Boston Center. There's also departures leaving Halifax for the event. Doesn't look as busy, but still some really good departures leaving there. All right, chat says let's go. All right, let's do it, guys. We're gonna jump over. We are going to jump over to Orlando, do some spotting over there. Uh, Atlanta was definitely entertaining. I really enjoyed it. And I uh, had some good departures out of there as well. Had some pretty cool look down to 747s. I'm kind of curious of what airlines we'll see in Orlando. Probably around the same. Let's see, Orlando is it's not really a hub for any big, big airlines uh, that I could think of. So we'll probably see a, a mixture. Seventy-five. Hey, thanks for your patience today. Run after Lightus. Nine left at Mike Two. Oh Version shoot! MJ Shelby says line, we'll coming go. into Atlanta on zero nine right in about ten minutes. Crap, man! I wish I would have saw that sooner. I would have stuck around. Dang it! I'm so sorry, man. I was We haven't seen a single like arrival yet. I want to see that. Oh man, that, that's actually. I'm actually just disappointed. I, that's the thing, man, about plane spotting. Even in real life, it's like you can really never leave at a good time. You can't. You're going to miss something. You're going to miss something. All right, let's go down to Orlando. I think I have scenery down here. Uh, we're just going to spawn whatever this area is. <laughs> is that a, supposed to be a gate? We're actually just going to leave the helicopter on the ground this time. I'm not going to take off. Save some time. Live with a lifetime. Fly. What's up, Alf man? Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. We might see some Jet Blues trying to do some cross the pond. A uh, buddy of yours is flying the event today uh, from Toronto to Amsterdam. Is Toronto one of the event locations too? I wouldn't mind going over. Oh, yeah, it is. I see a bunch of traffic heading out of Toronto as well. Yeah, I see. So yeah, we have a few places we could jump around. I wanna, I wanna get to these places before they slow down too much because eventually we're gonna get to a point where the, the majority of the traffic has departed, um, and people are gonna start arriving in the destinations because it is like six hour ish flights and whatnot, six or eight hour flights. We also have uh, a lot of planes going out of Bogota. Why is EA starting? Like, who told EA to start? 
Alright, all I gotta do is just kind of start the aircraft here and uh, just get the radios turned on so we can actually hear ATC. So we'll get the batteries on, gens on, RA, RA, FMS, and go into flight idle there. That's it. Alright, and we gotta reconnect the VAT sim now since we've uh, we moved. And again, we're connecting as observer. If you want to do what we're doing and watch the uh, the traffic without you know interrupting, uh, you can join VATSIM as an observer. And uh, doing that will allow you to listen in on ATC. You can see all the traffic, but you won't be seen and they can't hear you. I don't think they can hear you. Actually, yeah, they could hear you. If I talked, I believe I could. I think they could hear me. But um, you can see them. They can't see you. That's basically the, the idea. All right, what are the frequencies here in Orlando? Let's see. Um, ground, tower, as it says, three tower frequencies. That's that's helpful. 185. Got to find out which, which frequency is the correct one. This is the GTN 750. All right, uh, let's try 11845. Taz, system test okay. Okay, with your loud self. Uh, we'll put in standby uh, 118. Sorry, 1243. In case they're over there. Enter. Alright, that's good to go. So we should start hearing people when they start talking. Again, we're not going to take off. We'll just leave it on the ground here. Just get the radios turned on. Is it working? Oh, I think we're connected. That's for sure. One one eight four five. Yeah, that's correct. Delta seven forty seven. Make sure you're making the right turn. Direct go home and contact departure. Good morning. Contacting departure. Delta seven forty seven. All right, first departure out of Orlando, Virgin Atlantic 787. Mikey D, what's up, man? Good morning, bro. Ooh, FedEx. Long ship 12, Sierra uh, Heavy. All right, go home. Run Sorry, A350, correction. A350. Been seeing so many 787s. I think everything's a 787 now. Oh, that's a beautiful view. Look at that. Oh, don't you love the drone? I wish, you know what? I wish they would, I don't think it's ever going to happen, but I wish they allowed drones to be at airports like in real life to get shots like that. You got to get like a special clearance from like the airline and for like airline photo shoots to do that kind of thing. It seems like this side of the airport is the busy side. So that's where we're going to go. Uh, as we speak, there's a Norse 787 departing. Oh yeah, we got a line. Oh, Emirates out here as well. Uh, what runway is that, chat? I'm gonna do a bit of a flyover and uh, see. United 229, Orlando Tower, you up? What runway is that? That is runway. Long chip without 12. Three, one, one, one seven departure. right. Good morning. One seven right. Departure, good morning, and good luck with the rest of the departures. Uh, long ship called zero. All right, we'll do a bit of a. Um, Look at all the aircraft on the way to the runway. Got JetBlue 320, Ryanair 737, Frontier A320 Neo, a unmarked 737 700, looks like. 787 uh, KLM, Lufthansa A350. Mike Brother Tango 125, you can contact our line of departure 2837. Oh, look at this. Already. Singapore Airlines 330, I believe. Yep. Scandinavian, yeah, we got a lot of mixture here. Tower, United States, and a couple left. unmarks. Uh, United 787. United 229. Orlando Tower, good evening. Emirates. Uh, what was your slot time? Alright, we gotta find us a good uh, spot. So, uh, CD, we'll United 229. United 229, what was your Oh my god, look at this. Time? Look at this. Time. <laughs> That's cool. 
Uh, you don't need me anymore. I started getting some screenshots. Two twenty nine R Nav two J Wolf runway three five left clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff three five left. What uh, a lineup! Uh, That's right. Wow. All heavies. How about MD-11 uh, FedEx over there? Honestly, we'll be the best place to spot from here. We could try like, uh, it's kind of hard to keep up with the planes when I'm really close to the runway. Uh, can anybody tell me in chat, what is the number of departures currently for Orlando? Looks like everybody's pushed back already. Let's wait to depart. We can go out here on the, uh, on the edge. It's busy, that's for sure. All right, we'll set up here for now. We might, we might move later. Oh, that Ryanair is going to JFK. Sweet. I need to get my uh, my tracker up so I can start seeing where people are going. In Orlando. All right, seven eight seven from United is rolling the house. Only 35? Only 35? It feels like so much more. Ooh, we got a uh, Aerolingus Lingus in the background, too. Woo! United 229, contact Orlando departure. Have a good flight. Yeah, it's pretty chill in Orlando. Thank you hear him laughing because he almost lost it. Never bro, take four five two Orlando, you up. You heard him laughing on the radio, he almost lost that one. Go ship uh live five, have a uh holding short uh three thousand. Alright, let's get Orlando up here. And uh, long ship four fifty two heavy Orlando, what was your slot time? Uh, 12.46 Zulu. Roger, long ship 452, RNAV to go home, wind at 030 at 7, runway 35 left, clear for takeoff. RNAV to go home, uh, runway 35 left, clear for takeoff. Uh, There's only a few departures on the other yeah. runway. This one is all lined up right now, so a lot of departures on this runway. Long ship 452, uh, sorry, cancel takeoff, clearance, hold short of runway 35 left, is still able. Oh, snap. Holding short of uh, 35 left, uh, long ship uh, 452 heavy. Alright, this flight ahead of us is headed to uh, Rome. Ask you this again, it was 12.46, what's your time? And uh, he just had his takeoff clearance cancelled. 12.46, should it? Yeah, I did the math for 30 minutes, added on that, and thought 13.16 was your time. Sorry about that. You are clear for takeoff 35 left, RNAV go home. I'm sorry about that. No problem, thank you. Clear for takeoff, uh, RNAV go home, uh, no ship 452 heavy. Yeah, I thought 1316 was like, oh no, I can't send him now. <laughs> no problem, I appreciate it. <laughs> it's, it's been a long morning. A bit. Yeah, you are all excused today. I uh, have a traffic load, so best of all to you. We've been up since 5 a.m. Luckily, I, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> You now regret leaving Montreal so early. Why you? Why do you regret it, man? Don't respond. Go ahead and go with it, man. Go with it. Singapore 57, Orlando, you up? I am up. Singapore. All right. Next flight's headed to Singapore Rome. Seven. If you don't mind me asking, what was your slot time? 12:40. His nose gear is messed up. Singapore 57, Roger. Runway 35 left. Line the plate. Singapore 57 heavy, runway 35 left, land and wait. Land and wait, runway 35 left, Singapore 57. Tower, good evening, Lufthansa 454 heavy. There we go. Lufthansa 454 heavy, Orlando. Yeah, he's good, no tail The Lufthansa 454 heavy, what was your slot time? 
Beautiful, beautiful. Lot. Oh, look at that, that uh, 320 with a single four, engine taxi. Right, He's smart. Go ahead, this audio, four, five, four, Saving some fuel. No, I was just asking, what, what, time, what was your release time? Longboard 452, contact reminder. Department. You know, to be honest with you, I didn't know Norse existed contact either until departure. like this uh, week. Thank you for service and enjoy the rest of your day. Chat, who wants a high quality triple seven in Microsoft Flight Sim and X Plane? Put my hand up first. I, I'm really looking forward to getting a high quality triple seven cargo as well, cargo variant as well, on both X Plane and Microsoft Flight Sim. I know currently we have Flight Vector working on a triple seven that he's been teasing for a while. I thought it'd be out by now. We're still waiting. And also, PMDG is working on their 777 as well. It's supposed to come after the 737 EFB. Probably won't see it until next year. Lufthansa next up, Singapore A330. Uh, departure release time. Uh, departure is... Uh, uh, 1-3 Zulu, Lufthansa Postal Roger, Lufthansa 44, runway 35 left, come out of wait. Stand up and wait to 35 left, Lufthansa Professor Head. I mean, I, I understand that it's going to take us some time to get the PMDG 777, but would it be a bad idea for someone else to show up on the Microsoft Flight Sim scene with a competing 777 of equal quality? I'm not talking about Captain Sim. Like, there's definitely room in the, like for someone else to try to tackle that challenge and even give PMDG some competition. Like think about the Phoenix and how that came out and we were like, oh, why would we, why would we buy another A320? And yet they came out with one of the best Singapore airliners heavy for Microsoft flights in. Contact Orlando departure. All right, that Singapore flight is headed out to Amsterdam. Next up we have Lufthansa. 454 headed to Vienna. And then behind him, we have another KLM going to Amsterdam. Yeah, the model, the actual 3D model of Captain Sims 777 is beautiful. I will give them credit for that. I will give them credit for that. But it's just the systems is where it's lacking, and that's what we want, you know what I mean? That's where it's lacking, but if you're flying on Xbox, uh, it's probably uh, still uh, fine for you. Uh, it'll be that first left right there off, uh, after like, uh, what's it called, 11 o'clock, and just hold short of uh, taxiway golf on that taxiway. He thought the F4 was already out? What are you talking about? Roger, it was not a full Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Oh, the Phantom and DCS. Uh, I mean, I'm not that excited. Um, I'm all about having more diversity in my flight sims. Uh-oh, is he getting Hello, taken Mr. off the runway? Yep. Um, I'm not really sold on the F4 for DCS yet. I don't know if I'm going to buy it yet. We'll see as we get closer uh, to the release. Short behind a, uh, 70 uh, the mod that I'm using for the uh, Seasons in Microsoft Flight Sim is called Rex Accu Seasons. And uh, it changes the color of the trees depending on what time of year you open up the Sim. Basically on your real world date and time. KLM Lufthansa Kiss. You got one. Oh, Alfman, does my uh, blue game is 15% off code work yeah, in the UK? I believe it does. But if you don't mind, if you could test that for me. I have not tried that. Um, just go to the site, just throw something in your cart, anything. Put my code in on the Thrustmaster site in the UK and see if it works or let me know. If it doesn't, I need to know so I can tell you. But it should work. It should work. And Lufthansa 44, I'm sorry. The list would not show your thing. So, did, can you can you make the left onto the hotel? Oh man, this guy. Roger, left uh, hotel. Uh, He's working hard. Yeah, He's working yeah, hard. Yeah, it sounds like the, the controllers are trying their best to get pilots out. Left, 
uh, they get pods out on time and they're having to do some math, it sounds like, which is challenging to them. You see that a Lufthansa A340 off the left on goal on Taxiway Golf? Yep, got it. Uh, you can follow, Josh Dewan, I am using uh, Fly-By-Wire's FSLTL um, for model matching. It's the same uh, software, same models I use for my AI traffic. No, thank you. It's awesome. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow uh, this morning here, really awesome. All right, KLM's on the way out here to Amsterdam. Clear for takeoff. Yeah, the guy in Atlanta did have a nice ATC voice. That's true. A good radio voice. Oh, these guys are lined up. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, ever since Fly By Wire came, up, came out with their model matching software, it has been a game changer. Um, I mean, it's really evolved that sim. Because all the 3D models and liveries are already included. Like, it's all in the installer. So, and it was the same installer you use for the Fly By Wire A320, which is all free. Ah, uh, the code didn't work? That sucks. I'm about to hit Thrustmaster up and see what's up with that. I'm about to ask him and be like, hey, why does my code not work in the UK? I thought it did. Uh, make sure it's not like a, uh, it only works for civil aviation stuff, like the, um, you know, Boeing throttles and, and yokes, the Airbus stuff, the pedals. Uh, if you try to get like, um, I think like the Warthog, I don't know if it'll work for the Warthog. All right, loot down to A350. The Atlanta control is a real controller? Really? Didn't know that. Ooh, almost a tail strike, but he got up clean. He got her up clean. Look at that high AOA takeoff there. Positive rate. Gear is should be coming up here. There it is. Ah, code to work for. Okay, I'm. I'm uh, thank you for letting me know. I'm gonna have to hit up uh, Thrustmaster and see if I can get that fixed or changed. Frontier flight 1238 are now to J Wolf runway 35 left. Clear for takeoff. Armor to Jagger. Frontier. Frontier 1238. Where's he headed to? And just to confirm, it's J Wolf that you're on out to. Frontier head to Boston. I confirm. One of a few local domestic flights heading out of Orlando today. After it, like the animal. Okay. Sorry, did I say Orlando? This flight's headed to Boston. Oh, on ketchup camera. There he goes. Oh, whoa. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Watch out. Oh, no. He's off the runway. He's in the grass. <laughs> he disconnected. <laughs> oh, the embarrassment. Oh, my God. That's number three today. Number three. Wow, that sucks, man. Oh, he was he was only going to Boston. <laughs> Frontier flight 1238 on your way to J Wolf. You can contact Orlando departure. Have a good flight. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's got J Wolf at the moment. And uh, you 
on the departure. Have a great yeah, that day. was a guy earlier who had one engine on, so he might have forgot to turn the engine Thanks for coming on. in. I'd just like to make sure, because some people like to go to J. Ross on accident. I want to, like, key up the mic and say, yeah, he's gone. Uh, Enjoy. We lost radar contact with Frontier Flight. All aboard! Ah, should have flew Jet Blue, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Matt, for the subscription. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Good to see you. Next up, JetBlue flights. JetBlue flight 784 headed to JFK and piloted by Linus from Frankfurt. Uh, when is the Aer Lingus A330 scheduled to depart? I don't know. I don't. I don't have departure times on my. Actually, no. I do. Let me see. I'm not sure if I can see that. Let me see if I can find him on the map. I know he's like way in the back of the line. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Uh, he's headed to London. I don't have a departure time for him, though. No. All right, Jeff, who's up next? Headed to JFK. One of my personal favorite airlines. You can guess why. A320 CEO. And he's up, and he's staying up. That's a positive rate. You're up. Have a safe trip to JFK. A nice, short, probably like one, two hour flight. You're welcome, Greg. Hey, you're welcome. Enjoy your uh, flight to JFK, so contact the Orlando departure frequency. Have a good night. It's actually so cool. I just, I didn't realize this until today when doing this plane spotting stream, but like the models actually show when the pilots are when they have like the engines shut off matter of fact that guy in the in the in the back he has both engines shut off and he has one engine on so yeah if you're gonna fly today out of any of these airports for the event or for the event you definitely want to bring some extra fuel and probably taxi out with just one engine because you don't want to waste all that fuel especially on the long haul it's very fuel critical on those long hauls. All right, anybody up next? Nope, nobody on runway. Let's see what it looks like. So all, I wonder what all these guys are waiting here for. They're, like this whole line of planes is just sitting here. And I guess they're just waiting for their departure times. Like it, it looks like a ground stop, even though it isn't. So my guess is that they're waiting for their departure. Oh, is MD-11 up next? I hope so. Uh, I, I'm, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. There probably is someone flying the Aerosoft A330 who's on the testing team for that plane. That would not surprise me. Is a Mach 0.71 too slow for an A330 at 36,000 feet? I think I should be all right. Sassy, you should sim. Go out there and fly, man. Go out there and fly. Like I said, I was going to uh, join the event myself. Um, I, I, the, the problem is I, I found out about the booking too late. No, I didn't know you had to like stay up all night to get a slot <laughs> and so I looked yesterday after my live stream and all the spots were taken there's like a thousand something slots for departures out of various airports to go across the pond and um, sadly um, none of the interesting ones for me were available all, all the ones leaving North America were booked um, the only thing that was left was flights out of Bogota 
over in South America. Uh, headed to, I think, like Cape Town and stuff like that, which, you know, that's a pretty, it's an okay flight, I guess. It's all water, just like all these flights. But, um, the issue with me was, like, there was no, um, there were no real-world, like, flights going from those destinations. When I do flights, I like to kind of do flights that have, that are real-world flights. It's like, hey, you know, Emirates does this flight for real, which I don't know that they do this flight, but you get what I'm saying. And so, didn't have anything that I wanted to fly. So, like, you know what? I'll just do a plane spotting stream. And honestly, I'm glad that I did this because doing a uh, the long haul is definitely a huge commitment. Uh, I think it is something you should try, you should do at some point, and I still want to do it at some point. But uh, it's a huge commitment. Um, it'd be like an eight hour flight, and for me to live stream that with all this traffic as well, it would probably take me about 10 hours real time to do. Yeah, that's not just a 10 hour like sim time. That's 10 hours of my actual life. <laughs> Uh, that's 10 hour live stream and that's a lot of energy man that's a lot of energy so someday we'll, we'll participate but uh, today was not the day today was not the day it's getting quiet in Orlando I think it's time for us to move on to our next stop a lot of people are just here just waiting for their departure slots so let me go look at the map here and see what we got going on and where we could go to next uh, we've already gone to Atlanta Atlanta was pretty chaotic. Um, I heard that Montreal has some stuff going on. I'm a little concerned about... What, was it Montreal or Toronto? No, Montreal is not... I don't think Montreal is part of the event. Halifax is part of the event. Um, Halifax is not that busy, though. There's only a few departures heading out. I think Toronto might be a better option. Yeah, we'll do Toronto. We'll head to Toronto. I think I have scenery there. The only thing I'm concerned about is I think last time I was in Toronto, the scenery that I have for that airport is pretty uh, not great on FPS. But that was on my old machine. I got a 4090 now. So I think it's still going to be bad because I think that scenery is just really badly optimized. All right, we're going to head out. So let's go to Toronto. C-Y-Y-Z. That was fun, though. That was cool. That was pretty cool. I think so far, still, um, Atlanta was my favorite spot we've been to so far. The most action, the most traffic, the most drama. We got three-hour delays coming out of Atlanta. That's crazy. Uh, I still feel bad, man, that that one guy who landed in Atlanta, I'm not sure if he's still here, but uh, he came in chat was like, hey, man, I'm landing in Atlanta in 10 minutes, and I didn't see the message until after I left. So hopefully nobody's landing in Orlando, because we're gone. <laughs> we gone. We out of here. Uh... All right, let's go back to world map and out to Toronto, which is over here. Any helipads we can spawn on? Not really. Uh, we'll just spawn over here out of the way. And actually, this is a cargo ramp. We should be okay, right? What is this? This is cargo as well. We'll spawn here. This looks like... I, I bet no one's going to spawn in this spot. Right? No one. Alright, fly. JFK is packed. We could stop. JF, I don't think JFK is a part of the event, but JFK is just JFK, man. Like... Yeah, like I think if you're if you're someone who's free today on on like right now and wants to do, go do some flying on Microsoft Flight Sim or whatever flight sim you're in on that sim, JFK is definitely going to be a good option because for one, it's not a part of the event, but you're still going to see a lot of event traffic because the major a lot of the planes that are departing out of you know Orlando, Atlanta, wherever are flying through New York Center, so. New York Center and everything below is online for that reason. Oh my god, JFK is freaking packed. Okay, yeah. JFK is going to be our next stop after Toronto. It's not a part of the event, but it's crazy busy. And I think it's going to make for some really good plane spotting. Um, it might be busier than Toronto, to be honest. From the way, the way it looks on the map right now, it might be busier than Toronto. JFK is in the event. Okay, I'm not sure. I don't have the schedule. 
Um, I just knew that I couldn't get any spots. <laughs> so, all right. This is the H160 by High Performance Group. I love this jet or helicopter. We're just going to get it fired up really quickly. And, and just for the sake of time, I am just going to do ready for takeoff. I just need the radios on so we can start hearing everything. All right, let's go ahead and connect to VATSIM again. Again, uh, if you want to do this kind of thing, you want to make sure you connect to VATSIM as an observer so that they can't see you, but you can see them and you can hear them. Oh, yeah, it's a little busy. It's a little busy out here. Yeah, uh, I, I, I feel you, Sassy. Man, when... um. When when Microsoft Flight Sim crashes and has like low performance and things like that, it definitely takes all the fun out of it. So you definitely want to make sure you, for one, have a machine that can handle your flight simulator. Um, and then two, you want to make sure you have your settings dialed in. Because if it's not smooth, it's not going to be enjoyable. All right, it's going to be 118.7 here. So uh, is it going to start? I hit the button. Let's do it myself. All right, uh, battery, battery, gin. Jin, we'll put it on external power. And we should be able to get it working just on external power without turning the helicopter on, hopefully. Yeah, it should work like that. Cover your ears. Right, what did I say? 1, 1, 8.7. Taz system test okay. Jesus Christ. Every time it gives me 18.35. That's the other one. It's quiet on this one. Let's try 35. At least so far. Now I don't think the engine needs to be running for this to work. So I'll get a few seconds. Let's see if we hear anything. Let's, uh, let's test it out with the Aegis actually. Um, YYZ8 is 120825. Toronto International yep, it works. Information. They're just not talking. Weather at 1300 Zulu. Wind 320 at 14. Visibility 15. Few clouds at 3800. Temperature 11. Dew point 6. Altimeter 3008. IFR approach ILS. All right. All right, what room are they using for departure? It looks like I probably should just listen to the ATIS to find out, shouldn't I? Then runway 06 left. Voice advisory. Goose and small bird activity in the Toronto International Area. Inform ATC that you have information. Quebec. What's up, Zai Kylo? Toronto Welcome to the stream, man. International eh? Information Quebec weather at 1300 Zulu. Wind 320 at 14. Visibility 15. Few clouds at 3800. Temperature 11. Dew point 6. Altimeter 3008. IFR approach ILS runway 05 and ILS runway 06 right. Simultaneous parallel approach is in effect. Where are they going? Departures runway 05 and runway 06 left. Voice advisory. Goose and small bird activity in the Toronto International Area. Inform ATC that you have information. Quebec. So the parts is a six right and six left. Toronto International Information Quebec weather. Yeah, one eight, I'm not sure which one they're talking on though. One eight three five and one eight seven. Because it's pretty quiet on both. I think ground is where it's at right now. Let's hit ground up. And we'll get an idea where everybody's taxing to. Uh, we'll try 12165. Okay, yeah, that's six left. Alpha I think I just took off. Alpha, Alpha, uh, short, Alpha, kilo, contact one, one, two, one, four, six, five. That's a long taxi. This is going to be tricky because they're using two different runways that are very far away from each other. There's a United 777 rolling off now.
So we're going to have to pick a runway and commit to it. And hope we get some good stuff. <laughs> There's two departures headed to six left. And unlike Orlando here in Toronto, the majority of traffic that's here are all at the gate. All aboard! As you can see there. Thank you so much, Ron, for the sub. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's get us find us a good spot here. I would like a, ni a nice view of the ramp because there's a lot of interesting traffic out there at, at the ramp. Air Canada 787s, Lufthansa, another Air Canada pushing back, Scandinavian, American, KLM, of course, and United as well. And we got this Austrian taxiing out. All right, let's head this way. There's two aircraft points of this runway. Wait, where is he going? The, uh, is that Tui? Oh, is that Sunwing? We're just going to do like a tower view, man. Where's the tower? Here's the tower. We're going to do a tower view here. Because there's just so much going on. There's just, there's too many different ways to look. <laughs> we're going to have to do it from the tower view. Uh, we're going to head to Kennedy next, Ron. I'm going to head to Kennedy next. KLM 401, heavy turn off. Ground, good morning. Taxi Bravo 1. Runway 3 for your right. Sierra Echo Golf Hotel Cross 1 5 right. If it gets real slow here in uh, in Toronto, we'll uh, we'll head to Kennedy next. It's definitely That's busy there. KLM 175 Heavy Monitor Tower, 118.7, have a good day. Another MD-11 down here, another Lufthansa. Well, monitor Tower, 118.7, thanks so much for the ATT, thanks for hosting the event. Have a great morning, KLM 175. Heavy. It's a pleasure, thanks for uh, flying out. We got Alnipon Cargo, or no, that's Cargo L Logic. KLM 401 Heavy, runway 05, can you taxi Bravo 1, runway 33 right, Sierra, Echo, Golf, Hotel, Cross one five right. British Airways over there. Okay, we got at uh taxi bomb one one way three three Sierra Echo Golf Hotel Cross one way one five right. Gonna four to one. Selling six four contact ground one two one double nine. Have a good day. Alright, anything happening on this side? Yeah, he about to take off. Uh CSX fan currently climbing out. Where are you climbing out of, man? What airport did you depart from? Ground at the 1315, short Alpha Juliet. Let me get the, uh, let me find out where these guys are going. The 1315, short ground, good morning, runway 06 left, I'll come to 3008, taxi Bravo, hold short Bravo 3. Taxi 06 left, Bravo, hold short Bravo 3. Oh, it looks like there's a, wow, there's a lot of departures who left Toronto earlier. If you look at the map. Yeah, so this Austrian flight is headed to Vienna. Vienna, Austria. And that KLM flight on the other side of the airport is headed to uh, or Amsterdam. I love like the, the light fog we got going on here. The haze, the morning haze. Yes, we are, uh, oh, tail strike. Big tail strike. Ouch. Uh, yes, we are real world time, real world, real world weather right now. Globe Trekkers, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Welcome aboard. All right, that KLM might be just about ready to go. Or did he leave already? I think he left already. Yeah, I think he's gone. At next Air Canada, I think it'll be our next departure. 
he is headed to Amsterdam as well. A uh, Vancouver native in the 7A7900. I appreciate that globe trekkers. I thank you, man. Thank you so much. I was hoping you guys would enjoy this stream. Oh, Luthans is pushing back. To be honest, I can't believe it's already been two hours we've been live. Doesn't even feel like it. It does not feel like it. Time flies when you're having fun. So that MD-11 is uh, headed to Frankfurt. And then the uh, this other 747 next to him, who's also pushing back, is headed to, it looks like Vienna. Yep, Vienna. Yeah, right? It's been two hours. Can you believe that? I got up early this morning. Air Canada 707 Heavy, a monitor tower, 118.17. Have a good day. Monitor tower, 118.17. Air Canada 707. Thank you, Tommy. Delta 1315, contact ground at 1 to 1. Have a good day. Oh! Delta 1315. It's kind of annoying as a plane spotter to have two different <laughs> tower frequencies. I can't listen to both of them. Thank you so much for that sub. Welcome aboard, my friend. Thanks. Thank you for joining the blue team. You're amazing. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. All right. On your screen now, we have Lufthansa in a seven. Sorry, an A three forty. Yeah, that model is incorrect. That's actually an A three forty. That's supposed to be an A three forty over here, and the strength was an A three fifty. I'm gonna spot this side for a while. Got a crosswind as well. And behind him is Sunwing headed to JFK, I think you guys said. And actually, no, it shows he's going to Orlando. Man, I wish I had a model for a 340. I'm surprised they don't. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Have I heard any news on Microsoft Flight Sim 2024? No, I have not. It's uh, we're all stuck in the same. No new, no, no new information. <laughs> Zero. Nothing since Flight Sim Expo. He's up. And that's gear up, headed to Frankfurt. That's actually in the A340. That pilot is from Frankfurt as, as well. So we got a Luthansa, a Luthansa 747 coming up, taxiing to the runway. Let's uh, see if we can get that frequency on our radio here. Stand by. I think it was, uh, was it 18.7? We'll try that. And if it's not that, I think it's, uh, He says some are flying MS uh, Aerosoft A330. That's probably because they're testers, okay, um, well, secret Toronto testers. Tower, departure frequency 128 decimal eight behind that 737. Line up runway 06 left. Departure frequency 128 eight behind the 737. Line up runway 06 left. Okay, Sunwing headed to Orlando. It looks just like the TUI fly in uh, Europe. Exactly like it. Uh, but there's also people flying the uh, the new Latin VFR A330. So I think it's gonna be a lot of people using that. Ooh, hella tail strike right there. But this will be a perfect time to test. Perfect time to test a new aircraft 
and its systems in a big heavy a big event like this so um i will be upset if the team that's behind the aerosoft 8330 was not testing the 330 at this event making sure the performance is okay handles a long haul okay and handles the traffic Next up, we got Air Canada 172 headed to Vienna. So I think we got here just in time, man. It was a little slow when we first arrived. But now, look at that. Look at the queue lining up right there on our screen. We got a bunch of departures heading out, various types of aircraft. It's always nice, always nice. Air Canada 172, departure with it. Oh, departure, see ya, Air Canada 172. Contact departure. This Contact 471, Toronto Tower, hello, departure frequency 128, fly runway heading, the wind 3 Welcome to, to, welcome to Microsoft Flight <laughs> They're basically plane spotting from the top of a de-icing truck. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, lock our view down here on the tripod. There we go. Be a bit more stable. Behind the distance uh, traffic on uh, Delta. Okay, 876 Toronto Tower. Hello, departure frequency 128 decimal Behind that with Tonza, line up runway 06 left. We'll line up and wait. Uh, behind oh no, the what's traffic. going on? I thought that 767 was about to get yeeted. Delta 1315 Toronto Tower. Hello, departure frequency 128 decimal I'll call you back. One, two, eight, one, eight, out of Next up, we have the Queen, the Legend, seven forty-seven. Headed to, I think, Vienna. No, Frankfurt. Sorry, head to Frankfurt. And stand by, guys. I have a phone call. He's going slow, ain't he? This comes a 471 heavy, I'm sorry, I'm out of boarding the takeoff. This comes a 471 heavy, that's not a problem, uh, left to enable. Left to enable, 471. And, uh, when able, say the reason? 471, yeah, I'm sorry, I was so nervous I forgot to deploy the flaps. That's <laughs> not a problem. Bro, pressure got to him. So nervous he forgot to deploy flaps. So 747 just missed his takeoff. He's rejecting. He's gonna have to exit the runway and try it again. CSX fan, you got a big delay you gotta make up. Well, I'm glad you got out of Atlanta. See ya. Glad you got out. Alright guys, I got a phone call. So I'm gonna be on mute for a bit, but enjoy the ATC and departures. Fly runway heading, the wind 32014, clear takeoff 06 left. Fly runway heading, clear for takeoff 06 left, 36. Delta 1315, behind that 787, line up runway 06 left. Behind the 787, we'll line up and wait, runway 06 left, we'll wait, we'll wave on weight restrictions, Delta 1315. Roger.
Okay, an 876 contact, departure will be it. I think departure, you uh, good job, there's an 876. See ya. All right, I'm back. Sorry. Apparently, I got butt dialed. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Ooh, eight three two one Neo up next. That is Delta thirteen fifteen going to Vienna and an eight three twenty one Neo. Cool. Yeah, that 747 earlier had to reject the takeoff. He did not land. He actually was supposed to take off, and uh, he had an issue. He forgot to to fully configure the aircraft for takeoff. He didn't deploy his flaps, so um, he decided to reject, which was a smart thing to do. And he's going to come back around and try it again. Thankfully, here in uh, Toronto, and the same, well, mainly Toronto, Atlanta, uh, Orlando was pretty busy, but Toronto was busy, but it's flowing really nicely, so I feel like it'd be pretty easy, easy to, get a, uh, to get a departure slot out of here right now. Heavy A321, just barely getting off the air. You guys know the performance on the 321 is not that great. Probably better with the Neo engine, though. 1315, contact departure. Oh, departure, that's a 1315. <laughs> Firebird 442, fly runway heading, wind 320, 14, you're clear for takeoff, runway 06 left. Runway heading and clear for takeoff, 06 left, 442. So, chat, anybody in chat uh, flying in the event uh, anytime today? And if you're not flying, uh, are you planning to do any flying at all on multiplayer or on the network? Look at all this traffic, American 767. Air Canada, A330, 787, and 747, all in one shot. That's why I like events like these. So much going on. Oh, here we go. Almost missed this guy. I was looking forward to this one. Cargo Logic Air. So, oh, he's heavy. He's heavy. Fully loaded. 747. Caution. Wake turbulence. That's going to be crazy. Mark is be doing Miami to Las Vegas later. Sweet. Oh, hello. Hello there, MD-11. Look at you just showing off. I know... I know, I know, chat. This is this is just my this is my personal favorite plane. I gotta get a nice close-up on it. Good morning, Walker thirteen twenty six information, Quebec six three zero three. I'm ready to make that reposition runway zero six left. Whatever steps for you. Walker thirteen twenty six Toronto Tower. Uh, hello. Yep, now it works. Reposition your discretion. Advise ready. All right. So you were asking what is cross the pond? Well, I think it's better if I just show you. Look at your screen. This is the VATSIM ATC multiplayer world map on Volanta. And as you can see, there are hundreds of planes departing North America. Uh, if I zoom out, you'll see that they're also departing South America. Yeah. And so this is the event. The event is you basically get full coverage. Air traffic control, multiplayer, crazy busy multiplayer. You have to book a slot and you fly across the Atlantic Ocean over to Europe. And you're gonna get ATC controllers on the left side here that are gonna help you get out. And you also get the uh, um, North Atlantic crossing or whatever. You get um, controllers out here as well. And then you also get controllers on landing. So, so far we've seen a lot of people flying to Frankfurt uh, London Heathrow, Casablanca, uh, Amsterdam, uh, where else? A lot of places. So, all these, if you click on one of these, let's see, let's click on this person. 747 flying from Atlanta to DTTA. If I click on that person, you see his flight track. 
So he took off out of Atlanta. Uh, he has five hours to go. That's real time. Five hours to go. And he's one of the guys in front. And departing out of Toronto. Currently we're in Toronto. And you see people heading up over Canada, over Quebec. So this is the event, man. And oh, as time goes by, we're going to see long streaks of planes just covering the Atlantic Ocean. It's going to be amazing. And then down here, coming out of South America, there are some flights, I think, leaving, uh, um, not Puerto Rico, I don't think. Yeah, I think they are leaving Puerto Rico, actually. Um, then also we got some coming, leaving out of, um, Colombia. A lot leaving out of the capital of Brazil, which is Brazilia. Most of those flights are heading down to South Africa and, uh, in Central, uh, Western Africa, but as you can see, full coverage ATC, it's going to be crazy busy, crazy busy. Let's look at one of these guys who just departed and see how much farther they have to go. Like, this guy just left Atlanta in a A340 going to Vienna, and he has 8 hours and 12 minutes to go, starting now. So, that's crossed the pond. That's the best way I can explain it, is just to show you just a mass amount of traffic going on, and, uh, Everybody has a flight going to somewhere, and uh, there are limited slots as well. So you can't just jump in, uh, like right now, without a slot and think, "Oh, I'm gonna fly to London." Like they're not gonna, they're not gonna give you clearance. All right, let's clear this out. Back to planes, buddy. What's up, Sanders from Norway? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. All right, we missed. I, th I think we just missed the Lufthansa 747. Uh, clear takeoff, Jurassic Flats, runway heading uh, 2259 heading. Oh, DW Spotter, that sucks, man. Oh, yeah, it's getting busy in Toronto now. All right, American 767. Headed to Frankfurt. I got one lining up, I'll get you out after him. No worries, take your time, walk to the scene 26. This flight is piloted by Captain Dan from St. Louis. Uh, have I ever been across the pond myself? I have not, but I want to. Take uh, Delta 6, and I'll give you a call when you're ready. Someday, someday. Delta 6, let's have the 2005 Heavy. Uh, what filter do I have? Because I can't see you on the Valanta map. You're flying south of Iceland. I have my filter uh, turned on to only see VATSIM traffic. So if you're not on VATSIM, I won't see you. Next up, Lufthansa Cargo 457. Or sorry, is it 471? Headed to Frankfurt. Wow, you've been subscribed since 2018. Well, thank you, man, for your continued support, bro. I really appreciate that. Yeah, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Departure time is 1410, so you'll have to hold there until then. 1410, And Walker 1326, Toronto, altimeter 3008, free position 06 left to your discretion. Luca DeFreeze, welcome to the stream, my friend. We'll let you know we're ready to go in 28 for departure, Walker 1326. Gotcha. Oh, I love. We gotta fly the MD11 again, guys. We gotta fly the MD11 again. German cargo eight four five seven departure. We'll see it. Departure. Have a good day. You listen up to cargo eight four five seven. Sorry, I keep getting text messages this morning. Uh, Tower, apologies. Wow, Eric, you've been, been here since the infinite flight, flight days. Well, thank you, man. Those are good times, bro. Oh! Good times. Right, thank you. Uh, thank you as well. Uh, who's a God skill, I think, for the sub. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Hope you're doing well. All right, next up, we got Walker Air, triple seven. Lufthansa 74, Air Canada, I can't see, I think it's a A330, and another Lufthansa 74. Lufthansa is definitely a good way to go, man. Oh, 
Also, there are a lot of streamers on YouTube and on Twitch who are streaming this event, streaming this entire flight. So definitely show those guys some love. Um, streaming a long haul is not easy, um, especially if you actually stick around for the whole thing. So definitely show those guys some love in their chats. Keep them entertained because it's a long flight. <laughs> it's tired. I don't think my map is updated. There we go. Now it's updated. All right. Next up, we have Walker Air One Three Two Six. And he is headed to Vienna, Austria. It's on the two thousand five Delta Six behind that triple seven line up runway zero six left. DFW Spotter, where are you trying to fly out of today? Alright, we're gonna have to pick a cutoff time. We gotta jump to JFK before it slows down at some point. So, is are there any particular departures you want to see out of Toronto, guys, before we leave? Oh. Mad lag. Where did he go? <laughs> is he gone? Oh that! Oh, I hope he didn't. I hope he didn't crash. I hope his sim didn't crash. Cause that was—he's been sitting there for a while. You see, I do want to see these seven fours take off. I, I got to see what I wanted to see, which was the MD eleven. Uh, other than that, there's nothing else I want to see behind them. I think there are departures happening on the other side, but I like this side. Oh, is he really getting de-iced? It's not that cold. Not today. Uh, what's up, Caesar? Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, from Tijuana. Oh, what's up, man? You're flying Orlando to DTTA, Iberia 245. Uh, did you depart already, or are you still waiting to leave? Because we were just there. We were just spotting in Orlando um, about a half hour ago. But, bro, good to see you, man. It was also great to meet you at Flight Sim Expo as well. Your first flight was at 5.45. You stayed in, at the gate until 7. Jesus. Then you took off, but it went offline, so you had to restart. Ah. Up and Willie. Line up away, 06 left. Lufthansa 470 heavy. Yeah, that's frustrating, man. Hopefully, you can get your sim working. And he's off. I would guess he's going to Frankfurt. Ooh, tail strike. You gotta be careful, man. These planes are heavy for these long hauls. Heavy, heavy. Yep, he is going to Frankfurt. I can confirm that. Next flight is Air Canada headed to Vienna, Austria. You departed two hours ago. Yeah. Oh, sweet. So I just missed you then. Yeah, hopefully you enjoy the helicopters. Helicopters can be really uh, satisfying if you if you get the hang of it. Thank you, Mick Fred, for the sub. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Welcome aboard. I love that Toronto City skyline in the background. Isn't that isn't that sweet? I hope we get. You know what? I'm a little worried about performance in JFK. Now that I think about it, last time we went to JFK, we had horrible performance. Um, talk about FPS stuttering and stuff like that. So, hopefully it works out. So we're going to wait for these last few departures that are departing on the, on this runway here. And then uh, we'll jump over to JFK. We'll probably stay there until we're done. Uh, assuming that we don't have any performance problems. What's crazy is even on a 4090, you still have to turn your settings down over that place. Look at that beautiful United 777. Air Canada 926 Toronto Tower. Hello, Delta 6. Uh, line up runway 06 left departure 128 decimal 8. Part of me is like, like, this is how I, this is how I feel about this. 
Uh, as we are, if, if this guy is leaving now, he'll be our last one. Um, you know how sometimes it's fun to hang out with like people's kids. Okay, that didn't come out right. Sometimes it's fun to like babysit. <laughs> and the best part about it is that you get to send them back home to their parents. You, you know, you can give them cookies and food and get them all hyped up and send them back to their parents. And they don't stay with you. They're no longer your responsibility. Um, versus if you are a parent and you have to deal with that 24 7. That's kind of how I feel. That's a weird comparison. It's how I feel right now about watching all these long haul departures. It's like, it's really cool to watch these guys depart and do the little taxi thing, but the best part is that I don't have to do the rest of the eight hour flight. Does <laughs> that make sense? So it was like, I get to enjoy the view of the departure, but I don't have to worry about the commitment of the next eight hour flight that they have to deal with and all the ATC that, that comes with. So I'm, part of me is jealous that I didn't get to participate in flying in this event, but there's another part of me, which is the majority right now, that's uh, thankful that I didn't get a slot and that I, I can literally just log off whenever I want to. <laughs> I, I can leave right now and then go do something completely different for the rest of my Saturday. So is this guy going to depart or what? We're waiting for one more departure out of uh, Toronto. I thought it was going to be this guy, but he might be waiting. McFreddy, what's up, McWork the Stream Man? Got a question for you. Can you use a Thrustmaster Boeing yoke for flying GA planes? Yes, you can. You can use a you can use the Boeing yoke for flying anything. You could fly a helicopter with it. Wouldn't be easy, but you could. Anything that has flight control inputs, you can use that yoke for. Same thing with the joysticks. You do not it's not limited to only flying Boeing or airliners. Yes, all the fun, none of the consequences. And I think this guy's going to skip in line. So he will be our final departure out of Toronto. And then we're going to jump over to JFK and see how things are going over there. I like this spot, though. This is actually a pretty good spot. You got the, the city in the background. It's far enough you get kind of that you get that hazy look. All the uh, look at that windsock as well. A bit of a choppy crosswind. Pretty windy out here. Yes, Brian, we're headed to JFK next. You're very welcome, McFreddy. Very welcome. Uh oh, is his nose wheel steering working? Because <laughs> that's happened to me before in the seven eight seven. He's struggling. Wow, yet another Luthanza okay, 747. I'll get you out now behind that departing company. Line up runway 06 left departure is 128 decimal 8. I have an idea. I have an idea. Hold on. For our last departure, let's change it up. Toronto Tower, good day, United 99. What's oh, the British Airways coming to? Holding sure behind two Air Canada, so it's 6 left. United 997, Toronto Tower, hello, departure frequency 128, I'll call you back. Alright, let's do that. 28.8 for 997, we'll call. We can use this concept 480, Toronto Tower, hello, departure frequency 128, I'll call you back. You know, I don't know, I think there's something wrong with the 3D models. That a lot of the front landing gear are, like, messed up. So, I don't really know. I noticed it a while back, I just ignored it. All right, he is rolling. I like this view, actually. You can actually see the, the slopes in the runway. It's gonna be hard to keep up with when he passes me here. He's using all the runway. Ooh, is he gonna make it over the fence? Barely. Air Canada 928, departure, we'll see ya. 928, departure, we'll see ya. 
Captain Edward. Looks like visibility is actually getting better. Captain Edward Pilot, welcome to the stream, man. You're going to Hollywood North Perry Airport Wayman Aviation Academy. To the Captain Pilot Shop. Sweet, man. Enjoy. Did I know that today they're using a 777 for United Airlines flight instead of the 7879? That's a long 777 behind him right there. See that? All right. The 777, United, is the last flight today. <laughs> I know I said the other guy, but this will be our last flight. There we go. See, that looked like a way better. Oh, look at that. You can still see the other departure in the distance. Okay, 87 departure. We'll see it. Look at that crosswind. Yep. United nine nine seven fly runway heading the wind three two zero fourteen clear. We can do that. We'll do that for the final one. We'll go to the very center of the runway at the very end, where the triple seven when he takes off here. Line up runway zero six left. We'll do single line threshold cam. Departure frequency one two eight decimal eight. Those on the four eight zero. Speedbird eighteen forty four Toronto Tower. Departure frequency one two eight decimal eight. Line up or I'll call you back. <laughs> I'll call you back. Never from uh, 1844. Walker 3423, Toronto Tower, departure frequency 128 decimal 8. I'll call you back. 122, 128.8, Walker 3423. All right, there we go. All right, I lied. Oh, my God. I want to leave after this guy, but there's a British Airways coming as well that I want to catch. Oh. 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 Toronto Tower, American 1738, good morning, Alice, 6 right. American 1738, Toronto Tower, hello, there's going to be two departures on the parallel, the wind is... That was, whoever suggested that shot, right. that's a W for you, man, oh, I like that. Right. All right, we're going to stick around for British. United British United Airways United is our last one, I promise, and then we're going to JFK. Down to 480, fly runway heading, and wind 34016, clear takeoff, 06 right, traffic is 4 for the parallel. Uh, the for you to verify six left. Traffic six coming right. in for parallel. Oh, yeah, cleared for takeoff six right. Traffic's four out for the parallel. Four miles out. Oh, we got an arrival. Die. We're Runway supposed to leave. You're saying six right. And they're reeling right, yeah, me in. Clear for takeoff zero six left. Clear for takeoff zero six left. The Thunder four eight zero. Copy the traffic. Yep, there is traffic landing. American Airlines coming from JFK. He's on four mile final into zero six right. So we might actually see him before we go. Uh, and then uh, we have to cut it off after that and go to JFK. We, we got to end it at some point. <laughs> it's just too much. It's getting too good in Toronto now. Mr. Hitman, walked to the stream, man. Is Boston pretty bad too right now? All right, next up we have uh, Luthanza, 480, headed to Frankfurt. After that, we have British Airways, uh, also headed to Frankfurt. And I'm going to take a look at Boston here. Boston is always pretty crazy. Oh yeah, that crosswind is getting everybody. Lufthansa 480, contact departure, we'll see it. Over to departure, have a good day. Lufthansa 480. See ya. And we have a landing over there. Line up runway 0 to left, traffic short final for the parallel. Uh, line up is left and uh, we have the traffic, uh, 844. There's just so much traffic everywhere right now that <laughs> it's gonna be hard to catch at all. I heard just, oh my god, he's coming down fast. Yeah, it's a pretty tricky landing in Toronto today. Pretty gusty. Oh, is that what happened? The Boston scenery updated? For a flight beam? I have that scenery. American 1738, welcome to Toronto. Left one able, hold short, zero 06 left. Alright, this is it, I promise. Left one able, hold short, zero 06 left. American After this, we're going to JFK. Yeah, I don't know that my Boston scenery has been updated. I know that I ha I'm, it's usually a manual process that I know that I have not done. Is he going to cross the runway before this guy leaves? Speedbird 1844, fly runway heading to win 320, or sorry, 340, 16, clear takeoff, 06 left. No, nope, he's going to have to hold. 
Flag runway heading, clear for takeoff, 6 left, uh, speed for 1844. Walker 34, 23, uh, behind that speedbird lineup, runway 06 left, departure 128 decimal 8. Lineup 06 left, Walker 34. Oh my god, JFK is swarming. Yeah, we're going there next. Next up is British Airways flying to Frankfurt. Behind him is Walker Airlines, Walker Transport, virtual airline. Got it. one crazy crosswind here in Toronto right now. Oh, this will be a bad place to be if he overruns. Using all of the runway. Oh, baby. Speed ready, team 44, contact departure. We'll see it. All right. Well, Departure's Toronto, it was fun. American 1738 on Delta 3, cross 06 left. Contact ground 121.9. Toronto definitely put on a Delta show for us. But it's time we move on to JFK. Let's do it, guys. And see. Cause we got some action waiting for us there as well. That was cool, man. Good suggestion. Whoever that was that suggested to go to Toronto. At first, I was a little worried. I was like, man, it's kind of dead here. Ain't nothing going on. But then it picked up pretty soon. There's a lot of planes waiting to push back when we got here. And now they're all leaving. But this was fun, man. I like doing these streams when it's busy like this. You get the ATC chatter. You get, you know, again, none of these pilots are professionals. Or most of them are not professional. Some of them are actually real world pilots. But um, so mistakes happen. We had a few runoffs. I think we're at number three now right i think we're at count three for runoffs and incidents we finally caught our first actual landing so hopefully we can catch some landings in jfk because it's kind of been long enough now that people have been departing it's, it's later in the morning now it's still pretty early it's 9 a.m my time 8 a.m sorry it'd be 10 a.m um new york time i'm also hearing that boston is pretty crazy as well so we'll hop over here um, so we can find somewhere to park. I'm, I am definitely concerned that um, I do have the INI builds JFK. I think it's still installed. Um, and last time I tried to go to this place, um, it was horrible on my FPS. So we gonna see. They call me Mr. J. What's up, man? Welcome back, man. Yeah, long time no see, man. How you been, bro? I hope you're doing well, man. Happy, happy Saturday to you. The best place to spot in JFK is over the water between 3-1 left and 4 left. You can see the departures off both runways and arrivals on 4 right. Really? Man, thank you for telling us that. Let's see. Between 3-1 left and 4 left. Let me find out where that is. 3-1 left and 4 left. Well, where the heck is that? <laughs> the radar is lighting up with traffic, though. Let's see. 3-1 left and 4 left. Let's see. All right. That's 4 left. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they're using uh, four left right now for departure. Um, not a whole lot of arrivals yet. But yeah, four left for departure. I don't see much happening on three one, but we'll still st we'll, we'll still be over the water. We'll, uh, we'll get us a boat or something. Thanks to our air aircraft's already started. That's going to save us some time. Yep, good luck. Thank you, Mr. Hitman. Aviation Media, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well, man. Uh, you're doing good. You graduated in May. Well, congrats, bro. Huge congrats to you. All right, let's get our radio set up so we can hear ATC. Oh, what was that noise? All right, got our maps. So we're currently over by 1-3 right. Taz, system test okay. All right, let's get back on VATSIM here. Well, can I, again, I say this every time. If you want to do this kind of thing, uh, during any VATSIM event, make sure you connect as an observer. Um, and basically what that means is that you can see traffic, you can hear traffic, but they cannot see you. You don't want to, you know, get in the way of anything, especially in a, a busy, busy event like this. Um, it, the controllers are already un under enough stress. They don't need trolls um, wandering around the airport. All right, beautiful. There's only one tower frequency so far. 1191. Transfer. Right, let's keep a look at a lot of boys. Beta two seven Charlie heavy. All right, let's get to it. 
I want to miss anything. Get my drone out. Alright, so far... Yeah, it's smooth. That's what matters. Oh, we got somebody taking off right here. That Copa? Yep, Copa Airlines, 737. Yep, Jesse. Had to bring the H160 out for the plane spot. Nice, nice. It is a very nice day in JFK. Fairly clear. Uh, is this? Yep, this is definitely I and I build. Let's get an aerial shot on our way to the runway. So I and I builds JFK. I will warn you guys if you consider getting this scenery for yourselves, it is very frame heavy. So most people honestly won't be able to run this scenery smoothly. So it doesn't look all that busy around the gates, but I think there should. Yep, there it is. There it is. There's the traffic. Wow. What a mess. What a mess. All right, so this right here is. This is a uh, three one, I think. Delta five, uh, Christian, uh, Lufthansa 534, just continue taxi, and uh, I'll call you when you're number one. Honestly, I kind of like this spot right here uh, from the terminal. Uh, we'll see. Let's let's go uh, out to uh, the spot you recommended. We'll try that first by the water, and uh, see what that angle looks like. <laughs> Yeah, like, here's the thing, is like, the scenery itself is already pretty frame heavy, and then you add all of these, all this traffic to the mix, like, for, like, I'm, I don't know how people do it, to be honest, because before I got this PC, I would never touch JFK, I would never touch JFK. Boeing 3 Golf Kilo, contact departure, have a wonderful flight. What a departure, 3 Golf Kilo, use, it will, uh, use, well, we'll see. <laughs> Take care. Virgin 220 Kennedy Tower, any four left line of wait. Line up and wait, uh, four left, uh, okay, Virgin 220, sorry. Skywalker 27, Charlie, runway 3 on left, Kilo Echo, clear for takeoff. Kilo left, Kilo Echo, clear for takeoff, Sabina 270. Really? Atlanta Center hopped offline. Skywalker, I'm sorry, Skywalker 270. Already? Skywalker 270, Charlie, runway 3 on left, Kilo Echo, clear for takeoff. Skywalker 270, Charlie, runway 3 on left, Kilo Echo, clear for takeoff. Skywalker 270, Charlie, runway 3 on left, Kilo Echo, clear for takeoff. Skywalker 270, Charlie, runway 3 on left, Kilo Echo, clear for takeoff. Skywalker 270, Charlie, runway 3 on left, Kilo Echo, clear for takeoff. Skywalker 270, Charlie, runway 3 on left, Kilo Echo, clear for takeoff. Skywalker 270, Charlie, runway 3 on left, Kilo Echo, clear for takeoff. Skywalker 270, Charlie, runway 3 on left, Kilo Echo, clear for takeoff. Skywalker 270, Charlie, runway 3 on left, Kilo Echo, clear for takeoff. Skywalker 270, Charlie, runway 3 on left, Kilo Echo, clear for takeoff. Skywalker yeah, we're, 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 we're going to do this first. We might switch it up later. We'll start here. We'll start here. Let's get our our um, get our get rig set up. Uh, Walker 1748, uh, we'd like to waive our uh, wake terminal separation. We are vigil with the traffic ahead, and it's a good day outside. So we'd like to All right, waive next that. up, Virgin Atlantic. Okay. Headed to Frankfurt. Virgin 220, runway 4 left, clear for takeoff. This is going to be so cool. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, there's a few different sceneries that I avoid, or I used to avoid. Uh-oh, we lost one. Um, that's JFK, London Heathrow. There's a subway in the background. There's a freaking subway. Driving in the background. You see that? Um, what's the other airport? LA. I avoided LA. But, yeah. Wow, look at all of that traffic. Skywalker 27 Charlie, contact the Porsche 135.9 and take care. Hey, Park. Yeah, it's going to be just two steps, Charlie, heavy. Yeah, that's the cool thing as well about VATSIM is that, you know, a lot of times the people who control these airports are local to the area, so they will have local accents. It's not required. You could actually control anywhere you want in the world. Oh, Rock and his wings. Thanks for saying bye. Um, but a lot of times, you know, people, people want to control their local airport because they're familiar with the area. 
and so you tend to get local right, accents. 47 from a three one left kilo echo, clear for takeoff. Oh yeah, that's New York. That's a New York accent right there. Spelling or correction, long ship five Juliet Mike Kennedy Tower. Good morning, runway four left, clear for takeoff. It's so thick. Uh, clear for takeoff four all right. Uh, um, sorry, four left, long ship five Juliet Mike. Good morning. All right, next up we got right turn, please. Right turn heading one zero zero. Ooh, Stockholm. Contact departure one three five point nine nine. Next flight to Stockholm. One zero zero version two two zero. Walker 1748, caution wake time from the departing 787, runway 3 on left, line up for the wake. 3 on left, line up for the wake. 3 on left, line up for the wake. Walker 1748. Skin Navy 903, Kennedy Tower, continue all the way down to the end of the runway. And uh, hold short on runway uh, 4 left. Skin Navy 903, Kennedy Tower. Skin Navy 903, uh, all the way down to keep it 1 and uh, hold short, full left. Thank you. Yeah, great spot. Great spot. Line up and wait. Pull up. Can't even manage American seventeen nineteen. Turn right here at Kilo Echo. Hold short and wait through and left at Kilo Echo. Right, Kilo Echo. Hold short. Yeah, I'm surprised just how smooth my FPS is running right now. I'm not getting sixty. That's for sure. But it's still smooth, and that's what matters. Okay, you can have a oven on. Anybody in chat go out and do real life plane spotting? Oof, almost a tail strike. A little, little unstable in that takeoff, but hey, he's good. Head to, uh, what did I say he was going? S uh, Stockholm? Oh, he disappeared. Oh, there he is. Jesus. Um, I don't personally do any, um, well, American 47, contact departure, 135.9. When I was working at the airport, um, it was convenient for me to go to the airport to plane spot. I don't live, like, conveniently close to the airport anymore. Um, when I was working at the airport, I would, um, before my shift and sometimes after my shift and sometimes during my break, I would go up to the top of the uh, employee parking lot garage here in Houston. And it's a pretty good um, plane spotting location up there. I just wish I had a better camera at the time. Forty eighty Ti rumored to be dropping very soon. Wow. So here's my question: Is where does that land? You know, versus the other competition. Like, is that better than a forty eighty? Is that better than a forty ninety? Is that you know better? Like, how, where does that Kennedy fall? Tower, I'm really sorry about that. Were we over to departure? Virgin two two zero. Virgin two twenty affirmative one three five point nine. Next up, Lufthansa going to Frankfurt. Look at that uh, ATR in the background taking off. A very unstable takeoff, but he's, he's getting out. Oh my God! What is this, Flappy Bird? Is he stalling? Walker seventeen forty eight passing nine hundred climbing two thousand. Uh oh. Focus 1748, Roger. Yeah, he should be in the left turn. He is not Take gaining altitude. And contact the departure 135.9. In the left turn now, then 1359. Have a good day. Thanks for the trip. He might be okay. He might be okay. It's raining in Dallas today? Yeah. We got hit with that rain last, right, uh, one the night zero before zero, last. Contact departure one three five point nine. Right one zero zero one three five. <laughs> He's five flying nine. with a keyboard and mouse. He might be honestly. That's about what it looks like. That's about what it looks like. All right, his next unmarked seven thirty seven is going to Vienna, most likely in the BBJ variant, private jet variant. Boeing two three four Charlie Lima runway four left clear for takeoff. Well, let's get take off going two three four Charlie man. Delta sixty three Kennedy Tower. Good morning, runway four left, line up and wait. 
Four left, line of four, Delta 6 Tree Heavy. American 1719, 31 left, Kilo Echo, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 1719 Heavy. JetBlue 2786, Kennedy Tower, 31 left, Kilo Echo, line up and wait. 31 left, Kilo Echo, line up and wait, JetBlue 2786. It snowed in Wyoming? Really? Is it snowing already? Is that the time of year? Uh, so the VRAM increases from 16 gigabytes to 20 gigabytes. The 4090 has 24. Okay, so it's still short of the, of the, uh, still short of the 4090. But yeah, man, I, I used to, ooh, an A380. Um, I used to, uh, have a 1080 Ti, and that lasted me a long time. I don't know what they do with the TI versions of these, uh, graphics cards, but it was very dependable for me for a long time. <laughs> Your son has to swim to school, that's funny. It's priced at the 4080. Wait, priced at what the 4080 release was, and 48 drops $200. I'm hoping, man. I'm hoping that the prices of graphics cards continue to drop so more people can get access to them. The more people who can get access to better hardware, the more, like, the games we play can actually push. Uh, is that? American 1719, contact departure. That American is departure. taxied right into that United tail. <laughs> 0234, Charlie Lima, contact departure. Yeah, the better the, gra the hardware gets, the better the graphics we can get in the games. Because right now, a lot of the games are limiting themselves uh, to, you know, trying to be compatible with older hardware. Uh, do you need a specific scenery for CYYZ? Uh, I don't remember what scenery I have, but there are, I think there's multiple Toronto sceneries for um, out there, so you can pick up any of them. You don't have to have it, but it does make it, make it better. Speedbird 9172, Kennedy Tower. Good morning, runway 31 left. Uh, Christian, 4 left, line up and wait. Good morning, sir. 4 left, line up and wait. Speedbird 9172. Where'd that KLM come from? Way out there. You know, I wish um, you could create, like, preset airport cameras. So I could have, like, one camera here. And then hit a button and have a camera at the other side of the runway to catch the the, the uh, rotate a bit closer. You know that is a good question, actually. Oh, nice climb out. Very nice. Check that out. What is this person flying? Because there is not really an A380 in any of our sims. Could this be someone on the fly-by-wire team testing the A380? Jeff with 2786, connect the pod. Have a great day. That's what my thought would be. Because the only A380s that do exist in flight sim are pretty low quality. Bro, this dude is in his. <laughs> Look at him. He's in it. Yeah, he's in his APU. That's too. That's, that's personal space, man. Oh, and the A380 is going to go right through him. Not paying attention. You know he's not paying attention. Delta 142, Kennedy Tower, good morning. I'm sorry I didn't understand your rebound, but 31 left, Kilo Echo, line up and wait cautiously. All right, so that A380 is going to Frankfurt. Um, let's see if it has any information when I click on him. No, I don't have any information on that, on that flight. Nice, right, Speedbird 9172 is headed to London Heathrow. That is piloted by Andreas from Montreal. Sorry, Speedbird 14 Juliet Hotel, Kennedy Tower. Good morning, runway 4 left, line up and wait. Yeah, it's got to be somebody testing it. It's got to be. Ooh, A320 landing full right shortly. Thank you, Mark. 
Uh, I'm gonna try to. Where's four right at? That's way out there. We'll see if we can see him. Forty-three fifty-seven. When they four right, clear to land. There'll be a departure off the parallel prior to your arrival. Yeah, I guarantee you, if the A380 was released already, we would see so many A380s from Lufthansa taking off and Emirates. There'd be a lot of them. It says somebody coming on four right. Where is four right? We're on four. Le oh, four right to the right of us. We're at four left right now. Okay, that would be over there. Royal American uh, Air Force One, it's still uh, Kennedy Tower. Just try 135.9, please. My apologies, 135.9, Royal American Air Force One. Bro, what is up with this tail sniffing? Right heading 100, contact departure 135.9. Like dogs out here right sniffing each other's butt. Speed rate 9172. The boogie down Bronx. <laughs> Oh, I see American now. I see him. All right, let's see if we can catch him. We've seen a lot of 787s today. Where is this guy? American 4357, turn left on Foxtrot. Hold short. Four left oh, no. Foxtrot. We missed it. Delta 142, runway 4. Oh, we just missed it. Echo, clear to take off. Dang it. Yeah, the, my yeah, internet, the uh, like website is behind, left, so he was not as far out as I thought. Yeah, Mark, if you see another one, let me know. I'll try to catch yeah, it this time. Alright, right, once again, this uh, British Airways 787 is headed to London Heathrow. There's a cat at my door. <laughs> and my ring just picked it up. I'm literally watching live a cat at my door. <laughs> uh. Mike, the guy doing the Flyboar A380 textures, has his own development studio, More Right Rudder, and just released a really nice cockpit texture for the 7478. Really? Where can I find that? I want to check that out. I want to check that out. I am not letting him in. If I let him in, he'll never leave. I don't have any cats or cat food. Three one four Juliet Hotel. Contact the Bosch one three five point nine. One three five point nine. Three one four Juliet Hotel. Take care. Delta one forty two. The Bosch is one three five point nine. Next up, we got United. One forty two. Contact the Eight eight five. Eight eight five. From way four left. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Yeah. Eight eight five. Four left. Headed to Vienna. American 1123, Kennedy Tower. Good morning, runway 4 left, line up and wait. And in just two more departures, we have a rare A380 departing. And it's a mystery. We're all wondering, is that the fly-by-wire A380? Good morning, runway 3 left, Kilo Echo, line up and wait. Good morning, lining up and wait, runway 3, 1 left, Delta 21. The sounds on the 3D models are actually not too bad. It's just we're too far to really hear them. All right, anybody arriving in the JFK anytime soon? Looks like we have no. All aboard! We have a uh, Air France. American 4357, cross only four left at Foxtrot, turn right on Bravo, ground point nine, or have a great day. Wait, is that a Concorde? C, yeah, C O N C. There's a freaking Concorde coming in. I'm not sure how many minutes he is out, but it's a Concorde, Air France 225, in route from London to JFK. What? I don't know if I have that 3D model. I hope I do. That'll be so satisfying if I get to see a Concorde on the stream. Alright, got American. Line up and wait. 
headed to London Heathrow as well. And after him, we have a A380 headed to Frankfurt. <laughs> Anyone brave enough to do this on a common crew? I know. Well, they're doing the opposite, though. Like, I don't know if they're actually a part of Cross the Pond because they're flying the opposite direction. But I guess there's nothing that says you can't fly the opposite, like westbound, right? We'll see if they allow them up to land. Clear for takeoff runway 31 left, Delta 21. KLM 64 Charlie Kennedy Tower. Good morning. Runway through the left Kilo Echo. Collide. Right. Air American. I think Good that's morning. an A330. Three uh, three yeah, A330. Lots more traffic still heading to the runway now. You know, also. Um, on the, the topic of the A380, don't forget, Fly-by-Wire is not the only team working on an A380. INI Builds has also said they're working on an A380. So I don't know how far in development they are, but there could be a possibility that there could be other developers uh, who are working on and testing their A380 at First this event. Turn right, heading 100, contact departure, please. 135 Look at it. 100, contact departure, mark 1123. Like, if I was in line, I'd be like, who the heck? <laughs> Let's see, who is this guy? Anybody recognize the guy's name? Oh, wow. Doesn't even have a name. This flight is so secretive that Vatsim does not show this person's real name. It's just a number. Going over to 35 9, thanks for the ATC, Delta 21. So definitely, but we know for a fact that's a tester flying incognito. All right, here we go. Frankfurt A380 headed to Frankfurt. Uh, Lufthansa A380 headed to Frankfurt. Yeah, let's see this climb out. Nice. Now he's just showing off. Look at that thing, it's massive, man. Look at those wings. When it turns, like, jeez. Super is the call sign. Anybody recognize, anybody recognize that voice? Because <laughs> we don't know his name. A380 super. Mad. Yes, Kevin. Freaking mad. I'm just like, my jaw is just dropped, bro. I can't stop looking at it. Delta 1508 Kennedy Tower. Hello, good morning. What and runway a beast. Let's see if we get an eye on this Concorde coming in. Runway 4 left, line up and wait. Delta 1508, good morning. Where'd he go? Delta 5 going to squeeze two departures. Fight your arrival, runway 4 right, little in. Yeah, he sounded right, pretty right, foreign, that's for sure. Delta 1508, be ready for an immediate takeoff, please. All right. I'm ready for immediate Man. takeoff, 1508. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I've, I've been vocal about not being a fan of A380s, but when you see them, you have to respect them. Like, I feel like a celebrity just walked into the airport, right? It's exactly right. It feels like we're watching a celebrity in real life. Wow. 
Wow, wow. Even in the sim, it's it's still jaw dropping. Fifteen zero eight without delay, runway four left, clear for takeoff. Flight runway heading until advised. Clear for takeoff and the runway heading to the fifteen zero eight. And we have a couple arrivals. We have a uh, Austrian Airlines flight that just came in from Vienna. A330, runway 4 right. And an Air France 225 Concorde, possibly, coming in to JFK, runway 1 4 right. 0 4 right. Uh, Austrians on final now. So we got to take our eyes and look to the uh, behind us here in a second after this departure. Kennedy Tower, how do you hear me? No, I and I did confirm working on A380. From I don't remember where, but I did somewhere. It was confirmed that I and I built is working on the A380. Good morning, Delta 55, Kennedy Tower. How do you hear me? For Microsoft Flight Sim. And you never know, there might be one for X Plane too. An aircraft go like through three airplanes. You seen that on your screen as well? Uh, who is that? Delta 755 calling? I didn't, I, oh, Delta 121, I don't see that, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm looking for the arrival now. Uh, we might have to move the cameras a little bit to, uh... Or we yeah, might not have to. Oh, crap, we just uh, missed it. Ride, Again! Alright, well, we'll keep, I'm gonna keep an eye out for, um... A Concord now, of something. I, I really Delta doubt... Heavy turn right heading one zero zero contact the departure one three five. I really doubt it's going to show up as a Concorde. Right heading one zero zero and one three five. It's my nine uh, uh, on. five zero one heavy continue on Foxtrot. Hold short. Four left on Foxtrot. Take Just keep your eye, your ears open for Air France two two five on the radio. Uh, he should be clear to land already. Air France two twenty five heavy Kennedy Tower right four right clear to land. Oh, they denied it as of last week. Twenty five. Korean okay. 927 will be another 30 seconds in delay. No worries, Korean 927. Virgin 3835 heavy contact departure 135.9. Bro, if, thank you, three, if this aircraft actually shows up as a Concorde, I'm gonna freak five, zero, one, heavy, out. There it is. Shot, and it is not a Concorde, it's an A320. <laughs> terminal, terminal <laughs> With no gear. Uh, yes, please, terminal 4. Austrian 501 heavy cross at Foxtrot. And then make a left turn on oh taxiway Bravo kind of and contact that? ground one two one point nine. Crossing for left on the Fox dot left on Bravo and I know heartbroken. Hearts around the world are all broken. Delta fifty five, just to verify you cannot hear me, correct? Oh, uh, what a disappointment! I don't know. get out of here, Air France. Let's look at some Korean. I'm so disappointed in that. Oh man, ah. Uh. Bummer. Hey, I guess we got an A380. We're getting spoiled. <laughs> we got an A380 takeoff. And we thought we were going to get a Concorde in the same stream. We were we were incorrect. Kennedy Tower, and the name in 9020, just for your information. That person is actually flying a Concorde, though. So on his screen, he is a Concorde, just not on ours. Alright, we have another arrival coming in from Amsterdam. JetBlue 2289. Uh, A321 Neo. On final. Which best can even you tell that airplane go in front of us as well? Abram, I saw him uh, go through uh, like three things or something. Okay, yeah, so did I. It's like Delta 7. Look at that. Miles. Look at that jet blue livery. That's cool. Probably. I love that 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 blue one. There's a really cool um, j uh, Puerto Rican jet blue livery that was sent to me on Instagram. And I'm really hoping somebody can make it because I want to fly it in an upcoming stream. Like a special Puerto Rican jet blue livery. Air France 225 this <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the jet blue line. livery looks exactly like my shower Korea, curtains. Four, You're not left, wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, Alright, uh, Korean uh, Air taking uh, off, headed to Stockholm. 
And uh, this is uh, piloted by Daniel from Sydney, Australia. So this person is up late or a very late night flight. Most likely an overnight flight. He's probably going to sleep. Alright, let's just push you out and, and uh, run like four left, line up and wait, close, wait, seven, seven. Uh, double sense, nice. Kennedy Tower, triple 2289, ILS, four right. Triple 2289, Kennedy Tower, nine four right, clear to land. Four right, clear to land, triple 2289. Alright, Jet Blue is on the way in, we'll see if we can catch his landing. Left, line up and wait, kilo left. Um, next we have a Delta Morning, 320 uh, Neo. A couple of 320s coming up. Airframe 7 Mike Zulu, what intersection did you need? Uh, will there ever be a Pacific crossed upon? Uh, there might be, I don't know. Anybody in chat know if there's a, a crossed upon Pacific version? Um, I would think there would be. That will be quite a long flight. All right, we have a JetBlue in in route. There he is. I love this man. Being able to plane spot like this is so cool. heading one zero zero. Contact departure one three five point nine. Take care. Delta departure one three five point zero. Crane out seven fifty. Delta seven fifty five. Fly heading one zero zero. Runway four left. Clear for takeoff. Okay, for takeoff, sorry, left, uh, second in one. Yeah, friend 7 Mike Zulu, yeah. heavy, or correction, there, friend 7 Mike Zulu, runway 3 on left, that kilo delta, clear for takeoff. 3 on left, clear for takeoff. Ozzy, Ozzy, oi, oi, yes, sir. All right, Jet Blue coming in from, uh, actually, I actually already forgot. <laughs> 321 Neo. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. 34 Tango Lima, Kennedy Tower, good morning, turn right here at Kilo Echo, hold short, runway 3 on left, at Kilo Echo. Uh, Brian Aviation said you have a surprise for me. Keep my eye out, keep my eye out in JFK. All right, we'll be here for a little bit longer. Very nice. Oh, look at that beautiful landing. Great job. Welcome to JFK. Exit left when able. Contact ground point niner. Bro, fly by wire. Like, you guys are amazing. I'm just gonna say that. Thank you for all the mod. Like, I have been complaining for years about model matching and flight sim, and this is just so enjoyable. Thank you, Virgin Four Tango Lima, runway three on left, Kilo Echo, line up and wait. Right two on left, Virgin Four Tango Lima. Delta seven fifty five, turn right, heading one zero zero, contact New York departure one three five point nine. Oh, an AN-225, that would actually be, that would actually be pretty dope. That would be pretty dope. Delta 755, third call, how do you hear me, please? All right, Scandinavian 920, runway four left, clear for takeoff. Scandinavian two, uh, Scandinavian two. Correction, runway zero, four left, clear for takeoff, Scandinavian nine up to zero, thank you. Delta 755, how do you hear me? Somebody's not responding. Alright, Scandinavian headed to Stockholm, ESSA. It is relaxing. Delta Alpha would be great. That's so true. <laughs> yeah, if you don't have model matching, you just have a bunch of yellow and white A330s taken off, which would be very immersion breaking. I agree with that. I agree. Oh my god, that's funny. Salem 566, Romeo, uh, Kennedy Tower, excuse me, good morning, Romeo, through and left. Uh, apparently, the Pacific crossed the pond happened in 2014, yeah, but went uh, down in flames due to some controllers yeah, not knowing procedures three, uh, Chris, and lack of communications pass, and advertising. Wow. Bravo. I think, I mean, I feel like they could probably try it again today. I mean, there's, there's much better knowledge today, much better technology. Thank you. Take care now. 
Scanning uh, be 920, right turn heading 100. The link you sent is a Puerto Rican livery, but they only have it for the 320NX. That's fine. Where'd you send it to? Discord? Send it to me on Discord, because uh, YouTube won't let you post a link. Actually, I think you did. Did you? Yeah, drop it on Discord. Bro, um, if you have that livery, I will fly it this next week coming up. Oh, speaking of Discord, new previews of the triple seven from Fly Factor. On my Discord, posted by Walking Fruit. I hope we're close, man. I really hope we're close. Wait, what? It releases Friday? Oh no, oh, no, that can't be right. Can somebody in chat look up uh, news on the Flight Factor 777? Uh, some new previews have been released, and somebody said a release date in my chat, but I don't think it's real. So I want to get conf confirmation of that. Hey, right, 737 taking off, Delta. I'm using the fly by wire FSTL TL L T T L model matching. That one. Yeah, it's a very long flight going to Pacific route. So it'll be tough. Maybe if they did like one to Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii is not big enough to handle that much traffic either, though. Delta 141, turn right, heading 100, contact departure. One zero zero departure. Great day. Have a great day. Uh, Anybody so landing one, now? Let's see. We got any landings? Fly heading one zero zero. Runway four left. Clear for takeoff. Fly one zero zero. Anchor for takeoff zero four left. Jet blue nine six five. Thanks. Air Captain one twenty four heavy Kennedy Tower. Good morning. Runway four left. Line up and wait. Four left position. Hold air Captain one twenty four heavy. Eastern thirty nineteen. Runway three one left. Kilo Echo. Clear for takeoff. No, I don't see any nearby. Left, left, nearby. Arrivals. Okay, 566 heavy contact departure, have a great day. Copy that, contacting the U departure, okay, down 566. You just got new pictures of the flight factor yeah, EFB? Good morning, I know that um, there's the been uh, some content creators been Good posting morning, videos uh, and live streams of the new PMDG EFB um, today, starting today, which makes me believe we'll get it sometime next week. Oh, there it is, Sergeant Rodriguez. Let's see what you what you sent me. Oh, was that it? Is that the Puerto Rican jet blue livery? I can barely see it. I think it is. Oh, it is. Oh, I well, guess I gotta fly that next week. <laughs> Jeff, nineteen seventy-five, heading one zero zero, kind of departure. Have a great day. All right, unmarked seven forty-seven. Where are you going? Eastern thirty nineteen, heavy contact departure one three five point nine. Delta 111, Kennedy Tower, are you up? Go ahead, Delta 111. Alright, it's supposed Delta to be Kilo uh, Echo Victor 124. I don't know if that's a real call sign. Because <laughs> the guy's name is Kevin. Thank you. Hold and his call sign is moment. Kev 124. Yeah, that's amazing. So I don't know if that's a real call sign or not. Either way, he's going to uh, Stockholm. Delta 141, runway 31 left to Kilo Echo, clear for takeoff. Roger, clear take off runway 31 left, Delta 141 heavy. Uh, who's that that says they're next for departure? I am so multitasking right now. Delta 383, Kennedy Tower, hello, runway 31 left, Kilo Echo, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 31 left at Kilo Echo, Jet 283. Delta 111, Clutch Wake Travels from the departing 747, only 4 left, line up and wait. Look at that, Ita, Ita, I can never pronounce it. Ita, Ida Airways, or Ita, uh, whatever. Look at that Italian blue plane in the background. <laughs> I can never say the word. Nice, DFW, you're up next for departure. Hopefully you get out. Okay, you're still in Atlanta, right? So I think it's like your third attempt. Air Canada, or sorry, Air Kevin, 124 Heavy, heading 100, connect the park. Have a great day. Wait, is that, is Kevin the Twitch guy? That's a... 
Is he streaming on Twitch? What's his Twitch name? Mr. J, sir, currently sitting in Atlanta, preparing your flight to Seoul, Korea. Wow. Haven't been on Vats in a while since I heard about Across the Pond. Well, enjoy, man. Yeah, once that trip ever comes out, everybody's going to be flying it, that's for sure. Air Kevin, okay, cool. Oh, wow, your seventh attempt, and you're in Montreal. Wow. Well, hopefully this will be your last attempt. Hopefully you'll make it. Delta 460 Kennedy Tower. Hello, good morning. We're only three one left. Kilo Echo, line up and wait. Fine, I'm waiting on the three one left. Delta 460. Lufthansa 8161 Kennedy Tower. Good morning. We're only four left. Line up and wait. Four left. Line up and wait. Lufthansa 8161. Are there any channels that streams the real life JFK um, plane spotting? So I haven't seen any myself. Yeah, when an A380 comes out, we're gonna see a ton of A380s in the skies. Same thing for the triple sevens. turn right, heading one zero zero. Hey, is this actually an A three fifty? So sounds eighty one sixty one, four left lift takeoff. Nope, this is an A three forty, so I don't have a model for A three forty, so it replaces it with A three fifty. Wow, he talks fast. But this pilot is from Philadelphia. His name is Jack. Number four left, left and wait. Number right, fifteen twenty. Delta one eleven, connect departure with thirty five point nine. Thirty five nine departure with one eleven. Jetpool three eighty three departure one three five point nine. Three five nine or Jetpool three eighty three. I didn't know Nick. Uh, I didn't know Nick streamed plane spotting at JFK. That's cool. Yeah, man. Don't give up, man. Don't give up. Give it one more try. Delta four sixty, runway three one left, Kilo Echo, clear for take. Yeah, you're actually you're right. Airline videos was in JFK not long ago. He doesn't go there all the time. But he did visit. Heavy, heading one zero zero, connect departure. All right, we're gonna watch this guy. November like one five two zero, fly heading one zero zero, runway four left, clear for takeoff. Uh, he sent me a link about JFK. Okay. Virgin one zero, Quebec Kennedy Tower. Good morning, runway four left. Oh wow, LA flights has been there too. Nice, thank you, Data. I, have, I don't think I've watched plane spotting at JFK. I've watched the LA, I've watched Phoenix, I've watched Memphis. There's a ton of channels popping up now uh, for plane spotting, which is pretty cool because I like watching them while I work and stuff. Uh, there's another really good one in uh, Brisbane, Australia that I watch. Uh, there's one in Birmingham, UK that I watch for plane spotting. It's a really good one. Obviously, there's Big Jet TV, Airlines Live. Uh, what other plane spotting channels do I watch on YouTube? Uh, there's one for Miami. I don't really watch that one too much. He's still getting started. Uh, Obviously, there's a few channels for London. Dreadful death. When is Simbit coming? I know you've been waiting, man. I know. I've just been busy, bro. I've just been busy. When I get done with the F1 tour, I'll have more time to to, um, to put towards that series, and that's probably when I'll do it. November 4, 6 here, Kennedy Tavard. 7, 6 here? I'm sorry, 7, 6 here. My apologies. Good morning. Go ahead. How you doing? Good morning. Let's look forward. Uh, towards, uh, right down bridge. That's yeah. That's how you say the, that's the call sign, but I don't know how to say the actual name of the airline. Sorry, where did you say you wanted to go? From November right, I'm betting he's going to London. Yep, he's going to London. London, Stockholm, and Frankfurt. The next three aircraft. Uh, that last, that air is that Air Canada? That's not right. 
I have an Air Canada. I don't think that's the right Where call sign. Quebec, when we pull left, clear for takeoff. I think I'll fall off. Fishing on this back. If someone's going to, uh, it's like Manchester. Uh, still don't see any arrivals yet. E T A is that how you say it? E T A Airways. Did I say it right? Never, or uh, seven six here and what your type uh, helicopter? Helicopter. Ooh, cool. I wonder if I can request to just hover <laughs> with ATZ. If they'll let me just hover over the terminal. Scan Navy 92, Juliet, Heavy, Kennedy, Tower, good morning, runway 4 left, line of the lake. Line from wave 4 left, Scan Navy 92, Juliet, Heavy. I'm trying to think what other view we could do, but I just, it's going to be hard to beat this view that we got right now. We can see both runways. We can flip around and see the arrival runway as well really easily. Okay, he's live right now. All right, Dave, cool. Well, I'm not going to go click on it right now, but okay, good to know. Six, uh, Sierra, departure be at your own risk. Clear into probably a safe maintain, or sorry, squawk zero. My corrections, 1611. Westbound departure proves that your discretion maintain VFI to below 1,000 feet. Back up, uh, westbound, 1,000 1, feet. Can I just verify one six one one for the Next squad, up, please. Scandinavian Airlines headed yeah. to yep. Stockholm. Virgin one zero Quebec turn right heading one zero zero contact departure one three five point nine. And yeah, that's a good looking livery right there. One zero zero one three five point nine. Yeah, Virgin one zero Quebec. Helicopter seven six here. The uh, Kennedy altimeter is three zero zero three. <laughs> Next live stream crossing the Atlantic Ocean in the Airbus H one sixty. That sounds like more of a video to me. Bro, how long would that take? Oh my god, how long would that take? I just lost sound. Okay, we're good. I'm trying to think this. The H-160 cruises around 125 knots. Anybody want to do the math on that? That's a 135.9 for Virgin 10 Quebec. Geo is in the house. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream, bro. Hope you're doing well. And congrats on the new job, man. Nice. Yeah, I'll probably be on DCS in a little bit. When things quiet down here in JFK, we'll hop back on DCS. Uh, but okay, that will not be live. <laughs> People, that will not be live. We'll be on Discord. We have been live for, and it doesn't even feel like it. It's been three and a half hours of crossed upon departures nonstop. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, I hope he didn't crash. Okay, he's good. He's good. Oh, that would have that sucked. Have a great day. One zero zero departure one three five point nine or Scandinavian nine and two Juliet two. Oh Taking man, I feel for you guys. You come out here, you wait in line, and if your sim crashes, that would just suck. Canada seventy three Canadian tail. Good morning, runway four left, line up and wait. Runway four left, line up and wait. Air Canada eight hundred. Helicopter 76 here. Were you looking for hire or uh, what, you're leaving the bar? Oh, did you want to come back into the bar? Speak but higher, of the or devil. Or stay below th a thousand feet. Oh, oh no. A bit, no. Come on back, area. buddy. Come on back, uh, buddy. I don't even hire. Just, just, thousand feet is good. Come on back, buddy. Oh, yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm fine right now. But Helicopter 760 here, Roger. Leave Bravo airspace and uh, I'll just give you traffic advisories over to the V. F's in the chat. Yeah, okay, thanks, F's Heavy in the chat. Oh, oh heartbreak <laughs> hotel. <laughs> or Luthanza. Thank you so much, Gio. For your continued support, bro. As always. 20 months. Wow. Luthanza 403, fly heading 100, runway 4 left, clear for takeoff. Bro, dude's gone. He's gone. <laughs> you can't clear for takeoff. He's gone. Did you just say Lufthansa? 
Yeah, they disconnected, so in disregard, Air Canada, 873, runway <laughs> 4 left, clear for takeoff. Oh, sad day. Runway 4 left, clear for takeoff, Air Canada. Poor Air guy, Canada. man. Air Poor Canada, guy. Three, actually, disregard, cancel takeoff clearance, and uh, just remain in position. So the aircraft is disconnecting and reconnecting, and it's causing havoc for sequencing. Lufthansa 403 Heavy, are you back on frequency? Takeoff clearance, Lufthansa 403 Heavy, welcome back. Fly heading 100, please, and connect to departure 135. up there. That's probably uh, contrails of the traffic flying through the event. Let's show you guys the event map real quick. Goodbye, Air Canada 873. Runway 4 left, clear for takeoff and fly heading 100. Clear for takeoff on my four left. Fly right, so we're back on the Valanta map to show you guys just really quickly. Thank you, American Two Two Golf. The situation Canada. report. Uh, check morning, four left, line this point. out. Four left, wait four left. Come on. Delta one fifty Kennedy Tower. Hello. Runway check that out. This is left, what the Vatim multiplayer map looks like right now as aircraft are crossing the North Atlantic Sea here, or just the Atlantic Sea in general. One fifty Kennedy Tower. Headed morning, eastbound for left, cross upon event twenty twenty three. Delta 150, Kennedy Tower, how do you hear me? And here we're here in JFK right now. So it's, it's calming down. We got here, it was a big line around here and here. But still, there's plenty of ATC coverage to go around. If you guys are um, wanting to just fly on VATSIM, there's plenty of uh, coverage on the east coast of the U.S. as well as the uh, what was about to be the west coast of Europe and whatnot. But look at all this traffic. Do you plan on going north of the Verrazano, or are you going to stay south? I see you over Coney Island right now. Yeah, it's wow. Gonna, it's just gonna run that just amazes me, man. Southwest. That really does amaze me. And, um, yeah, These one guys one. ahead to Cape Town. Look at all the Very planes, I'll, guys. Uh, I'll try and get a handoff over to Newark here in just a uh, few minutes. Look at that. Wow. Uh, all right. Well, I'm so shout out to the VATSIM controllers, man. They are holding it down. They are doing their thing. That has got to be stressful. That is not easy. I know it's taking a lot of people to handle this event. Contact departure Air Canada 873. Goodbye. American T2 Golf Heavy, runway 4 left, clear for takeoff. Fly DFW 100. Spotter, congrats, my friend. You finally got in the air. That's great to hear, man. Welcome. So the Lufthansa disconnected. I think he probably had an internet problem. He disconnected and came right back in and ended up he was in the air. So he did he he didn't crash. He did depart. He just we didn't get to see him if he disconnected. Alright, next up American Triple Seven. Gotta find out where he's going. Go ahead again with your question. What frequency is departure? Gatwick. Headed to Gatwick. London Gatwick. One three five point nine. Thank you. You're very welcome. So so far, the highlight of our stream, in my opinion, was that A three eighty, that rare, famous A three eighty departing. Is that Italia six zero nine at Kennedy Tower? Good morning. Uh, good morning. And almost. Six zero nine. Runway four left. Line up away, please. Uh, four left. Runway Italia six zero nine. Delta one fifty Kennedy Tower. You up on, on my frequency? Next up, Itara Airways, and I think we're kind of winding down here in JFK. So we're going to be ending the stream here shortly. After just a couple more departures, thank you guys so much for coming through. Uh, if you are flying in the event, good luck, enjoy, have fun. I'll be hopping around watching you guys' live streams and checking in. Italian 609 and runway 4 left, clear for takeoff, heading 100. Uh, Speedbird 4 Tree Delta Kennedy Tower, good morning. Runway 4 left, line up and wait. Uh, runway 4 left, line up and wait. Speedbird 4 Tree Delta, good morning. Yeah, your highlight was the anticipation of the Concord. I was shocked to see a Concord flying in. I just wish that I had a, the actual model <laughs> for a Concord to see. But hey, maybe next time. I'm also surprised, another highlight was that we came to JFK and I'm not getting horrible frames out here. So I'm pretty happy about that. But yeah, for those who were asking earlier um, how we got this set up, so again, VATSIM is having a major 
event called Across the Pond Eastbound. Thousands of virtual pilots are participating and flying across the Atlantic Ocean over to Europe and Africa. And uh, basically all I did was I spawned into an aircraft and I'm using the drone camera and an Xbox controller to control the drone camera in order to give us shots like this. And we're using the uh, Fly-By-Wire FSLTL. Got version coming up. Italia 609, fly heading 100 and contact the watch at 135.9. Have a great day. Fly-By-Wire FSLTL for uh, uh, model matching for the aircraft. Again, every aircraft you see on screen today in this entire stream has been a real person. There has been no AI injected. Good morning. When we threw a left kilo echo line up and wait. Look at that arrow flop in the distance as well. Lining up on the one left, American 7152. Good morning. It would be perfect timing if somebody was landing. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> nope, nobody's landing. Actually, there is a, a Jet Blue coming in, but he's probably 10 minutes. Actually, there's two. There's a Jet Blue and American. Um, 737 landing. But clear that's, they're a ways out. Left, cleared for takeoff. They're a ways left, out. Takeoff, good. Four, three, Delta, thanks. You're welcome, Virgin 10 Kilo, Kennedy Tower. Good morning. Runway four left, line up and wait. Boston is kind of busy, morning, but away, not as busy as it was thanks. here. Delta 150, contact departure. Okay. Delta British Airways taking off A320. Runway four left here in JFK. Most likely heading to London. Uh, has Atlanta calmed down? I'll check the map here in a second and see. Um, it looks like most of the U.S. departure places have calmed down, at least on the south. Yeah, Orlando Center's not even on anymore, so they basically shut down. They're done. Uh, Atlanta is definitely calmed down. Yep, Atlanta's chilling. There's only about four or five aircraft on the ground right now in Atlanta. Next up, Virgin Atlantic. So probably our final departure out of JFK for our stream. Contact departure one three five point nine. Have a great day. Departure 135.9. Thanks. Great service. 43 Delta. Uh, Toronto is pretty busy, but I think most of the departures out of Toronto now are um, not for the event. But I think most of the event departures for Toronto have uh, have left. Um, take a look at Halifax. Ooh, Halifax is... Halifax is... I might stop by Halifax. I don't know if we're going to stick around very long. Um, before we go, we'll probably stop by Halifax just to take a look at... I think I have scenery there. I can't remember if I do or not. Um, but it's not a whole lot of departures. It's just a lot of places to gate. So we may just go to Halifax just to say hi and bye. <laughs> uh, so that British Airways is headed out to London, as well as this Virgin that's in front of us right now is headed to London Heathrow as well. And there actually is an American sitting on the cross runway, ready to depart as well somewhere. Virgin one zero kilo runway four left clear for takeoff. Ooh, oh, Heathrow. Let me see. Is anybody? Is anybody in? He I don't. Most of the departures haven't American made it. Three, yeah, nobody's landing yet. But Heathrow is always busy. <laughs> I'm checking though right now. Okay, tower. Good morning. Helicopter two and off mic is one thousand sitting for five hundred. Information victory bound for modern aviation. Right, two one Alpha Mike Kennedy Tower. Hello, Kennedy. I'll tip it to three zero zero three. I'm sorry. You said you want to go to Modern Aviation. Three zero zero three and eight for Modern Aviation for helicopter two one Alpha Mike. Number two one Alpha Mike. Roger. Proceed. Uh, actually, remain remain outside the uh, Bravo airspace. You can can you hold your position right there? Maintain at or below one thousand feet. I'll have you inbound in a second. I got a departure off the of thirty one left out of conflict. Yeah, we'd hold position here. We'll go into a left hand orbit at five hundred feet for helicopter two one Mike. Struggling a little bit to get that thing in the air. Look at him wiggling his tail at you. He's still shaking. You gotta watch these guys because sometimes you never know what could happen. He 
You said a lot of people probably already landed in Barcelona. I'll check. Um, I'll check. Let me see. Let me get my camera unlocked here. Virgin one zero kilo heavy contact departure. That's now one two eight point one two. Have a great definitely day. glad we came to JFK. Um, definitely had some good action here. Some really good action. Uh, as you can see, it's definitely calmed down, slowed down, as most of the aircraft are now airborne. So I'm going to bring you guys over back to that camera again as well to show you guys kind of that flight track. So, wow, check that out. American 7152 after departure of Austin 2000. Yeah, so I mean, I think the closest traffic to their destination. I don't even know, man. Like, they're pretty far from Cape Town. Let's see how far is this guy. How far are you from? Cape Town. Two, one Alpha Mike, cleared into Bravo Airspace. two hours. So he's two hours away from Cape Town. Uh, you kind of got to be careful in this area because some people are flying here that are not actually a part of the event. I was just out here observing because I couldn't make the event, but I just wanted to say, Tower, great job. Uh, it's guys like you that make these events. Uh, actually, this guy is pretty far Thanks, ahead. Man, appreciate it. He's only okay, an hour out from Heathrow. One yeah, there's nobody in Heathrow. It's like traffic. five people, I'm not sure which is slow. Going. You should be coming into uh, full right, but you have an A320 off your right, three o'clock, three but miles. Gatwick is more busy than that. So we'll just jump over to Halifax, and uh, and then we'll probably be done for the day. Thank you guys so much again for joining in. This has been a lot of fun. I've like time has literally flown by. Um, it's it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy just how fast the time has gone uh, just by plane spotting and watching some aircraft take off and land at an airport. Uh, I love doing this in real life as well. It's, it's so much fun. It's obviously even better in real life. You can see the real thing. You can hear the real thing. So, so cool. All right, so we're going to jump over to Halifax. Okay, Tom, I'll call it to RFK, Kilo 2. There's a decent amount of traffic departing Halifax at the moment. There's also a lot of traffic flying overhead. We might tune into like... Um, approach or something to see what that sounds like. All right, world map. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen it for Halifax. Halifax is just up here north. Uh, where's it at? Here it is. And we will spawn over here. Is that a racetrack? That's cool. All right, parking, set departure, fly. Yes, the amazing smell of jet fuel as well. You get that when you get to go planes, buddy. You can also, like, if you stand in the right spot, if you're standing, like, near, like, the actual runway, like, the if the planes are flying over you, I should say, um, you actually, especially on landing, not so much on takeoff, but mainly on landing for the heavier jets, you can actually feel the wind vortexes that come off of the aircraft. You can actually feel the wake turbulence just standing there. And you can even see it. Like, if it's dusty, um, you can actually see the wind kicking up dust around. Uh, there's a plane spotting place that I would go to in Houston where the planes almost fly directly above you. And um, I didn't even notice this until I went plane spotting that day. I was like, wow, like, I can actually feel, <laughs> like, the freaking wake turbulence. I'm just standing here. So it's really strong. I right, get this baby fired up. Uh, it might be on. It's not. Okay. So we got to get it fired up real quick. Um, just get the avionics and whatnot on so we can hear the radio and then we'll go back down here to our gtn maybe not oh still powering on gotta be patient blue gotta be patient all right well, we're waiting for that we'll go back on uh vats in again this is the h160 from high performance group love this helicopter so far i think i need to press more things yeah Oh, that's where the rotor brake is. Found it. Yeah, I hit that button on accident last time. All right, dive into our GTN 7 Fittis. All right, map. Let's see. And technically, we could have logged in. Toss. System test okay. You're loud. Uh, we could have logged in not being in observer mode because we didn't take off anyway. We were just sitting on the ground. But just in case... We'll still log in as, a, as an observer. All right, here in Halifax, we're going to want to hop on to 118.4.
118 for transfer. Three and drop kill. Approach is on 1205. Oops, switch that back. There we go. All right. Let's see how things are going here in Halifax. This is a much smaller airport than the ones we've been to before. No way. Captain Candle's flying out of Halifax? Is he doing the event or is he just flying out of Halifax just for the heck of it? We need to, uh, if he's flying out, I'll stick around to catch his departure. Is that GA traffic heading out? TBM. Nice. We get some GA traffic. I got a helicopter in JFK. A Learjet. Bro, it's going down in, in Halifax. I like what I see so far. He's flying to Vienna. Okay, so he is in the event then. Sweet. I got to find out. Uh, is he live as well? I got to find out what plane he's in. Shout out to Captain Canada. Uh, we get to see Captain Canada in person in about a week. Uh, we're doing a event called World Flight. It's going to be uh, basically another world, like a flight around the world. We'll be flying in a full scale 737 cockpit. You may have heard of it before, you may have not. We got some traffic here. We got some traffic. All right, anybody know some good plane spotting locations in Halifax? Or should we go right here? I feel like this might be a good one. Right in the, put a tripod in the trees. He's in a 789. Uh, Eric Canis. Okay, there's a lot of those. <laughs> so we'll keep an eye out for a Eric Canada 789 for Captain Canada. And we'll do that. Captain Canada, hopefully it doesn't take too long, but he'll be our final departure for this stream. We'll stick around for him. I gotta show love for my friends, for the homies, for the boys. I don't really like this spot too much. Let's see. Maybe over here, on the rooftop. Hmm, can't see. Trying to find a plane spot location. I'm not hearing anything on the radio. Not sure why. I heard something earlier. 184. Remember 272 yeah, LT Logan Airborne contact Moncton Center on 132 decimal 2. The winds are 2 Or maybe we should just do it from the actual like, terminal. 132 Yeah, let's do it from the terminal. Bye bye. Yeah, dash 8. That's cool. He has a departure time of 11.45. Is that Zulu? Because that's passed a while ago that time. Yeah, it's 15.29 right now, Zulu. Maybe you mean 11.45, uh, like, which is like 15 minutes from now. Alright, we're gonna hang out uh, over here. Air Canada 714, heavy line up and wait, runway 23. Hold on, I'm gonna find out. Let's do it right here, tower view. We'll do that. That's our spot for now. If we find another one, we'll do another one. Lock it down. Yeah, because, I mean, it's it's kind of convenient, right? The the Horizon 7A79 came out yesterday. Very smart of them to release it the day before it crossed the pond. So, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. The same thing happened uh, last year with the A340. The A340 came out right before it crossed the pond. And guess what everybody was flying across the pond? A340s. So, if you're going to drop a heavy jet, right before one of the Cross the Pond events is a very good time to drop it. Very good time. So, we'll keep an, uh, we'll keep an ear out for uh, Captain Canada. I'm not sure what his call sign is. I think he's Air Canada 613. 
and we'll stick around for his departure here in Halifax. But I'm enjoying it. I'm also enjoying plane spotting in different locations today. It's been really cool. It's been really cool. But it's definitely, you can tell, it's a bit slow around here. Not slow, but like the pace is a bit slower than what it was in JFK. But it might pick up. It looks like a lot of people are just pushing back now. So it's about to get busy. We got one, two, three, four, five, six aircraft currently in queue, not including the aircraft on the runway. Uh, it was the X-Plane A340 that, that dropped from, uh, I think it was Tolis, like a year ago, uh, right before Cross the Pond. So a lot of people were flying that back then. Thank you, Kevin. Air Canada 714 Heavy, Wind Airborne Contact, Moncton Center on 132 Decimal 2. The winds are 240 13 for takeoff. 12.2.2 Yeah, for sure. It would be nice if we had more arrivals uh, to fill in some of the departure gaps. But again, this is a big, uh, a big event, so a lot of people are, are heading out. Uh, if you want, I'm not going to do it today, but you could actually go to some of these arrival airports and watch the planes land at their final destinations as well. But uh, yeah, let let, uh, let Captain Canada know that we'll be playing spotting him for his takeoff. And uh, that I wish him luck on his long haul today. I don't hate this view. I don't hate it. That was two years ago? Wow, really? That is a beautiful lift off. Yeah, you know, to be honest, man, I am looking forward to trying the, the 7879 myself. I downloaded it last night. I haven't had a chance yet to uh, actually check it out. So um, I, I definitely want to. Let's see, let me get my radar up so I can start finding out where these people are going. So that last Air Canada flight is headed to Vienna. I think most of these Air Canada flights are going to Vienna, aren't they? Yep, they are. I think every single one of them are going to Vienna. Captain Stan, over to the stream, man. Um, this is Microsoft Flight Sim. I'm still trying to think, man. Is there a better spot we could spot from. I kind of feel like I kind of want to go back over there. This spot is not bad, but I feel like we can do better. I feel like we can do better. So I like to be able to see the terminal and stuff in the background. Like if I can't see the terminal, I might as well be literally anywhere else in the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So maybe we can go yeah, over here. Like, two seven cockpit surface departing seven eighty seven. When airborne contact, Moncton Center on one three two decimal two. The winds are two four zero thirty. Clear for takeoff. Let's stick here. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Clear for the land. Airborne contact. Moncton Center on one three three decimal two. Clear for departure for again evening two seven. All right, Scandinavian is up next, and he is headed to Stan. No, I'm um, sorry, Stockholm. Next up, we have a King Air. Sorry, the camera work. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> All right, he's up. Positive rate. 
That's a long flight. All of these are long flights. I think what makes this easier though, like if you're gonna do a long haul, uh, what makes this particular one easier is that there's just so much going on. Like you got so much traffic in front of you, behind you. You gotta pay attention to um, ATC because there's just so much traffic. And you might get told to slow down, speed up. All right, where's this little guy going? This is a, uh... wow, no, wait, wait, is this him? King Air 350, headed to Montreal. And its pilot is George from Denver. After that, we have a, uh, a BBJ, a business jet 737, headed to Brussels. We just hit four hours? Oh my god. Yeah, we did just hit four hours. It doesn't feel like it, though. It really doesn't. Well, thanks so for sticking around, for all of you who have tuned in so far. Whether you've been watching for five minutes or four hours, thank you for coming through and hanging out with us today. Just enjoying some plane spotting, man. Just doing what freaking aviation enthusiasts uh, do. <laughs> uh, the controller's been crashed. Um, I believe I'm going to jump on terminal. So if I'm going to fly present heading there now, and I'll take you up and say. Oh, wow. We'll fly present heading, and we're at 5,000. And the guy's back to work. Drama in Halifax. If you need you can maintain 5,000 in present heading, and I'll be with you shortly. Thank you. So it sounds like tower frequency, uh, his controller or his PC crashed or something. So now we're going to have a bit of a backup in traffic because the controller is AFK. But take a look at our lineup here. We've got a King Air followed by a uh, business jet variant of a 737-700. A A350. Is that an A350 or A340? A340, actually. That's actually an A340 head to Frankfurt. Uh, United 1 going to Frankfurt as well and then we have Air Canada A330 going to Stockholm Walker Air and an Embraer going to London okay <laughs> interesting uh, and then right after that we have November 130 Mike Juliet's in a Cessna C700 going to Frankfurt as well. That's going to be a pretty interesting flight. That's one thing I was thinking about. Like, man, like, you could do this in so many different types of aircraft. Thank you so much, Ingobert, for the subscription. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Good to see you. Glad to have you with us. Um, you could do these flights with so many different types of aircraft. They don't have to be 787s. You can fly a business jet. You can fly a, 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 a narrow body 737. You know what I mean? So I'm liking seeing the people who are mixing it up and flying something that's not like a typical airliner for a long haul. Plus the hop from Halifax is really not that far um, across the pond. A lot of Walker Air transport out here in this area though, I'm noticing that. He's going to Brussels. What am I using to see the departures? I'm using Vatastic. Uh, I was using SimAware before, but it took way too long to update, so I ditched that. Uh, Volanta, I'm also using Volanta, but Volanta takes a bit of time to update as well. So the, the one that kind of gives me the best updates seems to be Vatastic for me at the moment, so that's what I'm using right now. But while we wait um, for the controller to hop back on and this King Air to get cleared for takeoff, um, I still feel like I can find a better plane spotting spot than this. I'm still not satisfied with this particular spot. Let's see what, we, what else we can find. Maybe farther down the runway or closer. Or should we do... Hmm. I'm wondering if we should try what we did in, um, in Toronto. We did the end of the runway. See what that looks like. That was pretty cool. Watch from the end of the runway. 
But again, I like to see the terminal. I don't like how like fuzzy it gets towards the end. So maybe we'll save that for later. I'll find a spot. Don't you worry. I kind of I'm starting to like, kind of like the one we had as a tower view again. <laughs> But man, I'm loving the trees changing color. That's so sweet. It adds so much, you know what I mean? When you're flying out, it's like you can fly to the same airport for the 10th time, but then you do it in the fall, and it's like a whole new scene because all the trees have changed colors. Uh, that, that was Toronto. I, it was definitely Toronto that we did that. Uh, into the runway camera. Yeah, so I think the controller may be having some technical difficulties, which is causing some, some delays now. You know, I don't hate this. This is kind of similar to what we had in JFK, but I, I just like the close up. I like seeing the aircraft from up close when they pull up to the runway. So we'll, we'll go in the trees here, put us up a little tree stand. And, you know, if I don't like it, we'll move around again. <laughs> there we go. Now we got a good shot. All aboard! Thank you so much, uh, Navulu, for the subscription. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Thank you as well, Jonathan Parker, for the sub. Happy Saturday to you, and welcome to the blue team, my friend. Hope you are enjoying. Yeah, they're bringing a lot of fuels. A lot of fuel. Again, I hope they uh, didn't start both engines. Because it is busy. I believe Captain Canada is now pushing back. That's him right there in the background. And he's going to be all the way in the back of the queue. How long is this going to take? <laughs> uh, Novu, this is Microsoft Flight Sim we're in right now. But the event is for anybody. doesn't matter what sim you're on. This is already longer than most of my live streams. But I'm not complaining. I've been having fun. I am not complaining. Uh, I'm using uh, Fly by Wires FSLTL model matching for this today. What up, Tricky Trips? Came over from Captain Canada's stream. Thanks for stopping by, my friend. I know you guys are going to have a great flight over there. So, again, big shout out to Captain Canada. Participating in the Frost Upon events. I'll definitely be watching and tuning in. We have been playing Spotty now for four hours, if you just joined us. Uh, we started early this morning. We caught the sunrise. That was nice. And uh, we started off in Atlanta. Had some drama in Atlanta. Man. Oh, there we go. They switch frequencies on us? Oh, he is gone. <laughs> that King Air is smoothing, bro. Jeez. Bro, what is that, a fighter jet? What, did he get launched off the carrier? All right, we have to swap frequencies. I think they changed frequencies because tower is gone. So let me go and find out what frequency they're on so we can hear. Yeah, tower is gone. Let's go on one, two, one, one, nine or two. Alright, we should hear things now. Bro, he was zooming for real. Uh, no, Emily, we won't be stopping by ENGM today. Uh, 1,200 feet for 5,000 flying runway heading. Eastern 4. He got them GE90s. Yeah, he got the GE90s on that, on that King Air. Can you imagine? Oh my god. One three two point seven. Have a good day. 
<laughs> yeah, so Novu, that A350 is actually supposed to be an A340. But for whatever reason, um, I don't have a Vatsim model of an A340. So all of my A340s are being subbed as A350s, which I can't complain too much because at least it's not a like a you know a default Microsoft plane. But um, hopefully they'll add that in an update for FSLTO. Yeah, next cross the pond when there is when the A380 releases, it's gonna be ridiculous. Uh, the A340, uh, there's an A340 for X plane, um, by Tolis, and then I believe there is another A340 that was just released last week as freeware, um, by X Works. For X plane uh, as well. So the A340s you see people flying are mainly coming from X plane Roger, users, I believe. You, sir. Um, so we will be expecting run IL two three um, two nine or six three. Yo, if we go to London, we're probably and, uh, never gonna end this stream. <laughs> but we might. After Captain Canada takes off, we'll, we'll check in and check out London and see what's going on in London. Uh, but. Because I know last time we checked, before we came to Halifax, uh, the, the closest arrivals in London were only like hour out, I think it was. So, yeah. So we might get the beginning of the arrivals. You know, I honestly, I, I kind of want to do that anyways. <laughs> so, I know I said we were going to leave. But, dang it, man. You guys, you guys hooked me. Freaking, you guys hooked me. London is about to be wild. You're right. You are so right. I'm gonna have to give you some breakfast. I haven't even eaten this morning. I gotta take the dogs out. <laughs> but, like I gotta say, time is flying, man. It's actually almost lunchtime here. Hey, there's some kind of ground stop going on in Halifax right now. Bruce 221, Halifax Terminal, good day. Runway 23, altimeter 29 or 83. You can descend 6,000. Expect ILS runway 23 due to your transition. Expect ILS 23, one ready descending 6,000, altimeter 29 or 83. Scandinavian 27, Halifax Terminal. Go ahead. Canadian 27, you cleared left turn direct to Catlow on course. Catlow on course for Scandinavian 27. Man, I didn't think they'd be delayed this long. Forget the dogs. <laughs> They're asleep, anyways. I think. I hope so. If you don't hear barking and scratching and yelling and fighting, then there's their sleep. I have a, uh, I have two fairly young dogs. Um, you consider both of them as puppies, and they love the they love the wrestle. Tear up the house, bro. You making me hungry? You have fresh eggs? Mmm, that sounds good. Uh, you're conducting a Qatar 1976 from SBBR to to Casablanca and A351000. Nice. That sounds good. Oh, we got some movement. Right turn, heading three one five. Is that cat still three. outside the door? Let me check the doorbell. Right heading three one five. Climb. All right, tower's back on, guys. Stand by. Hold on. Seven zero three eight. Tower's back on. Three zero. Yeah, I think something happened to tower. They're back now. All right, next up in line, who's been waiting patiently? We have a. Business jet 737 700 heading to Brussels. Piloted by Mohammed, uh, but I can't tell where he's from. You know, I've always wanted to do a long haul in a uh, in the uh, BBJ version of the, of the 737. Someday, someday. All right, light them up, my friend. Light them up. 
Oh no, don't do it. He must be pushing back. He is! <laughs> oh, why does it do that? Oh, let's just do this. I'm just gonna take it out of the screen. Just gonna crop that out. <laughs> uh, what is my favorite simulator to play? Flight sim, train sim, trucking sim. Uh, I have to say flight sim, honestly. Um, I have to say flights and freaking Euro Wings is memeing me right now. Freaking trolls. Just gonna. Just gonna do this here. <laughs> oh man. I, I know exactly what happened is that he got to push that truck out and it just completely screwed up everything. There we go. Nothing's happened. That's a very, very artistic shot. Uh, Leo Smith, they're taking off in Halifax runway 23. Yep, GSX for the win. Is that what happened on XP stream? <laughs> it would happen to him. It would. He has the worst luck. All right, finally. It had like a 30 minute gap, man. You know, honestly, I would love to do in real life, real life plane spotting. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I would love to, though. I would actually like to do real life plane spotting. I know where to go, at least in my local areas. But I would have to invest in the about a couple grand in, uh, in equipment to really do it in the way that I want to do it. I already know exactly what camera. <laughs> I was talking to somebody else who is actually considering doing some plane spotting on their channel. And uh, we were actually looking into cameras. Like what camcorder, what cameras do airline lives use? Um, Big Jet TV, because they have really good quality, 4K, uh, great zoom. I was like, what camera are they using? So I looked it up, found out. I was like, hmm, I was actually cheaper than I was expecting. Um, the camera is only like $800. Obviously, there's a lot more equipment that goes along with it. You need to have internet connection on site. Um, you need to have uh, all the wiring and the microphones and things like that. Yeah, it's, it's just a Panasonic camcorder. But I thought it'd be more expensive. So it's actually very realistically doable, but I just, I don't, I don't, for me to do it, it would, yeah, I would have to go out of my way, way, way out of my way to make it happen. I'll probably only be doing it on weekends. X-ray, airborne contact, Halifax, departures 119 or decimal 2, the wind 230 at 13 knots, with the takeoff runway 23. Yes, tripod as well. You're right. Tripod as well. Tripod honestly is like the secret sauce. Like the stream, the plane spotting streams you see that are like real smooth, that's because of the tripod. Here we go, Luthanza. Finally, A350. Actually, an A340, but A350 taking off here in Halifax. United 001, Halifax Tower. Hello, line from Lightroom, my T3. Line up and wait, two, three, uh, United Zero One. Are there any good starter cameras? Honestly, I don't know the answer to that question. Um, I looked at the one that I would want you know, to end with, which is like $800. I don't know what will be the next best thing. He is finally up on his trip. I know how that feels, man. You've been waiting in line on the ground for freaking ever. And finally, you are in the air. 
And all you're hoping for now is that your autopilot works. <laughs> all the prep is done. I'm gonna adjust the camera just a little bit, maybe a little higher. And maybe this way a bit more. Or not. You know, screw it, we're gonna put it right here. We're gonna get nice and close. Yeah. Give me some close-ups. Bro, same. If I had to do cross the pond and my freaking autopilot wasn't working, I would disconnect. We had one guy earlier who disconnected. Uh, what happened, chat? Uh, I think he tried to take off and the plane didn't lift off. His nose came off the ground and I think his main gear came up, but then he landed again during the takeoff roll. And he bounced like twice and then he just disappeared. <laughs> and I was like, yep, he disconnected. <laughs> Something happened. Somebody forgot to plug in their flight controls or something. I don't know. United 001, cross and wake turbulence, departed uh, heavy A340 ahead. Airborne contact, Halifax, departures, 119 or decimal 2. The winds 1230, 13 knots, clear for takeoff from me, 23. Right, 23, clear for takeoff, uh, 19 2, uh, wheels up, uh, thanks, bye. All right, next up we have United 1. Mr. Orist from Chicago flying to Frankfurt in a United 737 800. Oh, a pushback truck is on the runway. Air Canada 514, Halifax Tower, hold short from Lake 23, arriving traffic. Hold short 23 for arriving what traffic. What the heck? Five, one, oh, tail strike. Yeah, I wish this line of trees wasn't here. RIP pushback truck, man. Can you imagine? Oh my god, that'd be a horrible day. Right, we're gonna get this camera set up right. Just give me time. We're gonna get this camera set up right. Let's try here for a bit. Let's try. Oh yeah, this would be sick. This would be cool. Let's try here. I like this spot. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Roll like a big shot. It's like an A310. Let's see if I'm correct about that. Uh, no. An A330. It's supposed to be an A330. Air Canada. Flying to Stockholm. Flown by pilot Yannick from Montreal. Not sure what he's waiting for. A lot of walker air transfer air transport out here. I love look at that shot. Beautiful. I wish I had a I wish I had an airport here locally where I could get this close. As a civilian, to the to the aircraft, or plane spotting, we don't. Did a tower disconnect again? Let's see. Nope, tower's still online. One eight point four. So they might just be holding people for like the actual time slots themselves. Because again, this is a, they're trying to be very organized with this event by meaning everyone has a specific time slot that they're supposed to depart. And they're trying to make sure to maintain a specific gap between aircraft 
as they make their oceanic crossings. So while we wait for them, let's take a look at the map again. Here we are back on Valanza. And again, you can see those lines stretching. Wait, is there a rival? Hold on. There's a freaking arrival. Uh, Air Canada 514, thanks for your patience. Line up and wait for me, <laughs> three. What? Line up and wait for me, two, three. Air Canada 514. Bro, we almost missed that. I heard it. <laughs> I heard it. I was like, what are we waiting for? <laughs> I heard it fly over my head and I was like, oh my god. Walker 2963, welcome to Halifax, exit right on Charlie, contact ground Yeah, that flight just uh, came. Charlie. Right, Charlie, contact ground 121. That plane just came from, uh, from Toronto. No problem. And we have another one. Actually, no, he's flying overhead. Yeah. Oh! So no more rivals, no more sneaky arrivals. Oh, look at this shot. Oh, baby. Yeah, this is the shot right here. This is this is the golden one. This is the, this is the money shot right here. This we're staying right here. We're staying right here. Uh, you went to an air show last weekend, and you got to go inside a C-17. That is really cool, man. Uh, tricky tip trips. My closest airport is KIAH, as far as international airport. Air Canada 514, airborne contact. Uh, Halifax departures 119 or decimal 2. The winds 230 at 13 knots. Quick takeoff runway 23. Quick for takeoff runway 23 and on departure 119 or decimal 2. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Airline Bye -bye. videos fan. Welcome to the Bye -bye. stream, my friend. Happy birthday to you, man. Chat. Let's get a happy birthday for airline videos fan in the chat. Happy birthday to you, my friend, and welcome to the stream. Uh, Jonathan Parker, to answer your question, no, I have not flown in this event before. I've been wanting to, but I just, the timing has never lined up for me. All right, he's rolling. Your dad used to jump out of those? <laughs> there he is, up easy. Easy Walker rotate. Line up and wait for me, two, three. Line up and wait, two, three. All right, that plane is headed to Stockholm. Next up, we have an Embraer. Going to Frankfurt. Wait, is that the right person? No, it's just this guy here. Sorry, London. He's going to London. The plane behind him is going to Frankfurt. Again, shout out to Walker Air Transport Virtual Airline for really showing up at this event. We've seen him at every airport we've gone to. Or we've seen this airline at every airport we've gone to. Hey, if this little plane can make it, well, if uh, the next plane can make it to uh, Frankfurt, this plane could definitely make it to London. ER Jet has a, a nice range, man. I mean, normally you only see it used for like regional ops. But it could definitely stretch his legs. I should say it stretches, stretches wings for a longer flight. So again, I like seeing people kind of use less common aircraft for longer flights like this. Definitely not the most comfortable ride. 
to London. Wouldn't it be cool if they also had like the uh, the heat exhaust? All right, next up, got a little Cessna Citation C700 headed to Frankfurt, Halifax to Frankfurt. Uh, how much was my PC? Uh, I think my budget was uh, 2,500. And after him, next in line, I have just a few more departures. I think Captain Canada is last in line, I believe. He's one of those two 787s right there. So Captain Canada's departure will be our final departure for today's stream. Oh, well, yeah, kind of. Then we're going to London. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go to London to watch some landings, and then we're going to go. Um, that's the plan. That's the new plan. <laughs> yes, this little thing is going to Frankfurt. He's going to be cruising at 43,000 feet. <laughs> Zero Mike Juliet to airborne contact Halifax to pressures 119 or decimal 2. The wind's 230, 13 knots to take off runway 23. Quick take off departure on 119, top to you for November 1 through Zero Mike Juliet. Sound like a real pilot. Only like a real pilot would do this. <laughs> or someone who's like hardcore. Would do a flight in a flight in a plane like this to Frankfurt. I would do it. I would per I would fly a citation longitude to Frankfurt. Matter of fact, I did it. Now, now I'm thinking about it. I did do a long haul flight in the longitude. I forgot how long it was. It was like max range. And he's up easy. Uh, Leo Smith, we're currently in Halifax. But we're going to go over to London Heathrow uh, to watch a few arrivals before we dip out for the day. All right, another Walker Transport 737. Walker 1311, Halifax I've always wanted to fly the Challenger 650 from a uh, hot start on a long haul. That plane would be perfect for a long haul. It has a great like uh, in-route screen in the cabin. A lot of cool things for you to look at while you're flying. So I've never done a long haul in that, but I've wanted to do uh, a longer flight in it. Uh, what plane is that? And is it available Microsoft Flights? I'm not sure. He's probably on X plane. That'd be my guess. Um, actually, I know he could be on micro on Microsoft. I don't think that was the correct model. I know we don't have a Learjet in Microsoft Flights in. Let's see that walker walk. Absolutely. Man, this is honestly, like, if I were ever to go, like, plane spotting legitly, like, in real life, this is where I would want to be standing. Right at the end of the runway, behind the aircraft. You can feel the jet blast. It's super loud when they go into toga. You get a great close-up view. Like, this would be ideal for me personally, um, to watch aircraft take off and land as well. Uh, have I flown the 787-9 for Microsoft Flight Sim? I have not yet. I downloaded it last night. I downloaded it last night, but I have not got a chance to fly it yet. I was going to fly it last night, but I was too tired. I was right on the line of my go-no-go no go line. <laughs> Afternoon, the wind 230, 13 knots, clear to land, runway 23, one to the ahead. We got a, a arrival coming in. It's getting good. Bar 15, line up late, runway 23. Wait. Bar 15. He just cleared somebody to land on 23, but somebody's lining up and waiting on 23? I'm confused. I'm confused. Let's take a look. Anybody landing? I don't see anybody. Oh wait, I do. I got lights. Way out there. So he's gonna fit another departure in before he gets here. What's up, Ted? Welcome to the stream, man. 
You're playing F1 manager and Sergeant is in the rear with 30 second interval. <laughs> yeah. Sergeant is going to be a pain for a while on F1 manager when you're first starting out. Uh oh, why is he stopping? You have an aircraft on arrival and we need you to get on the runway and off the runway quickly. This reminds me of a. Uh, what's that game I played? Um, airport. Uh, dang it. The. The ATC game. What's the name of that game? Anyways, the, it reminds me of the ATC game. Trying to hurry traffic onto the runway for rivals. Uh, Brian Aviation, welcome to the stream, man. What is my opinion on the new Minneapolis airport? I think it's great and 100% worth it. Tower 3D, yes, that's what it's called. Very interesting lineup we got there, buddy. And he's gonna have to take off before uh, this guy comes in. Bar one five, airborne contact, Halifax departures one one nine or decimal two. The wind two three zero thirteen knots. Quick take off from runway two three. Bar one five, clear take off nineteen two in the air. Thanks very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Very interesting lineup. He's he got his nose in the wind. Nice, DSW spotter, you hit one hour in your flights and you're starting to catch up with the conga line. That's great, man. I'm glad she's finally gotten here. Aboard. Thank you so much, Avia Team, for the subscription. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Hope you're enjoying the stream so far. We will be live again next week. Uh, probably not plane spotting, probably actually flying planes. Um, not sure when the P. Oh my God, it's got a swerve, and there's still a pushback truck on the runway. Why? Why is he on the runway? Um, but we'll probably fly. I'm not sure where we'll be flying just yet. And he is off. Uh, Birmingham. Birmingham would be a good place to spot in real life. Don't get too much traffic in the sim. All right, we got eyes. Tally Bandit. Inside three miles. Angels two. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's see who is this arriving right now. Into Halifax of all places. Looks like... Uh, Rouge, maybe? Um, the call sign R-O-U. Is that Rouge? That's my guess. Coming in from Montreal. Mr. Sergi who is also from uh, Toronto. So I don't think we're going to get another arrival or departure before him. So runway is all clear for him to land. And I believe he was cleared to land like a while ago. Let's see if I can flip this camera around fast enough. He is coming right at us. Little short, but hey, he made it on the runway. <laughs> Look a little hard too. Look a little rough. Had to be like, I would guess like 350 at least feet per minute on that landing. He came in pretty hard. Uh, Amsterdam spotter place would be good on one one eight right. Yep, you're right. It's Rouge. Air Canada Rouge. In English, that means red. Yeah, he did. He landed on the threshold. So, a um, little short. British Airways is coming. 787 in the background. Another Walker. A330. And then next up, we have two 787s. I'm not sure which one is uh, Air Can uh, Captain Canada. I can check real quick. I think he's the second one. Yeah, he's the second one. And after Captain Canada takes off, we will 
do a quantum leap over to London Heathrow. Two three, clear for takeoff and uh, contact departure when everyone uh, walking fifteen twenty. Don't believe we have any other arrivals here. Actually, yeah, no, we don't. Can't believe they put Captain Canada in the back, man. Dead last. All right, this flight that's leaving now is headed to Air Brussels. Nine zero two, line up and wait for me. Two three. Line up and wait. Uh, two three, there, Captain Nine zero two. Flown by Bob from Boston. There he goes. And for our next arrival, coming up in a 787-900, Air Canada 902, flying to Stockholm, flown by Connor from Dublin. Delta 583, you're with Halifax, sir. Delta 583, go ahead. Delta 583, you're clear across runway 14, continue taxi, Lima, hold short of runway 23. Crossing 14, approved, continue taxi, and hold short of runway 23. She looks heavy, doesn't she? <laughs> she looks a, she looks a little heavy. All right, tell Captain Canada he better get it lined up perfectly. <laughs> I want it right on the center line, nothing less. Air Canada nine zero two airborne contact. Uh, Halifax departure is 119 or decimal 2. The wind is 240. Yes. Captain Canada is next after this aircraft ahead of us. Airborne frequency 119 decimal 2. Air Canada 902. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, he's rolling. Line up and wait runway 23. Line up and wait 23, Air Canada 613. And there he is, Airborne on his way to Stockholm. And next up, the moment you've all been waiting for the man himself rolling in. In the Horizon 787-900, all the way from Canada, call sign Air Canada 613 is now clear to approach runway 23 here in Halifax to begin his journey. Let's see how he does in the lineup here. I'm gonna judge him. His journey to Vienna, Austria. Plan the cruise altitude. Fouled at 38,000 feet across the Atlantic. And let's see how he lines it up. Oh, you know he's professional. <laughs> you know he's professional. Four nine or two on departure. Two three cleared for takeoff. Thanks for the ATC and thanks for uh, doing the cross call, man. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Have a wonderful day. All right, let's get a uh, a rotate in the chat. I don't usually do this on my stream because it's his thing. 
But let's drop a rotate in my chat as well. In respect for Captain Canada on his way for across the pond in the 787 to Vienna. Huge shout out to him, man. He's been a uh, a legend in the community, a role model in the community. There he goes. Right on the center line. Delta Looking 919, good. line up and wait, runway 23. Line up and wait. 23, Delta 919. Wish I could hear it, man. <laughs> I wish I could hear it. There it is. No tail strike. Positive rate, you're up. It's been an honor, my friends. I wasn't expecting to catch Captain Canada's departure for, um, for uh, Across the Pond, but just happened to work out today. Just happened to be in the same place at the same time. Looking good, my friend. Again, we'll be seeing Captain Canada in person uh, next week at World Flights. We'll be uh, with him and many other um, flight simmers and streamers and content creators uh, as we fly around. Uh-oh, why is he frozen? He's not frozen. Is he moving? Okay, yeah, he's moving. Just making sure. Just making sure. Uh, we'll be flying around the world in a full-scale 737 cockpit. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll be doing a lot of uh, multi-crew. It'll be uh, full crew action. We've got a uh, pilot, jump seater, and a first officer. So uh, what we're going to do now, guys, as promised, we are going to head over to London Heathrow because right about now is when a bunch of the arrivals for Cross the Pond should be landing and touching down in Heathrow. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to hop over there. And uh, while I do that, I'm going to put you guys on the Volanta screen. And you can just see the traffic that's headed eastbound right now. All Contact over. One one nine decimal two. Clear for takeoff from my two. It's not too busy in London just yet. You got our first arrivals rolling in, but it's not too too busy. So we'll see if we can catch anybody. We're not gonna stick around for too long. Again, I was supposed to leave like an hour ago, <laughs> but you guys hooked me in and uh, and tricked me into watching some more departures. But I'm not mad. I have no complaints, no regrets. Totally worth it. Totally worth sticking around. So I thank you guys for sticking around as well. All right, let's go to world map. And uh, you know what? I don't have any special senior for Heathrow besides the the um, the uh, the Microsoft handcrafted one, which is fine. So that's all we need. We'll just we'll probably do a, a spot that's kind of looking away from London. Make sure we get some good FPS. So Heathrow is right around here. And we'll just spawn in the old place, just somewhere out of the way. Back here. I'm sure nobody's going to spawn back here, right? Back in the maintenance area. All right, is it still daytime? It's actually, oh, the sun is setting. God skid, you're at Heathrow now, watching from the tower? Sweet, man. How's it looking so far? What do we have to look forward to? I had a request in chat um, to look at EG, EGNM. Is that how you say it? Uh, I'm just going to take a look, see if I can find it. Where is that again? That's in Norway, right? Yeah, there's nobody there. Right, that's, that's wrong. I, I'm lying. There's, uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six planes in Oslo right now. And there actually is ATC um, in Oslo. So that's probably the reason why. So that's to answer your question. 27, oh, 27 right is for arrivals. Thank you very much. Thank you, my friend. I'm going to go pick up my flight trackers. I'm using, again, I'm using Vatastic. Uh, it just seems to give me the, the most up-to-date information on flights. Oh, my God. There's so many planes. Can I show you this? Hold on. Let me share my, my monitor here. Oh, it's raining in London. Interesting. 
Let me show you my monitor. I want you to, get, I, I've been showing you the Volanta screen, but I want you to see this one. This one is just mind blowing, this one here. All right, fade, there we go. Check this out, check this out. You see this, can you see this? This is the VATSIM map. All the yellow arrows are planes. And this is all the planes currently flying over the Atlantic Ocean in just neat little lines. You can see they're all kind of angled as well in the wind because of the wind, the crosswind. But that's pretty cool. Just really cool to see, man. This is a really cool sight to see. So we're going down to London, which is down here. Uh, where is it at? Here it is. So not a whole lot of planes there at the moment, but hoping to catch an arrival or two before we head out for the day. So I'll take that off. Back in the Microsoft Flight Sim to our H160, our our, uh, our little uh, um, follow, what do we call that? Not a follow me plane, follow plane? What's it called? It's gotta start it up so we can get, um, so that we can actually hear things. That should be all I need to do. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to try to leave it with real time, but we might have to change the time of day if it's too, too dark. We'll see. All right, cover your ears because it's GT. Is... System oh, test. Okay. There it is. <laughs> God, dog. All right. Let's hop back on Vatim and see what's going on around here. Hopefully they have just one tower frequency to make it easy on us like the last two airports did. Uh, this morning they were using 2.7. Let's see, London Tower, 118.505. Here we go. We should start hearing things. Oh, it is nasty. British weather out of here. All right, where am I? Again, I don't have, uh, I don't have any of the super fancy London Heathrow airport um, scenery. I think it's this way. Uh, this is just a handcrafted airport scenery from Microsoft. I can hear planes, but I don't see anything. Man, it is really horrible weather. Where's everybody at? Alright, I gotta find out where I am in reference to everything. I'm not, I'm not very familiar with London. I, I, I personally don't fly to London a lot. Um, not because I don't like the airport, but because usually, like in the past, my FPS was really bad, like on my old machine. Alright, what wrong way is this? Two seven right. Okay, you said it was on one seven. They were using one seven, or what room were they using? Let's see. What room is this? Two seven right. I think they're using two seven right. Nobody's taking off right now at this second. They're using the O nines. Okay, so that's the opposite side. That would make sense. So we're on the 2-7 side now, so let's go to the other side. Jesus, it is just... It's like a weird Mars-colored haze. Because the sun is setting and it's super overcast. Alright, I'll come to the tower. I'll try the, I'll try the tower view, but at this rate, we're not going to see anything from the tower. And I would like to leave it with live time, live weather, just to kind of see what the pilots are having to deal with, the conditions. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we have a plane. Oh, is he parked? I can't tell. Yeah, a plane taking off on 09 right. I gotta get this thing faster. Yep, I hear something. Oh, <laughs> there's a Swiss. Hello.
Let's follow him. He's probably going to the runway. Yeah, I was going to follow him. Let me switch something real quick, guys. There we go. Actually, yeah, this side is a bit clearer. I think we're just in, like, a foggy spot. Alien invasion, that's right. Uh, zero 09 left for arrivals in the real world. Okay. Oh, well, there's no arrivals at the second. Nobody on the short final, so we'll guess we'll find that out pretty soon. There is uh, a Qantas flight coming in from Perth, uh, as well as a KLM flight coming in from London. Uh, and there's also, uh, yeah, there's a Qantas, there's a Virgin Airlines flight coming in from India. So there's three planes in route that are about within about 10, 5-ish miles, probably 10 miles, like in 10 miles. Where is he going? Is he parking? Oh, look at that. Look at that shot. That's cool. Alright. Well, he's not going where we want to go. Good afternoon, Virgin 301, Heathrow Tower, hello, continue approach from 09 left. Winds 130 degrees, 8 knots. Let's go to 09 left. Continue 09 left, Virgin 301. Contest 9 on final runway 09 left. Contest 9, Heathrow Tower, hello, runway 09 left, clear to land, surface winds 130 degrees, 8 knots. Clear to land, runway 09 left, Contest 9. I know it sounds weird, Victor, um, but people do it, man. People, people do long hauls, they sit in front of their computer for 7 to 10 hours all the time. Um, and the thing about Cross the Pond is you can't really go AFK like like that you can take some breaks and stuff but you really can't go afk that much because there's so much traffic and you have active atc checking in with you and this and that so it's it's uh yeah i think i'm gonna put the camera just outside over here oh maybe it's just parking a lot over here yeah it is Speedbird. Horrible visibility right now. 6,000 feet. Speedbird 1455, you're outside of area of responsibilities. Uh, contact me once fully established and monitor 122 decimal. Actually, we'll go over here. Unicorn for 1455. Here we go. Right behind the wall. Right, lock our camera down. Actually, we'll put our camera on the wall. How about that? I see him. He's coming in. Let's hurry up. All right, our first arrival into oh, London Heathrow, coming in from all the way from Perth, Australia. Fairly nice landing there. I right, make sure that everything was okay. Yep. Sweet. So that this person is not a part of the Cross the Pond event. He just happens to be flying in the Heathrow from somewhere completely different. But still pretty cool to catch him. As a matter of fact, the next two to three planes that are coming in are not related to the event. They're just kind of flying in long hauls from somewhere else. Look at that sunset over there. Cross About to get dark. Right, vacate, right, traffic three miles. Thank you, Tyler Berg, for the, for being a gold member. Yes, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you for that support. Really, really appreciate that. But uh, but yeah, in most cases, like for example, when I do long hauls, um, Virgin three zero one runway zero nine left, clear to land, surface winds one three zero degrees eight knots. Zero nine left, first one, Virgin three zero one. When I do long hauls, I uh, I usually step away for like the majority of it. I'm not 
I'm, I'm not normally watching or sitting at the computer the whole time. I'm either doing something else on the computer in the background or um, I leave or go to sleep and come back. Unless I'm doing like an event like this or a live stream, then I have to kind of be around for at least the majority of it. All right, here comes believe, a Virgin Atlantic. I think it's actually a, in the sim, it's actually supposed to be an A340, but again, comes in, coming in as an A350. I can't remember where he's flying in from. Tower located at scale of 907 in the ILS on 090. Quantum 947 Eater, hello, continue for extra 090 left. Continuing on the ILS on 090, scale of 907. Starting to lose lights. Hold short of echo, contact ground on 121.105. Hold short of echo and contact ground on 10.9. Yeah, I mean, if you're not used to doing long hauls, um, just do like a medium haul. Like, do like here's the thing: people don't. Some people don't know this. Most people in the community might know this, but some people who may be new um, don't realize that a, six hours is basically the minimum distance contact or length nine. of a flight to be considered a long haul. Nine, contact ground one two one back So nine, maybe you don't want to do a ten hour, eight hour flight. Maybe try a six hour flight. Or so if that's too long, try a four hour okay, flight. Right? Like you don't have to do a okay, long haul. Right. Okay, but then three zero one. KLM 9047, runway 09 left, cleared to land, oh, distance 130 degrees, 9 oh, and up. Look at that beauty. KLM 777, coming in high alpha. High AOA, a little high on the glide slope, looking a little unstable. Version 301, welcome to Heathrow. Oh boy, oh right, boy. Hold shot of Echo. Oof, bounced it. Second right, Bravo, hold shot of Echo, version 301. That was a rough landing. We got it all on camera. <laughs> uh, we've been spotting for how long? We've we been live, guys. Ground now, Five hours. We were supposed to quit th two hours ago, but I just couldn't get away. I just keep getting hooked in. There's something new happening every hour, every hour, apparently. All right, that was KLM. Uh, next up. Looks like we have British Airways 1455 A320 coming in from, where's EGPH? Glasgow, I think. Uh, we also have a A320 coming in from LPFR. And here's one coming in from YYZ. United. But where, where is he being vectored? Where's he going? KLM 947 left Alpha and hold short of Kilo. Left Alpha holding short Kilo, KLM 947. Keep it going all day. I know, right? I'm, I mean, we're almost we're an hour away from a long haul stream. <laughs> Real talk. When I first went live, I was like, yeah, I'll probably be live for like two hours. Three hours later, we're still here in London. All right, we're looking at the map here. We have our next arrival coming in again. British Airways local flight. We do have a United here. We looks like we may be a part of the event. Because here's the thing: once event traffic starts landing, it's going to be nonstop for the next freaking eight hours. If you make that left turn onto Alpha. But many of the flights that are coming in from Orlando in Atlanta are still about 45 minutes out, maybe an hour. But keep an eye out in the clouds. They come peeking out right around 300 feet or less. Very low visibility right now. Let's see what the METAR is actually in a London Heathrow while we're waiting. Kelly 947, contact ground 121 Alright, so information in London is information Charlie. Uh, departure runway is 09 to right, arrival is 09 to left, transition level is 8000. Um, winds are 130 at 9 knots, so it's not too bad. 
Uh, shows visibility is 10 kilometers. Doesn't seem like it to me. Uh, scattered at 1800. Broken at 3100. Broken at 4800. And then uh, temperature is 13. QNH is. Uh, or dew points 11. QNH is 9 or 8. 6. And we are real time live weather right now in London. So this is. It is starting to get dark. The sun is setting. Matter of fact, the sun just set behind the trees in front of us. Seven hours late. Let's go to Frankfurt. <laughs> uh, I mean, a lot of the, a lot of these guys, I think, will be fine. There'll be there may be a few people who may have mistakes or mess up and might cause some frustration to the controllers. But for the most part, I think that it's going to be okay. Here we go. Yep, British Ace. It is miserable weather in the UK today or tonight. But speaking of British, we have a British A320 rolling in right now. Let's say flying in. British Airways 509 coming in from wherever LPFR is. That pyro or something like that? Nice. A little bounce. All right, chat, what do you judge that landing out of 10? Since we're here, we're waiting. Give me a landing rating. Not like, you know, negative whatever. Just give me out of 10, what is your rating for that landing? I will give that landing a 7. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that, 7. You thought this was going to be a short one-hour stream? It could have been, but it got good real quick. Eight. I got eight in the chat. I got six. Rating a six for that British Airways 320. 7.5. You just had an F-18 go right above you at Mach 1.14 doing the same flight. <laughs> that does not surprise me at all that some people might hop in some fighter jets and just like start escorting people along the way. That does not surprise me. This has been fun though. It re this really has been fun. I've really enjoyed this. Good now. Welcome to Heathrow. Right turn Alpha and come. Keep it rolling. Contact ground one two one decimal eight five five. Uh, thank you. And con continue on right on Alpha and contact ground one two one decimal. Can you repeat, please? Uh, decimal eight five five. Decimal eight five five. Five five zero nine. Thank you for the service. The other thing that Bye. I love is that we've had Bye. we've had New York accents today. And now we got British accents. We had a, we didn't have much of a Canadian accent in Canada, sadly. Yeah, a little bit. It was it wasn't very like thick, I would say. I think a uh, flight at the Sim is also flying today, but I'm not sure what route he's running. Oh, he's doing Orlando to Heathrow, so we probably missed his departure. I'm not sure what time he left. It says he went live seven hours ago. Sheesh. God bless his soul. Anybody else you guys know who are um, flying for the event? Any of your friends? So the Air Norse. I legit did not know this. This uh, United one two zero nine Heathrow. I didn't know that that airline existed until like this past week. Oh, here we go. All right, next up, we have United 1209 coming in from uh, Mont no, Toronto. It's the first flight we've got to see that's actually coming in from the Cross the Pond event. Yeah, 
Did I say that? I'm sorry. Oh, look at that. the smoke. Nice landing. Beautiful. I rate that one. Uh, I give that one a nine. That was a nine for me. Your friend lands in one hour, 45 minutes in Amsterdam. Nice, he's not too far out then. That's good. Whiz air in the background. I need to do a flight to London, actually. Um, my PC is actually handling London really well. At least this version of London. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm gonna buy any London scenery. Good afternoon, Skyway to I'm just gonna keep Let's using go this. Every landing kind of looks rough because the the three D model and the the network connection like it makes the landing kind of like snap to the ground in a way. So you can't really tell how soft they touch down, but you can kind of tell just by the um. The rate of That's descent. One, two, zero, nine. Uh, clear runway. Turn right. And uh, left on to Bravo. Alright, one, two, zero, nine. Thank you. Good no, time. we're not going to Amsterdam. Yeah, I'm calling it in Bravo London. And keep it rolling. <laughs> I'm calling it in London. I'm not going to Amsterdam this stream. You're not going to change Second my mind. Bravo. Thank you. Skyway 284, runway zero, nine. Left click to land. Surface winds one, three, zero degrees, nine knots. Westland, uh, Westland zero, nine. Left sky, sky, all right, next up we have UKV. I don't know what airline that is, but coming in from EGPH. I know that's what I said in Toronto. That is what I said. I'm not. I'm. I'm not changing my mind this time. <laughs> I'm not. We're not going to Amsterdam. Not going to Holland. Let me look at Amsterdam. I think I'm going on over there. <laughs> And contact ground one two one. What they got going on in Amsterdam? What's up? Who over there? Looks at map. All right, we got another rival. United one two zero nine. Hold short of kilo ground one two one. That's one nine zero five. I can't even find Amsterdam on the map. <laughs> I can't even find a darn airport on the map. Where's Amsterdam at? I right, never heard of this airline. Oh, Fly UK it's Aero. Huh, that's new. It's a nice livery though. 320 Neo. I rate that was a great landing. I give it a nine as well. Really close to a 10. That was a really good landing. Steve one four five five or we clear to land. After Amsterdam, go to Paris and Frankfurt. We can do a whole world tour. Uh, dog. <laughs> that was butter. I might have to get out of 10, actually. I'm, I'm raising that to a 10. And second right on to Bravo. I'm raising that to a 10. That was a really good landing. Hey, Tower, Shuttle 8 Quebec, holding point to Jasso. Shuttle 8 Quebec, Roger, stand by, Brett Brakes, Speedbird 1455, runway 09 left, clear to land, surface winds 130 degrees, 9 and up. I forgot British Airways is actually Speedbird. Hold short of Echo, ground 121, We're still searching for Amsterdam. Chatelet, Quebec, straight ahead, hold the member Bravo 10. Where the heck is Amsterdam? Why can't I find Amsterdam? Oh, here it is. There's so many planes there, I can't see the door airport. Yeah, it's not really popping yet in Amsterdam. It's going to be a while to anybody, to uh, any of the. Yeah, across. Oh, that's not true. There's a Boston flight about the land. Yeah, we're not going to answer that. Hello, Swiss Five Alpha Papa. Swiss Five Alpha Papa, Hello. Next left, hold November Bravo 8. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, I just use the same FSTL everybody else uses. I don't have anything special with mine. Swiss 5 Alpha Papa from November Bravo 8, runway 09 right, clear for takeoff, surface winds 130 degrees, 9 knots. Clear for takeoff from November Bravo 8, Swiss 
of leg Quebec behind the departing Swiss A320 via November Bravo 10, line up runway 09 left. I give that one a right. seven and a half. Maybe behind eight. Departing we'll see, I'll go to eight. We'll go to eight. Swiss A320, line up and wait. Runway that was a good, right. good standard right. landing. I'll give it to eight. He kind of floated a little bit, uh, landed a little late as well, but it was good. All in all, a good landing. Good landing. Just we'll give it to eight. Go to Gatwick. Charles de Gaulle. Oh, man. Uh, we could literally do a 24-hour stream of just this. <laughs> it would never be done. Brussels is popping. Like, a lot of people are in Brussels. Not a lot of people landing in Brussels, but a lot of people are in Brussels. Spirit 1455. Munich is Welcome popping to right now, too. Heathrow, right onto Alpha and contact ground. 121.855. Keep it rolling. It's kind of hoping to catch a departure right, in the background. I'm also getting really hungry. Uh, Gatwick has Gatwick always has some good traffic. Like even if there wasn't an event, it would still be busy in London, Gatwick and Heathrow. Like that's just that's normal. It's every it's just another day in London. All right, next arrival. United. Ooh, okay. This will be our last one. I got to cut it off at some point. We kind of have a pretty big gap after this next plane lands. But this one's interesting. We have an A350 flying from Austin, Texas. Um, Speedbird. We have United 789 coming from LA. That's our next arrival. You have departures on 09 rights. Let's uh, oh, let's move our camera over there. I'm gonna put the camera like by the tower, I guess. Now that it's cleared up. You know, that's so true. I could literally just leave my sim on. But I want to do other things on my computer today. <laughs> so, I was going to play DCS, maybe some Star Citizen, maybe some Six Days of Fallujah, maybe even some racing. I don't usually stream on, on the weekends, by the way. If you're new to the channel, like, this is not normal <laughs> for us to stream on the weekend. Oh, look at that. With the night lighting. Okay, that was money. Yeah, he has some pretty bad desync, though. Yeah, we're gonna, let it, we're gonna let him do his thing on the way out. Alright, I got eyes on lights. Uh, we can do... I don't hate this angle here. This is the tower view right now from Heathrow. Reversed in midair, <laughs> exactly. All right, so next up, uh, where did that United flight go? Oh, he's up there. Okay. He's still a little ways out. He'll be here in a little while. I think Should that's like him. Quebec contact. So he's direct to one one nine decimal seven eight zero. Bye -bye. That is him. Yeah, this will be our last arrival, and then I gotta go. I, I gotta go. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, yeah, I gotta call it at some point. I could stay though. I could stay for like those. Like I could stay for six more hours. I could literally stay until Captain Canada lands again. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm not on leave. I gotta go. <laughs> but I do appreciate you guys' support. Um, definitely come back, man. We'll be streaming again throughout the week. Where is he going? What in the... He's not coming here. Not right now. So we might be here for a little while longer. We're waiting for this guy. He's supposed to be my... My main event. <laughs> He's put on the show right now by not flying to the airport. Where the heck are you going, United? 
You came all the way from LA. I'm pretty sure you're ready to land. And now I think he's probably gonna circle the whole darn, darn airport. Sheesh. Yeah, he's gonna have to flip around. All right, guys, welcome to the Heathrow Air Show. Uh, do we have any other departures? Let's see what we have on the ramp. What is that air? Uh, what airline is that? It looks familiar. That looks familiar. That is uh. Anybody recognize that that livery? I can't remember the name of that livery. Yeah, I mean Emily, you know what you know where I'll be if I do play DCS. There might be some guys playing right now. Actually, let me see on Discord. No, nobody. I don't think anybody's on yet. I know Data was gonna fly. That was like an hour ago. <laughs> so I know we we flew last night in DCS. Had a really good flight. It got really crazy. I almost got shot down like a bunch of times. Let's see, we also have this guy waiting. Oh cool, Ted's hopping on. Mike says he's flying. Sweet. Yes, we can do a Captain Canada raid after this is over. I just send you send all you guys over to Captain Canada stream. Matter of fact, I think I could do that in YouTube, right? Let me see. There's also Leo. We gotta show Leo some love too. He's flying. He's about halfway by now, probably. I know there's a way to do that. I always forget that I can rate other people's channels afterwards, but I don't remember how to do it. Is it under edit? Redirect. There it is. Uh, oh, I can redirect to a bunch of people. Let's see. I could actually redirect you guys to Flight Deck to Sim, apparently. I don't know if that'll work. It won't let me go to Leo's channel for some reason. Uh, what DCS server do I usually fly on? Uh, we're usually on through the Inferno. Through the Inferno, I do Gray Flag a lot. Oh, he's pushing back. So is this a Norwegian airline? Is that like a common airline in Norway? Oh. That's weird, Captain Canada doesn't come up for an options redirect to either. Uh, yeah, he'd have to add me to do that. So I can't do that for him either. All good. I'll send you guys to, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll raid, um, even though he doesn't need it, but we'll raid, uh, Flight, Flight at the Sims channel once the stream is over. So basically when the stream ends, uh, my stream will end and you'll automatically be put into his, uh, his live stream. Yep, God levitated him. Let's see if we can check in on our United Air Show that's going on above us. This is the quietest I've ever heard London on a freaking weekend at night, too. We got, look at this, that moon. We have to check that out. Yo, if you're flying into London, you're going to be in for a very beautiful treat as far as a moon. Look how massive that moon is. Uh, yeah, we can watch Norse. We'll probably be here because United is taking a sweet time. It might be him out there. So I'll be waiting for him. Let me see if that's him, if that's somebody else. Because there was another aircraft coming in behind him that might now be in front of him.
Nope, that's him. That is definitely him. There is an easy jet. No, he's not landing here. Yeah, so basically after this flight, the next flight is going to be Speedbird 19 or Whiskey coming all the way from Austin, Texas. Um, which, this United should have been on the ground already. Where is he? There he is. Can I stream for another hour and a half? I'm not making any promises. This plane landing right now is supposed to be our last arrival. <laughs> And we might watch him depart. We might watch him depart. Because it was requested. But we're not going to Amsterdam. <laughs> so however long that takes to happen is how long I'll be here. And we might actually watch this guy come in from Austin. Because by the time United gets here, he's going to probably be here too. Good morning. Correction. Good evening. We are flight for holding short to Horka. With a six five four heater tower. Hello. First left November Bravo eight, and from November Bravo eight, runway zero nine right, cleared for takeoff. Surface is one four zero degrees eight knots. So left November Bravo eight. Oh really? You saw a stream of somebody flying from Austin to uh, to uh, London. Oh, I wonder who. That's a long freaking flight. Uh, what's that, eight hours? It's my guess. Everything feels like eight hours today. Oh, he's looking really unstable, this United pilot. All right, take two. United coming in and Heathrow, runway zero nine left. You got it, buddy. You came all the way in from LA. There's only a few people watching you land right now. So, no pressure. Remember to rate his landing when he touched down. Look at that lighting in the back. Ay, ay, ay. That's a 787. That was a 777. A little bit of a desync there, but honestly, not that bad of a landing. I give it an eight, maybe to seven and a half, a high seven for sure. Welcome, my friend. It was a long flight from LA. No pressure. Don't screw up. Long flight from LA. I wish I knew who this was, so I could tell him, hey man, I recorded your landing, go watch the stream. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Alright, copy that Avia team, Norse is about to line up. Alright, so, this should be, who is this? With a 654 contact, uh, London Control, on, bye bye. Uh, All right, this, my friends, should be our final aircraft of the stream. All good things must come to an end. We are five and a half hours into this live stream. It has been, I've enjoyed every minute of it personally. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's tuned in. And a big shout out to everyone who's flying in the event. I hope you have an amazing, a fun, enjoyable, safe, crash-free flight all the way to your destination. I'm glad I could be some entertainment for you guys today on this Saturday. Again, we will be live again throughout the week. Uh, I can't tell you what day just yet. 
Uh, we usually go live though on Thursdays and Fridays. So if nothing else, we'll be live on those two days. Actually, hold on a second. I have a wedding next weekend. That might change. So we'll probably live at least Thursday. And maybe Wednesday. We'll see. I want to try to 7879 out myself. Uh, as well as this new uh, PMDG EFB. Long hit map have two holding at November 11th for runway. Uh, sorry, a runway zero map. You know, we can. I'm down to do more plane spotting streams. Uh, we can just uh, maybe find uh, out what big events are happening. Heathrow, uh, hello. Uh, line up runway zero nine right. Maybe, get, maybe find a big event happening and uh, just go plane spot during the event uh, rather than fly. I am down for that. All right, next up, who, who is this and where are they going? Let's see. That's not right. Is this updated? Definitely not. I don't know who this is. Uh, actually, looks like this plate. Wow, this person's doing a really short flight. Um, November Bravo Tango Niner Five Two headed to ENGM, which I think is Oslo. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. On zero down right here in Heathrow. 30 more minutes and I hit six hours. I mean, I'm not like, I don't get paid by the hour. <laughs> I don't get anything for staying an extra 30 minutes. Except for more hungry. I had a blast too, man. Well, Thanks, Tricky Trip, for coming through, right man. Clear to take off, surface in 140 degrees, ain't not. Clear to take off, runway zero nine, all right. Thank you very much. A long trip, man, party. Time with us. I know. Don't say that. Don't do that. Don't try. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. All right. I think it's clear. Clear for takeoff. We have been here from sunrise in Atlanta to sunset in London. And here we go. Wow, what a short takeoff. He's already up. Stay with him. Stay with him. <laughs> He's going fast. Jesus. That was hard. And into the clouds he goes over the beautiful London night overcast sky. Hello, friends. Uh, 29, uh, continue rolling all the way down. Link 53, hold the Bebe Bravo 11. Continue rolling all the way down. Link 53, hold the Bebe Bravo 11. That's why I just landed. Uh, long, but, uh, long ship, 9052, uh, contact, London Control, 119, decimal 780, bye-bye. Right, we're good. We're good. Next arrival's not coming in for a little while. we got a gap. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, yeah, loving the night sky here. Can't really see, like, the downtown area. Long ship, not fun. <laughs> Been here for five hours. What's another five? So, guys, um, if you still want some more cross the pond action... Uh, there are a lot of live streamers streaming the event right now. I'm about to shout a few of them out as I find them here. Uh, as you know, Captain Canada is live. He just started his flight. Leo Six Eighty Six, check him out. We called him depart Atlanta earlier. Looking at Um, flight deck, to, flight deck to sim is flying currently in the A340. Uh, over on Twitch, uh, we have Edward the pilot currently flying across the pond, London controller flying across the pond, and I bet there's a lot more that I'm not seeing. Uh, looks like 757 Spy as well is flying across the pond. So, good stuff. Check out any of those guys. 
Thank you guys again for coming through and hanging out with your boy Blue. This was fun. I enjoyed it. We're gonna do it again. Hello, Absolutely do it again. I love this. Um, this was to me like just as fun as flying. Probably equally as fun as actually flying was this. Maybe equally. I'm not sure if it's equal equal, but it's pretty darn close to just as fun as flying. But guys, until next time, as always, remember you have three choices. Thank you for hanging out. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Next time, next video. I'm out, baby. Sheesh. Behind the departing LL uh, 787, behind the Bravo 11, line up on 09 right behind. Line up 09 right behind the departing 787, 78 273 Heathrow Tower, hello. Continue straight ahead, link 53, hold November Bravo 11. Hold uh, November Bravo 11, uh, no, that's not the same thing. Contact London Control, 